I'm Cardi Tasu and I run the Cardi Cup Tournament, Genshin Impact Spiral Beast Speedrun Competition. Player versus player with a shared character pool, character bands, and constellation restrictions. The Cardi Cup welcomes all players from around the world to compete against each other in the Spiral Abyss. Challenge your knowledge in team compositions, artifact bonuses, and character synergies. Do you have what it takes to be a speedrun champion? And secure for themselves. Oh, all right. So I'm sorry. I've got to go on my stream, but welcome in, everyone. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, I am. Uh, let's start off with uh, uh, introducing our shoutcaster for today, Jaster Production. If you could please open, uh, I mean, show the show his channel inside here thank you welcome in welcome in i was actually in his chat talking a little bit earlier as well um explaining the rules and the information but for today we are gonna be doing our grand finals i mean not finals our top eight finals for the tournament our cardi cup tournament um with a one thousand dollar prize pool sponsored by a lovely Tonto. but we are also joined by our dear uh our dear after friend jay stern right here please introduce yourself <laughs> In Abyss Help, just a lot of Genshin streaming. Uh, you can follow <laughs> me twitch.tv slash jason Oh, make sure, make sure, go give him a, a follow. But yes, yeah, so as we briefly went over the rules earlier as well, um, we do have quite a lot of matches today. Um, and then once again, it's based off of the point system. So there is allowed for like C6 shenanigans, but you're not allowed to use five stars um, for it. And five star weapons for it and you have to be very reliant on uh four star characters uh let me see and then uh for our first match today it is going to be starting off with odin zada versus um eight years so both of them are also from um you know team, uh from team brazil but odin actually got the fastest clear time in this current abyss during the preliminaries at i believe 223 seconds so that took him three minutes and 43 seconds to clear out the all three chambers of abyss and yesterday he showed us a really nice c2 r1 shan yun gameplay with melt chan yun on the second half um which of course you know beat the opponent and advance to this current uh bracket so let's see what he can bring us um today Ooh. Okay, let me ping the two players, Odin and Adiers. And then as soon as that happens, they'll hop onto our Discord. We'll start the pick and bans. Um, all the pick and bans, they have around 30, 30 seconds to choose um, their characters on what they uh, want. And it's starting and for the pick and ban phase, it starts off with like player A will um, ban first, then player B, then go back to A, then B. So then four, starting off with four bans total. Yep. Sounds great. <laughs> Can't wait to see who they pick. <laughs> yeah, I think for these players, they often do, um, they kind of do a lot of 1v1s often. So they tend to roll for meta characters, but it's nice to see a little bit of different niche here and there. Okay, and let's switch over to scene to the uh, draft order. And a brief intro for this draft is actually made by a Genshin community member who does, uh, who wanted to help the 1v1 community grow. So this is uh, free to use and download, uh, very customizable as well um, for everyone. You just flip a coin here, it's heads, A years, choose A or B. And then you could uh, write down their name and then afterwards you can see the character selection. And they also added little flags, which is really cute. Just to represent like where your your country. You. <laughs> There's also the uh the timer, second ban. All right, so we'll start off the pick and ban right now. Eight years player A. Uh choose your first ban. Oops. And of course, Emilia Novella is gonna be banned from uh their choice. Farina is gonna be banned from Odin's side. No for and, you. Yeah. And since these are the top eight, it means that they know each other's character or, or team account really well. So the Shanyun ban is very targeted against um Odin, since we've seen how he played earlier. Yeah. And Navia is also taken Ooh. away. 
But hey, they're still Zhongli. Oh, and reminder, please let me know your constellations when you select the five stars. So Adir is going to start off with a C2 Nahida pick. So that's um, already three points out of their seven points. And now, so after uh, Adir's pick one, Odin will choose two. Then after he chooses two, uh, Adir's will pick another two until they get both of them have four characters. Then we'll sit, switch it over to the second half of the system, uh, pick and draft phase, where they ban one character and one weapon. Okay, Odin's going to be picking Fisho and Shincho. Eight years, choose two. So they could rearrange their um, characters however they want as soon as they get their eight characters. So it doesn't mean that the top four, the first four they pick will be on the first side. Yeah, picking Nahi though uh, and not having Jingcho available can get in the way of a lot of Hyperbloom teams. And it's going to be mm. interesting to see how they get around that. Oh, uh, they might end up of... doing some kind of burn team or they could just use Nahi. We have high, seen, high, yeah. High. We have seen uh, Nahida Burgeon before, but there's still a lot of other Hydro options like Yelan. Yep. Odin choose. Oh, yeah, Yelan's still on the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so while they th did ban um, Nivola and Farina, there's still like the Hydro characters here. Yelan, very important. We did see Barbara too, though not very, not a lot of um, Tartaglia or Nilo. Not a lot of Nilo. That's a surprise. Nilo's very mm -hmm. good for a side. I think for the Bloom, it might be a little bit harder because of the Spectres. Mm. And or getting frozen at the third chamber as well against Coppelia. Okay, let's see. Odin's gonna pick his C2 Yelan. Ooh, double Hydro ready taken on that side. And C1 Kazuha. Eight years, choose one now. So on Odin's side with his C2 Yelan and C1 Kazuha, that's gonna be five points. Yep. And expect to see the Yelan, possibly Yelan Jingcho Kazuha top side? I'm not mm. sure. Oh, it could be. Electro charge is very yeah. common too. Ooh, Beto pick for eight years. Now we're switching it over to the ban. Odin choose one character and one weapon to ban. They could always go for Tsukas for Hyper Bloom if they needed to. Mm. <laughs> could work. <laughs> I keep forgetting, but Beto is also a very common pick, too, for um, Electro characters. Yeah, Nico mm -hmm. has been chosen quite often as well for um, aggra Aggravate uh, for side. They don't have Chukas. No Chukas. <laughs> Odin, one character, one weapon to them. Oh, yeah, Shepherds is still on the board. Ooh, that would be a good pick for second side. Odin's going to be banning Al Haitham. And the weapon. It's always so nerve wracking whenever they uh, try to figure out like how to pick characters. Oh, they're going to ban the great sword Favonius. Not surprising. Good call. Eight years, one character and one weapon to ban. Yeah, Favonius weapons are very targeted for sure. Sometimes <laughs> it could help or hurt your own to end. Yep. Hu Tao and the Aqua Simulacra is gone too. Elegy and Fav are still available, though. Mm. We rarely see Elegy, but Favonius... 
will be like different archetypes. Um, yep. Odin, choose one character. Power is on? Well, <laughs> we might get to see uh, one of the Nemo boys coming out to play soon. Eight years, choose two now. Oh, and they're going to be choosing Kokomi and Kuki Shinobu. Ooh. So it seems like their teams are slur starting to come together. Eight years. Constellation on Kokomi, though. Is this C0? And Odin choose two characters. Yep, C0 Kokomi. It looks like they're going to do Shinobu, Beto, Kokomi, Nahi, the top side for Hyper mm. And I think try to pull together some kind of Bennett Shengling team for second side. I don't know what's available. Yeah. They could get um, Yai Shepherds. Uh, they could always go for Raiden still. Right. I feel like for a lot of Raidens, they tend to choose Sara um, together, but they do have. Oh, if they do, since they do have Bennett Shengling together, it would just be a little bit harder for um, the shield. They could do. Yeah. They could yeah. grab Sora Raiden. Mm -hmm. That's two. Oh, Odin is going to be choosing Zhang Li for his end, and Yai Miko. That is going to be all of his points, though. So no five star weapons allowed. And yep, eight years. Last two characters are going to be C Zero Raiden Shogun and Chevrus. Yep. And Odin, your last character, please. <laughs> and he says, Yao Yao, the best character selected. <laughs> so here it is. This is the team between the two. So now they will have seven minutes to prepare their um, weapons and artifacts. And at that time, we will be able to do a little analysis of the teams and also see how what they gear up. So in the meantime, uh, Odin, please share screen when you can. We also have a prediction in chat. Uh, if you got, if your community want to play along too on your side, uh, have a prediction for five minutes to set up. Who do you think is gonna win between these two players? And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes <laughs> during the preparation phase. Yeah, what's wrong? With that? Okay, let's take a look. Yeah. Exactly trying to figure out what Odin Zada is going to play with these characters. Yeah, so already for the <coughs> power zone, Um, Actually, it... ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think? I think it's a little bit tricky. As uh, someone mentioned, the Farisa might have been a counter pick, um, so to prevent their opponent from using it. But I'm not sure if that might help or hurt them. Uh, they will definitely need to split up the uh, Anemo for the VV Swirl uh, for either side. So maybe Electro Charge first side and Yai Miko Blue Aggravate second. I'm thinking Yai Official Zhongli Yao Yao second. Mm. And Azua, Farza, and Yeo and Jingcho top. Mm. That could work too. My first thought. Whereas I think ADRs does have a more standard team um, that we're expecting to see. Uh, you know, Bennett Shanling, Chevrous, Raiden. And then um, Nahida, Kokomi, Cookie, and Beidou on the first side. Yep. So this is going to be a C0 Raiden Shogun. Um, point wise, Adiers has uh, three, four, five points, so they are allowed to use two five-star weapons. Gotta fix up the <laughs> artifacts. I think Zhongli will have a huge advantage for the third chamber, too. Yeah, it really does matter.
the false moonlight very common? Miss Blood or Benny? Could be a choice. Miss Blood. I don't know if I would do that. I think I would five star weapon. I mm, ideally have. Like the DPS. Uh, yeah. Ideally, you'd have two ELs. Yeah. Or uh, use EL and Wavebreaker, and then mm. use your other five star weapon for the other side. That depends if they end up rolling for it or not, too. I do not remember if I saw them have um, Engulfing Lightning. Mm. Well, then I hope they have two Wavebreakers. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> I mean, they, that's why this is like, you know, the four minute, I mean, the four minute remaining, but there's like the seven minute prep time to make sure that they have all their artifacts and weapons geared. Sometimes they will also start in the abyss to do kind of like do the teams and fix up their rotation or fix up any energy recharge problems that they might have. But so far, it looks like they need to really gear up their artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> Artifact loadout one. They tried. They tried. The thought that got so yeah. It's it's there. Just needs a little it, bit more refinement. I just want an artifact's favorite folder for each character. Hmm. That's effectively a loadout. And it's also kind of simpler to implement. Hmm. Hopefully they can um, you know, get the take more feedback from the community to try. Yeah. I think they're really all in on these uh, statistically derived recommendations. Yeah. I don't think they're going to back off on it. Yeah. Honestly, I never look at those recommended ones. <laughs> <laughs> R5 Alley Hunter for Fischl. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Alley Hunter. Fischl has really good weapons. String list is very common as well. If you're doing unreacted, Ally Hunter is technically better. Mm -hmm. uh, if your team is a healer, if you don't have uh, Stringless or Ally Hunter, you can always use Song of Stillness, which is oh. the Fontaine Craftable. Sleeper good weapon on Fischl. Oh. I didn't even remember Fontaine had craftable weapons. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I know about the new, car new weapons for the game. <laughs> Okay, two minutes remaining for them to gear up. Fixing up Shan Ling for Adir, and then Yao Yao on Odin's side. So let's taking a look at it. And Tenacity Yao Yao. Wolf Fang has been a very common uh weapon too. I'm a little surprised to not see instructors on Yao Yao, actually. Hmm. Uh the 120 EM can be slightly higher value. Oh, right. Yeah. I think sometimes they kind of forget about it because there were instances right. where people do have instructors, but they probably like switch it back and forth so much that they forget to scroll back down to equip it. Everyone forgets it. Yeah, there is <laughs> like. Oh. I mean, I don't. I, since I don't so compete. Bad. I don't compete in 1v1s like this, but I could tell like the time restraint for picking uh, and choosing the characters and also gearing. Like there's so much going on in your head that you just sometimes it just slips your mind. You just go with whatever's convenient. It's an R1 Xyphos. Mm. Oh, what? Odin's Zod is going in. He's getting ready. Oh, he's doing aggravate oh. top side. Oh, so he's going to double do hydro bottom. Like he does have one of oh. like a really strong Yalon on his end too. C2. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he can beat over the Electro Spectres on Chamber 2. Hmm. So there are still this really cute, I mean, really neat tech that I've seen players do, where if they have Kazuha, they actually stand and wait in the middle, get hit by Pyro first for self-infuse, and then doing his burst. So let's go get the Pyro infusion. Yep, that's one of the only real great ways to mm -hmm. do it. Let's see, 10 seconds remaining. I think eight years is done while Odin is practicing, but we'll just give them a few more seconds before we reveal all of their um, weapons and constellations for the characters. Oh, time is up now. Let me tell them. Okay, time's up. Please exit the abyss. Odin, please change your language to English as possible. And eight years, let's go over your um, side first. 
Raiden the Catch, Constellation Zero. <coughs> Zero. Nahida C2 with Thousand Floating Dreams. Okay, Kokomi Sacrificial, Sifos Cookie, Sea Lord Beto, Miss Blitter Bennett. Or three food. Favonius Lance. Okay, and Odin, whenever you're ready. Solar Pearl, C0. Favonius Shanley, C0. Castle has Syphils as well, C1. Moon Moon, T2. Baruzan. Fischl. Yao Yao. And Shincho. Okay, yep. thank you. Yep. There's the R5 Battle Pass weapon. Wolf <laughs> Yeah. Yep. So how the... And how this is going to work is that um, since Adiers is player A, he will go through the first chamber first, but Odin Zara will be the one picking the upest cards for them. After he goes through the first chamber, we'll switch it to Odin's screen, and then Adiers will pick the card for him. So it's a slightly more balanced. We used to have it where no attack cards are uh, used, so, um, but sometimes with um, with all the new characters out now that relies heavily on HP or defense, this kind of gives more control to the players um, on their side. Switching over to ADR screen, please. Thank you, protection. And Odin, please choose the screen. Oh, okay, thank you. Last, last card. A Kokomi healing is gonna be real nice. <laughs> well, they also have both Koki Kokomi and yeah. um, Shinobu, just to be extra safe. <laughs> <laughs> Never be too we careful. Yeah, we had a, quite a few did not finish yesterday because they were going speed only, no healer, or relying on prototype Amber um, Nahida. So it was like there were very few close calls. <laughs> so far, wow, already clearing out the first wave within 30 seconds. That's the two Nahida, so good value for pulls. But without grouping on this, we need to rely on Nahida linking them together with her skills. No, the grouping's pretty good right now. Hmm. Uh, they're spaced <laughs> well for the Beto bounces. Uh, you really do need to worry about the Cryo one. Mm. You can somewhat focus on the Animo one. Uh, once you've hit her a couple times. Yeah. Sometimes it's just very easy to get Tunnel Vision, but yeah, um, they are able to kill it around the same time. Only took them a minute five seconds for the first half. Not bad. I'm excited for this team. I really like seeing Chevrolet's getting used now. Yeah. I'm so excited. I really want Chevrolet's C6. Oh, I got her at C0 only, and she was already, like, damage comparable to my C2 Orban Kazuha. I was like, ain't huh. no way. Yup. I mean, oh my Honestly, god, Honestly, kind cycle. of an insane character. Yeah, if a C6, she's cycle. gonna even be more broken, too. Oh, are Is they gonna, gonna be using this? He's not gonna commit the Pyronado. Yeah, good. Nope, but we'll be clearing it out at 8.23. Pyro Tornado takes way too long to recharge for energy, but whew, yeah. Bennett was Bennett's um, burst is fine. Triple Pyro helps a lot. <laughs> that too. Okay, Adiers, please choose the card for Odin. And now we switched it over to Odin's side. Let's see how he's gonna uh, fight for Chamber One. They're gonna have to figure out a way around the right inverse not being available. Um, they can kind of cope with it a little bit. Oh, for the right inverse next yeah. uh chamber. Ah! Yeah. I think they'll be okay. I think they were using a lot of Vonius weapons on their uh, second team too. Oh, right, not a lot, just um one of them for Chevy. Okay, we're asked for this one. Aggravate first side. I got a pyro swirl. Fortunate pyro absorb. Damage is damage. It's fine. <laughs> That's my philosophy for clearing us. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I don't know enough neat tricks for it. 
but still around 30 seconds for clearing the first wave too, same as their opponent. Ooh, fall damage. Oh pull. my god. I know fall there's damage. a wave. It, it, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. Don't sleep there on it. Fall damage might do more than a lot of viewers' Eulas. Mm hmm. I mean, from what it looks like, one of them is already gone. Half HP was taken from fall damage okay. earlier. Less than one minute to clear out the first half. Now with this Hydro team. I'm expecting about two rotations. Hmm. Yelan autos hit so fast. Oh my god, what is that damage? Wait, yep. the HP is already gone from the Terra Shroom. 8.45. That's already a uh, 20... Two seconds second difference? Yeah, and he's got Zhongli on chamber three. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, eight years and again chamber two. Odin choose the card for eight years. Just when we thought it was fast. Chat, the Yellen is on Fav. It's they have C2 and they have Zhang Cho. That burst is coming back very easily. Oh, Yelona's on uh, the Moon Moon Bow. Oh, she's on Moon's Moon? That's yeah. Still... Yeah, that's still not an issue. <laughs> that's still not... <laughs> uh, he does have one of the strongest Yelons, um as well, because I he's a huge Yelon fan. <laughs> so, of course, gotta get be. her the best. <laughs> that's her. She deserves it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, Adir's starting off with the second chamber against the Spectres. Clearing all six of them already, doing the setup with the Whopper Flowers. Nice teleport. This is where he could really uh, pull ahead. Just mm. because of that Electro Spectre. Mm. He might be able to catch up. Uh, we'll see. The Serpent Knight's here, though. Gotta ca be careful uh, with Fado's counter, because I think they do get a shield if they hit it. They do. Fado's counter is a shield, and Fado's mm -hmm. ult gives you a shield. Oh, but wow, most of them are already gone. Only the big one oh. remaining. Oh! They're going. Oh, that was nerve wracking. I saw like half the damage taken away <laughs> from the character. <laughs> they're, they're, I'm, I was like getting PTSD yesterday from all of their accidental deaths. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so they don't PMA. Yeah, that riding burst is half full. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have to figure it out. I think they got us. After their setup. <laughs> Jeffy yeah, first, and then Raiden. Woo, nice. Go. 138k. And C0 Raiden on um the catch, I believe. Wait. Yes. Raiden charges that cancels can be a little bit iffy, because it's very easy to whiff the mm. second hit yeah. of the charge attack. It does a ton of damage. So I yeah. see them or... doing one more bets. Or you have a miss crit too. Raiden is very hard to build crit uh, crit rate on. Yeah. I'm surprised they're not doing N4 dash. It's a little bit more damage and a little bit more like mm. Maybe they get nervous with the button spam. Ooh, caught the crab summon though. Uh, probably the it's worst one there. Mm, save them a lot of time, I moved in. <laughs> it's, That's uh, right. I think the one that wastes the most time is the jellyfish. Oh, really? Yeah, those two are like usually the lower ones you don't want. Takes forever to spawn. They're not bad. That's a really good time. Switching it back to Odin. What constellation was their Chevros, by the way? Oh, we didn't see. I could ask. Uh, Adir, choose the car for Odin. C zero. Most likely. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, they did get one miscrit on Raiden, though. Hopefully that will not affect their time. Okay, and now here's Odin waiting. Ooh. You got the pyro. Nice. Yeah, y'all keeping everyone alive is fine. One thing I noticed from this tournament is like everyone always has their energy up for the character so consistent. 
<laughs> That's very it's important for her team. the eye burst commit on uh, that first wave, or the Whopper far away. I think I wanted to save it for the right here. Serpent Knights, yeah, because they're more tankier, whereas the Whopper Falls no are not that bad. Ah, no Dendra! Oof. That's a shame. Oh no. So I don't- I doubt they want to use a reset. <coughs> no, they're still waiting on time. Mm-hmm. 59 seconds first side. Okay. So the array only has um, physical resistance, but for against all the other elements, they're still okay with it. Jolly hmm. should be able to help too. Oh, this is the Yolanda spell so different. <laughs> and yeah, there's the PMA time. They just get to get energy now. Yeah, waiting for them to summon the mobs. And it's going to Ooh, be... Oh, God, right. really lucky. That's really lucky. Yeah, nice positioning as well. And they'll be good for next stage, too, with ER. Yep. Oh, Doing four. good. They don't want to call it early, but... <laughs> Let's see. I mean, right now, they are currently 30 second difference between their opponent. Yep. Okay. Now, Odin, choose the card for 80 years, please. <laughs> the third card. Okay. And Adir's the third card. So both players do have a reset available, but um, usually that could happen at the third chamber if they get unlucky RNG against the local legend. We have seen times where they're like just a sliver of HP away from killing it, and then it spawns another shield. <laughs> That's unlucky. Ah, uh, this is gonna take a while. Really not. The Hyper Blue move uh, is pretty good against Gobelli. Oh my god, Cookie. I mean, they're freezing it right now. Rushing in even if they're taking damage. But they do have two healers on the side. None of them should be able to get one shot either. This is a little bit unfortunate. It's a shame Beto doesn't... No, has, Beto has dramatic damage fall off mm. when there are a bunch of targets or only one target. Oh. Wait, so is she better in multi-targets or solo? Or single? Multi-target. Multi right? Yeah. So the way Beto works is she generates five bounces when there are two enemies. At least mm. two enemies. Uh, but there are always only five bounces. So oh. she doesn't have true AoE. She has like a fake AoE because mm. that damage gets spread out upon all the targets. Oh. Ooh, was that non crit again? They're gonna need another ride in rotation for this. Gotta dodge the ground damage. Heal popping up. Again. Yep. Overload is able to break through the shield, but plunging is probably faster. And that's what Bennett's doing? I would start doing damage. Oh, yep, right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah, saving it. <laughs> They're preparing. <laughs> Okay, right him first. Nice, 157k. And then their final time is gonna be 808. Thank you. That's a very respectable time. Uh, it took them 333 seconds, five minutes and 33 seconds for the uh, all three chambers. But now let's see if, how Odin Zara is gonna compete against that. And Adiers is going to select the third card for him. Okay, time to beat 738. That's a lot of time for Odin. That is a lot of time. 
Using the Yayo for the eye frame instead of the eye burst. Mm. Oh my god, that was very low on Fischl. A lot of his characters are um, class cannons, I would say. Can die in like two hits. Two? I'm thinking one. <laughs> <laughs> well, one is like if they take off half HP, if they're full HP. But if they're like already half, then that might be it. Oh my god, it was on red. I was getting nervous seeing like any catalyst characters here. They're so squishy. <gasps> Ooh. He's dancing along the edge of death right now for his Yamiko. Oh, nice dodge. It, it's almost over. It's all right. Yeah. yeah they can play a little risky. Burst up. Nope. 57 seconds. I don't know, man. If it was me playing that guy, I would have died like three times over already. <laughs> A little Yolan show off, of course, for his favorite character. Jolene Meteor. Let up for everyone. Yolan first. I mean, even with the shield, he could kind of just tank a lot of damage too. The shield makes it so he doesn't have to interact with the jump. Yeah. But when it does the waves. Ooh. Very fortunate, right? That was very fast with the Zhongli shield break. Yep. That Zhongli plunge is slick. It's like the as well as timing. the uh, RR cancels on the Elon. Yeah. Doesn't do much, but it is fancy. <laughs> and that's it. The time is going to be 8.15 for Odin's third chamber. Final score is 296 seconds. 296 versus 333 and now Odin will be the one advancing to the semi-finals um, for the next stage and he will be playing um, the winner between the next match Hambo and Car versus Carlos so here's the time you can see how fast he uh, he did against his opponent um, 22 seconds 8 seconds and 7 seconds wow But congratulations, thank you Adios for joining us as well. And then Odin, stay tuned. You will be fighting uh, uh, again in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> so how was the first matchup, we, uh, you would say, for now? Oh, that, that went really well for Odin Zada. Uh, picking Farzan was a really clever way to deny any of the Animo boys. Mm-hmm, true. And just getting Zhongli, getting Zhongli on that third chamber is a, it's <laughs> such a big boon. I was really hoping for another Skara or Zhao gameplay, but it's okay. Because then yeah. even if uh, Farisan could still get some work done on the second chamber. Okay, let me ping the next two players as well. But for this, so that's generally how all the tournament matches go. They do take a little bit while um, to go through everything because, you know, we have to make sure uh, they are doing their pick and bans and then also organizing their artifacts. Then we go one by one for their chambers as well. But, um, you know, if definitely if you need a break or anything, let me know. You don't need to stay the whole time. But thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I don't have anything going on. <laughs> uh, my chat's enjoying it. So I know yep. I was kind of peeking over AI chat too, and I see some familiar faces who have been watching this tournament for the past um, few years, actually. <laughs> so I'm glad that um, they are some of the new players or some of the old friends as well are hopping in to check it out. Yep. <laughs> the other option with Star Rail. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. That's Hell, I mean, the Star Rail. I, I actually like Honkai Star Rail, but I'm a little bit behind on the story. You know, I enjoy it. I I dislike how much the content caters to specific characters, generally um, while they're available. It makes it kind of yeah. awkward. So I think right now they're um I kinda notice like Genshin is slowing down, but Honkai is picking up with the story, so they're kind of probably alternating the hype between the two games. Okay, but with enough about Star Rail, let's continue on with our tournament. Hamble and Carlos are available. Both of them are also from Brazil side. This is honestly, a, it's supposed to be like a global um, tournament because we had players from Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, France, Russia, uh, EU gang showing up as well. Uh, but 
seeing all of them compete in like with these rule set which i know it's never going to be balanced it's a, you could really tell like a lot of people practice a lot too from this no it's really fun and you get to play a lot of stuff you don't normally play yeah, and against players from around the world too. So for right here, we flip the coin. It is going to be heads. Uh, so Hambo will decide to choose player B. And Carlos will be player A. Okay, and we'll start it all over again with the pick and bass because it's a new match every time. So right now, Carlos, please choose your first ban. I'm already expecting the Nivolet for Arena again. As much as I love Nivolet, he is way too strong in this uh, abyss. That top side, it's it's <laughs> built for him, very yeah. literally. It's all it's interesting because I know a lot of your competitors pulled C1. Mm, yes, C1 uh, but, R1. Yeah, the abyss chambers are laid out in such a way where you can get that C1 bonus at yeah. C0. So it's a bit of a wasted cost besides the interruption resistance. True. That's, uh, it's because they're trying to sell, I guess, the ba current banner, which Nivolet will be returning soon with Kazuha. So that's Kazuha's are like 100% pick rate as well. But Chiori, we don't see as often in comparison to like Zhongli or Navia sometimes. Yep. And already they're uh, banning Raiden Shogun. Sad. And Nivolet also taken off. <laughs> okay, and now Carlos choose another ban. But yeah, from this, um, hosting this, I've learned that there are very strong, dedicated 1v1 communities out there. And everyone is always so very welcoming and kind, um, as well for new, uh, for new players, viewers, competitors, etc. And from trying to host this, it's very nice to see all of them come together and just kind of like share tips or just be, you know, good sportsmanship around too. Yeah. For, yeah. Um, you know, helping, not helping each other, or just like, um, like, hey, good games all around. I'll see you next time. Such like that. Yep. Navia and Zhongli Ban. Yep. Carlos, choose your first character. Navia is too strong. They don't want. They don't want to see her here. Fish shell first pick. Campbell choose two. Farina C two and Kazuha C zero. Oh, this time Farina did manage to squeeze in through. Let me pick these characters first. Carlos, choose two characters. But that's already four points on Hamble's side. Yep. I would say a lot of the C2 constellations are worth it. Like C2 Raiden, C2 Nahida, C2 Farina. But then there's also like C1 Nivellet, C1 Risley. Pryo unfortunately suffers in this abyss though. I don't know how strong of a contender C1 Risley is necessarily. Mm. C1 is about... 12, 18% damage increase. A lot of those costs might be better spent on something like a yeah. C2 Farina. Or, oh, uh, true. Nahida. Uh, meanwhile, Nahida. Nivellet, C3 C1, Nivellet C1 for reference is about double at 28%. Yeah, that's that's crazy for Nivellet. <laughs> Shan Ling and Yelan C0. <coughs> Ooh, Yelan. Campbell choose two. Shincho and Bennett. <laughs> National team always getting taken. And Carlos choose one more character. I don't really remember what um, both of these character players have on their team, but the Raiden pick was our ban was definitely targeted towards Hambo, and Carlos is going to be choosing Sucrose for their four star Animo. And now Hambo choose one character and one weapon to ban. Oh, and Amelie going to ban Yai Miko and the Aqua Simulacra. Ooh. 
and Carlos choose one character, one weapon ban. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I'm trying to figure out exactly what Carlos can play to get a great matchup. I'm gonna I assume the Sucros they're either gonna rely on her grouping or use her yes. as an on-field DPS for some form of electro charge. Because they can't yeah. play Shangling DPS at this point. <laughs> no. I mean they still have four more characters to go through. We don't know what other five stars they have. Um, but whereas for Hamble, like the Farina solid. Yeah. Carlos, your characters, please. I mean, one character, one weapon pass. That would work. Okay. Like, either player could get something like a Hutao. Oh, yes. Their second side if they needed. Hutao. Hutao is also good. Flowers on ban and Favonia sword banned. Goodbye, Fav. Ambo, one character, please. Yeah, I can tell they wanted to get shifters. Oh, Hample gonna be choosing C1 Wu Tao. Yep. Carlos, choose two characters. Okay, Hample currently has C2 Farina, C0 Kazo, C1 Wu Tao. That's at six points already. They have one more point for a C0 character or save it for a five-star weapon. Whereas Carlos is still only at one point with his Yalon. Carlos, choose two. Nahida C0 and I'll hide them C0. Campbell choose two. Double Dendril. So probably gonna be take, picking up a cookie shinobu soon. Oh definitely. You'd have to. Mm -hmm. There's only two characters. Unless left. Hambo unless Hambo tries to snipe her, which it could happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it no. could really happen. Oh no. They'd be stuck with Nilu Healerless. That's risky. You think they're gonna choose a bloom team, Nilo blue team? If they get to Nine Shinobu, they'd have to. There's no other option. Well, right now, Hamble's gonna be choosing Beto and Barbara. Barbara is viable, guys. Holy based. <laughs> Carlos, your last two characters. I think they're just being a good sport. <laughs> Actually, Sayo um, is a rare character, or not often choose, but has been getting a lot of screen time um, in this Abyss too, just for her Claymore break, Anemo, BV, Holder, and Healing for the second side. Oh, Sayo, I thought you were saying Sino, I'm like, oh, no, Sayo, Sayo, Sayo. Sayo, Claymore break. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Carlos, last two characters. Hmm, Babara is the top pick for Farina for the high uh, heal resonance hydro damage boost. And Carlos' last two characters are going to be Koki Shinobu and Mona C4. Oh, there is a difference for the standard characters. So Mona C4 actually count as two points instead, where um, the standard characters C0 to C3 cost one point, C4, 5, and 6 cost two points. Uh, you, and was the Mona C3 or C4? C4. Oh, yes. I forgot to click once. And last character for Hambo is going to be Hazel. This is going to be the draft between uh, Carlos and Hambo. We'll yeah, once again Hambo, have. I, I really <laughs> would have gone for Kuki Shinobu instead of Barbara. It would really have put uh, Carlos at a real big pinch. Oh, he's just like screw over their draft. <laughs> oh, yeah, entirely. <laughs> Okay, please share screen when you can. You have seven minutes to prepare your weapon and artifacts. Okay, let's take a look. Maybe they're going for more... Uh, wait, okay. Let me double check their characters. So for their hotel, Hazel might be on the second... Most likely be on the second side with Shin Cho. Wait, 
they could do like different rearrangement for their teams. Um, Carlos has two options. He could either do Hyper Bloom or a spread for Team for Alatham with double mm -hmm. Electro. So they'd be doing Yelan, Mona, Shangling, Sucrose as a Vape Sucrose team or, or the Vape Yelan team, which mm -hmm. can absolutely work topside. It might be a little bit risky though. Stringless Yelan pick that would that would be for Vape. <laughs> oh. Because... I think that's what they're gonna end up doing. Okay, I'm gonna double check their points. Carlos, one, two, three. Carlos work for second side. Okay. I do think they're gonna end up picking Vapio on though. Hmm. Yeah, Vaporize has more um damage. So Carlos does have five points on her team. They're allowed to use two five-star weapons, whereas Hambo has three, four. Can only use one five-star weapon. So really gotta choose. Maybe they're sticking with the Splendor on uh, Farina, or changing it. Ooh, Wolfang instead. Wolfang. Getting the gear for Cookie Instructor Cookie. Already have the artifacts locked. Wait, Favonia Sword is banned, so they'll need to take that away from Cookie. Yeah, okay, they're definitely doing spread and Ford Vape Yalan. Yup, there's the instructor set. Let's go! Yep. <laughs> Well, bonus be safe. Sack Kazuha would be for uh, on field Kazuha for Hambo, which would be great for topside. I'm too used to C1 Kazuha uh, with the skill burst and skill again. Uh, <laughs> Whenever I go on C0 Kazuha, I'm like, Where, where's my, where's where is my it? reset? I... <laughs> It's so noticeable. You don't use it all the time, but you do. It's always you don't know it's there, and yeah. you're always gonna find an opportunity where it's like, damn, if only I had that. Yeah, I also do viewer abyss clear sometimes. So when I go under casa, I'm like, I there are times where I just freeze on screen. It's like, oh wait, it's gone cool down. I can't spam it. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out what Ambo's gonna do. Um. Do you think they separate the Jingcho and the Farina? I mean, for their Hu Tao, they might need to, right? I could see Beto first side with um, Kazuha, Farina, and Barbara. The second half with yeah. Bennett, though? Second half, Jingcho, Bennett. Yeah, Hezo, Jingcho. Mm -hmm. It might be a bit difficult to execute, but it could work. It would definitely work. I mean, I either that or you that use sure. uh, either that or you use prototype Amber Hajo for Farina. Oh, Carlos already doing some practice runs in. It was gonna be spread first half, and then vape on the second half. I think I'll hide them. Like while he can clear this abyss, okay. I'm not sure if it's up to a speed run standard. Just because of a lot of the dendro resistance. The balls are a bit of a problem. If yeah. you can get through them, though, it's somewhat smooth sailing. There's also the Dendro Spectre that you have to deal with. Yeah, Dendro Spectre on the second half. First half with these. It'll definitely work. It doesn't have to be speedrun clear. It just right, has to be yeah. good enough. I mean, with these practice, he's already getting them done around 30 seconds, so... That's what you want to say, yeah. It's just going to be if he can keep them grouped. He Looking should be good. okay. Uh, kind of. Mm, well, this is practice. It will not count yeah. for their official runs. Yep. Sometimes it's nice to, you know, kind of get the jitters out, playing a little oh, yeah. bit too. And if there's any issues with their artifacts or weapons that they want to change, they will have some extra time to uh, mess around with. More yep. And right now, Hambo is also going to do some practice. Let's see what team he's going to set up for us. Yep. Oh, it's going to be Electro 
charge for side. And there's Cho, And net as well. Yep. Hejo does give 80 EM and can hold mm. TTBS. It's almost Sucrose. <laughs> He's the Saitama Sucrose. <laughs> hey, Vape on the second side for Carlos. Ooh, he was the hydro strong. Very rare to see Sucrose on the second half, but it still works. It, it's rough because I'll hit from your other. You're gonna crash into yeah. Dendro's either way because of that chicken. Yeah. <laughs> that took them around like 8 12 remaining for their practice runs. Let's see if their official ones could do better. Whereas for Hambo. He's having some energy problems in that Farina. Mm. And that Vado. He might have to do some regearing. I think they were even using Favonius on their Beto, no? Oh, yeah. Beto <laughs> needs like 230 <laughs> with the fast. Oof. I, that's why I can't play Beto. She costs too much ER. I even though I know like she's really good. But I can't get their energy back fast enough. Time is gonna be up soon. Let me have them exit. Oh, he doesn't up know this. how to set off the pyro roll. Oh, that's not good. Okay, time's up. Hamble, Carlos, please exit the upis and show me your uh, gear. Hamble, I'll look over your store since you loaded in. Good. Well, they won't be able to do any more adjust adjustments now that time is up. Okay, C2 Farina with Wolfang. Kazuha C0. Sacrificial. Toma who tap. C1. Favonius Fatal. with Bennett. That isn't not what I would have gone for. Sacrificial. And Favonius Barbara. Oh, and the Sword of Nazuka for that on Benny. Drilling Tales. Okay. Okay, and Carlos, on your side. Stringless Yolan C0. Lo-Fi al C0. What's the Favonia Satwood Skyward Heart? Wait, yeah. This could really Hold be up. anyone's game. <laughs> Wait, was that engulfing? Wait, Carlos, you had three five-star weapons, right? Lo-fi, I'll hide them, Skyward, Harp, Fischl, and... And engulfing Xiangling. Because you only use two. Yes, thank you. Cannot change weapons, only... I mean, cannot change artifacts, only weapon. Damn it. Wait, 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 hold on. Carlos, did you change... I mean, I need you to change back the artifact. Only weapon allowed, not artifact. You got it. That was what you originally had. We gotta be strict with this. Trust in the 50 crit rate. I'm sorry. I just... You have seven minutes. I have to enforce the rules. We can't let any... Anything to go by. Who's going first? Carlos? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hamble, right. choose the card for Carlos. Middle card. I gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta enforce the rules, you guys. I can't let this go on. It's all right. The uh, the official damage is not 
as significant here because you'll have a pretty consistent central aura. You're not continuously blocking to uh, aggravate. Or... I mean, what's this? I don't think it's that big of a deal, though. I mean, right now for speedrun competition, every little thing matters. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. For so in the bracket too, for their um, top 32 score, Hamble was ranked number five, whereas Carlos is ranked number 20 for their clear times. Hopefully, that official will not affect them too much. Okay. Oof. Uh, can oh. At least there's a wide range for I'll hide them, but you don't want to get staggered around like that. You need to have them lined up for I'll hide them though. Yeah. First up for Nahida. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. He's getting juggled. Yeah, fine. As long as he doesn't play greedy here with this one. Okay. Because the cryo you want to be careful. Okay. Almost there, but about one minute and twenty seconds. That's unfortunate. Okay, second half now. Okay, first up. Also unfortunate. Did not hmm. get that vape. The damage is still there. Saw that for Yellow. The damage is a big commitment. Especially without a bunch Ooh, of that. Yeah. yeah. They're gonna use their first reset. Then like the good grouping on the first side and the second half was also no more reset. Did they have two R5 string roses leveled? <laughs> I won't be surprised if they do. I didn't see the refinement rank. I do see that they have stringless though. Just want to make sure they don't have the harp on the yellow one. Yeah. Oh uh, no, they changed it. They had a uh, skyward harp on fish show, but that yeah. was three five star they weapons, and that. I told them to they change that it. Yeah. To, they switched that to stringless. Stringless. Yeah. I just don't remember the refinement and rank. And stringless on was on the yellow one. Yep. That too. So two stringless. Okay. They would have had to have had just stringless. I won't be surprised if they do have two R5. Okay, maybe with this reset, they will be able to do better for the grouping against the Fatui agents. Looks better. Yeah. So we have the um, reset curse happened before where they end up getting a worse time or having a character accidentally die. Let's hope it won't happen to them uh, today. <laughs> Sorry. It's so unfortunate that Fischl's first does not have iframe. I think she's the only one. There's two <gasps> iframes. It's two? not enough to actually dodge anything, but there are two. Two? Wait. <laughs> Well, I always take damage whenever that happens. Uh. Alright, let's go again against the chicken. Pitch takes iframe very literally. That's awful. <laughs> oh, I thought I heard a character. I know, that was close. Okay, he did get the vape that time. That's nice. He missed this hydro throw. He missed hydro throw again. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately with this time with the reset use, they are not allowed to use any more retries. If they use it in the first chamber, they can't use it in any other chamber. So yep. they just have to play it through. Yeah, no, okay. That sucks. That is gonna be an 802 clear. Whew. Switching it. To Hambo. Okay, and Carlos choose the card for Hambo. This feels like a rock in a hard place with the cards. Take the healing <laughs> bottom. The barber's more effective. <laughs> 
I mean, the healing effect in this will be helpful for Farina. Let's start it up. Kazuha first, Arena as well. Got Hydro Swirl. <laughs> I mean, it's DPS Barbara. Are we going with this? That was hard. <laughs> She's still viable, you guys. I saw a player uh, the other day. Someone who did uh, Melt, Baron Bunny Bomb, Amber, one side, and Fate Barbara, the other side. And they 36 started. It was incredible. Oh, wow. It has to be like C6 of the other characters, though. Uh, yeah, C6. Mm -hmm. Barbara's guns don't do that much. She doesn't have a normal attack on. She's not from Fontaine. <laughs> oh, but wow. One minute clear for the first side. See if you can get the Pyros roll. Chincho, Bennett, okay, and yeah, Nice, got it. I mean, Pyro usually takes priority over all the other elements, too. And with Bennett first on the head. bottom. But hmm? it doesn't work that way. Um, absorption hmm. is not a swirl, and Heijo has no absorption. Oh. Well, I mean, one cycle was almost enough to clear out the terror yeah, ship. Doesn't have enough ER. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, classic Bennett. That'll work, though. Yeah, just a chip damage left, but it is gonna be at 8... 19 clear. 17 second difference so far. He has a... Heijo specifically... He, his burst has an absorption. It depends on the... It, or on the element being on the enemy in the first place. And I believe it has standardized ED so it, with his main burst, so it doesn't swirl. Oh. Technically. That's too big, Brain. <laughs> okay, uh, third card, Hambles chooses for Carlos. Healing effectiveness. I hope they have a C6 cookie, though. It'll be okay. What are they gonna do here against the Spectres? Special. We're just gonna have to chill. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I'll just be a little bit stalled. Love that immune damage. It happens. Yeah. Well, it will clear. It will clear. Cookie hanging on. Set up for the flowers. Fortunate. Well, that's not that big of a loss. Yep. No, cool. yeah. They are still around the same. Clear. Yep. I love how Cookie's burst lingers a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it lasts longer if she's below 50% HP. <laughs> oh. It's the mechanic. Oh, gotta dodge the rocks. Already one enemy it. left. Nice. Yeah, I think once he got through the Dendro Specter, Dendro Electro Specters, the rest was history. Yeah. Let's get that ER for Shanling. Oh, there it is. There's the tornado. Wait, there are no healers here. Uh, they could be running for a second, Amber Amona. Gently looking very dangerous, though. Hopefully, they won't take another accident hit. Oh, no, they're running TTDS. The shot leg. <laughs> With Mona, too. I mean, they get, are getting okay, no, it's working. the HP down, yeah? yeah? Yeah, they just have to make sure that Gentling takes no more damage from now. Oh, and they got the Dorito Ship. Hello? <laughs> oh no! Dorito staring contest. Oh man, the AI is trolling them. Hey, 
Okay, they need to get some energy saver for the next chamber, but they will clear it at 7.53. Next slide. I mean, next character player, Hamble. Carlos, please choose the card for Hamble. Middle card. All right, swirling. There it is. <laughs> oh, my God, the Barbara. <laughs> Saving their burst for the next enemies. Oh, well, so for Karina. Should be clearing it. Trying soon. to save Kazuriska kind of there. Might have been a little questionable. Yeah. And that is going to stall them now. Because yeah. I think the Whopper Flower took them a little longer than necessary to clear. <clears throat> I think they're still clearing. Okay. <laughs> I mean, right now, Hamble does have a reset to fall back on if necessary. Uh, really depends on the third chamber. Because I think the array is very, you know, simple, basic to clear out, too. They might just spend the reset on PMI. I wouldn't call it now, you know. <laughs> okay, how about here? With their Huta out. Oh, got push out Bennett's burst. Unfortunate dash cool that moment. Let me double check. This is a C1 Hu Tao at least. But in general. Yeah. Every dash matters when it comes to her. Had to use another cycle. Should be able to force it into the mob base soon though. Yep. And then see what R uh which RNG he's gonna get. Crab. Oh, not gonna wait for it to jump. Just gonna go straight in with Shinjo. Ah, oh, but right outside Bennett's circle, too. That's fine. As long as they finish it here. Never mind. <laughs> it's gonna stall. Well, they. I don't think there is a reset. They're so close. 742. Yeah. That's about oof, 11 seconds on the second chamber difference already. Wait, but they closed up the gap from their uh, first chamber. What's the time difference now? So right now it's six seconds. Six seconds difference. Um, Hamble Infogera? is leading. Okay. Hamble is leading by six seconds only. So it will really depend on the third chamber right now. Yeah. So here is the timestamp of uh, a reset might have been six second difference. Might have been the right choice. Maybe they're worried about the uh, filter generator though. The third chamber, yeah. Since they did ban Zhongli, um, and none of them have a Nemo, depend. It'll really depend on who could clear out the shield the fastest. Just got to jump up and down. As long as that Zhongli doesn't no. die, Carlos <laughs> might have a shot. I don't know. Oh, true. Very clean first chamber at all. Almost clearing it, Coppelia. Special. All right, cool. It's Coppelia. Okay, second side. Oh my god, that's all right. Some link can't get hit. Oh, they saved her. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Ah, and that's it. They were so close. Okay, so it's not right. over yet. What Hambo, happens now? Hambo needs to clear. Yep. All Hamble needs to do is clear. Um, Carlos, please choose the card for Hamble. And Hamble, go to the chamber three. 
So if if Hanbo is not able to clear it, even with the reset, there will be a free retry for Carlos as well. But right now, Hanbo is looking very strong on his end. Ooh, these are all good cards for him. Middle card. Wow, he's really going to give it... Okay. <laughs> Wild. Okay. <laughs> Now all I have to do is just, as Hanbo just needs to clear. Doesn't matter how long he takes, he can take the whole full 10 minutes if he wants, which I don't think he will, but... I don't think he wants to. <laughs> yeah. The thing about it, the longer you take to clear, the harder it is to survive on this stuff. Oh. Something I really noticed from doing viewer accounts. One rotation or two rotations against Copalia is a lot easier than five. <laughs> I mean, he's looking very solid at the moment. Everyone's healthy. Everyone is doing damage. Cassius Swirl. Oh, wait, but... Ooh. No, power, he's gonna power through it. You know, Barra, yeah, Barra C6. Oh, the Barra C6! <laughs> Tile attack is pretty fun too. Because it's like you could do charge and then uh jump plunge. I don't know why he disabled it. He's, he's throwing a little bit. It's quicker it's if you disable him later. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. Matter. He's very comfortable with clearing right now. <laughs> Hang in there, Shincho. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, I know you have one free reset, but Hanbo, please. <laughs> and is that the kill? It's just gonna have another kill. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? what is he doing? It's dramatic. You're on the edge of he your wants, seat! He's just giving us a show right now, huh? <laughs> Seven... Wait, was it 725? Yeah, 725. Well, you know what, GG? Nice try for Carlos07 for his attempt, though, for Shanling with engulfing. Still good uh, GG's all around. Congratulations to Hanbo for advancing to the next stage. He will be fighting against Odin Zada um, after two more matches for the semifinals. He, his clear time was 394 seconds uh, for all three chambers. It was an that interesting Barbara. matchup because the that Heijo wasn't doing much. They were giving TTDS an 80 EM and I guess the Hydro Stroll for the Jingzhou. Uh, mm. While Carlos was really ambitious with the VV on. I think it might have backfired <laughs> a little bit. That struggling ER is rough. Yeah, I mean, they uh, they have to just play with whatever they can draft it out. Yeah too because then carlos did take sucrose so i don't think there was really another animo option for hanbo to use since he also already has kazuha official was official was off the board too yeah yeah official was taken from their opponent too yeah that's rough but let's see but so congratulations for hanbo's end that they managed to clear it um as well with, with a little barbara showcase um, Carlos is knocked out of the tournament, but they still got a really steady place on the top eight. Right now, we still have uh, two more matches of single eliminations to go through. How are you feeling right now, um, J-Star? 
Oh, I feel great. This is a blast. <laughs> thank you again. Thank you for having me. It means a lot. If anyone is interested in following me, it's uh, twitch.tv slash jason25. Okay, because then I was thinking of just going for a little brief break, maybe, you know, restroom break, um, uh, getting some water as well. So in the meantime, um, yeah, we'll be back after maybe five minutes. You could just go hang out with your chat as well. But we'll, before this channel, we'll be in a beer back screen. Perfect. I'm also going to go run the bathroom. <laughs> okay, then we'll, we'll, we'll be right back after this short commercial break. <laughs>
Welcome back. Welcome back. We had two exciting matches to go through from our tournament. We still have two more single eliminations as well. And I was listening a little bit for um, Jason. Uh, you also know some of the competitors here, right? Uh, yeah, Dotto and uh, Jamal, mm -hmm. friends of the stream. Yes. Uh, we did some, we did like a small pick them thing on my mm, Like the points. 1v1s? Yeah. Yeah. Jamal was also end up to be the top 32 uh, for our tournament, tournament, but he was knocked out um, earlier last week. Whereas Dado was our previous championship winner, and he is going to be playing up next. Yep. I mean, Dado's gameplay is always so smooth and clean. Um, from what I remember, like the uh, for what the community talks about him and Odin Zada are always like you know the one v ones rivals in a sense, but like friendly rivals because they do oh. a lot of practice together. So their their wins have been like you know fifty fifty even. Sometimes they take uh, Dado takes some other times Odin takes the win over another. So they those two are kind of what people are expecting in the grand finals. I wonder if they have a side bet going on between the two of them. <laughs> I'm not sure. But it would be interesting to see, though, because I feel like all both of them have their own um, fan clubs at this point <laughs> to see who they want to, um, you know, vote for or win. So now, let's see. We'll switch it over to our next matchup, which is going to be uh, Dado versus Wesley. Dado is already in chat. Oh, let me ping Wesley. And we'll see what they could bring for us. Lin uh, Dado does have a really good Linny gameplay. I don't know if Wesley will allow him to go through. And then we'll do our usual um, flip a coin, choose heads or tails. That was going to choose tails and it's going to be his cho choice, that was A or B. Yeah, All right, player A. All right, set up here. All right, let's start the pick and ban right now. That'll you have 30 seconds to choose your first ban. And Farina taken out really fast. Ooh, that was easy. That was no, easy. Not surprised. <laughs> Very standard bans. Kazuha banned this time though. And oh, there goes the Linny. Wesley's gonna be banning no, Linny. Is. He, Dado does have like a C1 Linny as well. Understandable. Going back to the picks, Emily is going to be choosing Fish Show. And now it's Wesley's turn to choose two. Which is Shincho Banette. Jolie's okay. still on the board. And Navia. Sure. He, oh, true. Navia, uh, Nahira, too, even. Yeah. That'll choose two. Although, I don't think Johnny is really like a first half pick most of the time, usually like the second mm -hmm. end. They want to secure good supports and then DPS first. Yeah. And, yep, that was going to be picking C2, Nahida, and Jan Ling. The winner exactly. last tournament was Dado, who is playing right yep. now. Wesley, choose two. Yeah, we've been well, I've been hosting this for about um two years now. We actually started off with around four players joining in. Um, but throughout the past two years, it just kept on growing and growing throughout the time. There are a lot of adjustments to the rules whenever we can, but I know it's very hard to balance um, you know, a PVE gacha game and a game mode that no one really tries to do PvP for. But I just hope it will be a fun, interesting watch and a good experience for all the players. But Wesley, C3 Raiden, and Kujo Sara. That'll choose one. Ooh. And Farazan pick. Wesley. 
Let's leave one character, one weapon to ban. Maybe Wesley tries to ban one of the animal boys. Or not. Chevrous and Favbo. Wait, banning Chevrous? That not that from his own end? And Vavonius Bow. Damn. Whereas that was going to be banning Yalon. And? And the weapon. He's thinking, he's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to compute right now. Yep. Pressure's on! It's very difficult trying to remember all the characters within like a 30 second time range. Deathmatch. And the deathmatch. Wesley, one character please. I do like seeing these Vifonius weapon bands. Get them out of here. Struggle <laughs> with ER. I think Dotto is going to get for, go for. Do they have enough points to get Shao Fart or Shao Shonyun? Uh, yeah. If they are within um, C0, C1, it's just still okay. Nahida is three points right now. C2 is three yeah. points. Um, so they still have four points available. I know he has a C0 Zhao, but his Wander is C2, I believe. No, C1. Which is C1 or two? Yeah. C Chat says C2, which is could oh, be a bit of an yeah. issue. Because I think he tried to roll for C6 Farazam one time, but he got screwed over and ended up getting C3 Skara, but he did not activate the constellations for Skara, like that type of problem. Yeah, that's <laughs> the funny thing about these cost tournaments. Is yeah. Wesley, like uh, what's your Venti constellation? And that'll choose two characters. Yep, C0 Venti. So yeah, he, I do know for a fact that he does have a, a pretty strong Skara Mush, um, but, you know, the constellation. I think we might see red and topside with Venti. Hmm. Oh, true. I think Wesley did play um, Venti Raiden before well, on top side. He's gonna, and that was gonna be picking C0 Zhongli and Beidou. Wait, that is a C0 Zhongli, right? And Wesley choose two. Beidou, another very popular pick. He, she's like getting another spotlight. Yeah, you can play Hyper Raiden with Venti. Beidou pick. Interesting. Well, I see official Nahida Beto, so that's one team, sort of. Hmm. But what about second team? Oh, Wesley, Nia, choose two. Wesley, choose two, please. Hu Tao and Yao Yao. Yeah. Constellation on. <laughs> Tao C1. Yeah. Battle choose two. Okay. Hu uh, Tao C1 and Yao. I apologize for the coughs. I'm, I'm still trying to recover. <laughs> Okay, but Yao Yao, maybe... I guess it'll be Aggravate Riding with Venti. Yeah, first side. half? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. It'll definitely work. They just need to be careful to not get one shot against Coppelia. <laughs> yeah, Yao's healing can be really questionable uh, as an off-field healer. As an on-field healer, Yao Yao is basically second to none. Mm-hmm. I'm sure Wonder. they have something prepared. Yeah. Yep, uh, there's... constellation on your thank you, Daddle. And yep, last two characters on his end is going to be the C2 Wanderer and uh, Sucrose. Yep. And last character, Wesley. So that's going to be exactly seven points on Daddle's side. Uh, no five star weapons allowed on his end. Whereas Wesley with the C3 Raiden, C0 Venti, and C1 Hutel, that's also seven points. He's um, gonna have to get lucky with Lidseth. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Wesley, one more character, please. And his last character has to be a four star. Which is Hazel. Mm, another Hazel selected. 
All right. This is the matchup between uh, G. Dado and Wesley Zell. They will have seven minutes to prepare their weapon and artifacts. In the meantime, we could do a little bit of gambling analysis of their uh, teams as well. Please share screen when you can. We'll start the timer for seven minutes. <laughs> Everyone's already yeah. saying Dado got fatal. It's his waifu buff. <laughs> Dado's definitely doing official Beto uh, yeah. behind the paper stop side. And then Shangling Wanderer for Zan Zhongli second side. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. yeah, I think I probably would have done Xia Xianyun uh, to be oh, a bit more efficient with the five star pulls, but they picked think... Shangling early. Yeah, I think it's also because their um, Xian Yun might have um, Constellation and it oh, would not. You wouldn't do that, yeah. Yeah, it would not work out for the points, too. But Wonder, not bad. It'll work. And mm -hmm. then, what do I see Wesley doing? Um, I do think they're going to do right a, Again, another aggravate team topside. Yeah, Venti, uh, with Venti. With Venti. Wait, then, Wesley's second side would be the same um, same team as Carlos, right? I know, uh, Hambo. Hambo. Yeah, yep. Hambo from previous match. We'll see if he's able to execute it a bit better. <laughs> Not well, it's like, here, I'll show you really how to play this team now. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Is this a flex? <laughs> it could be a flex. <laughs> no. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> My mod's put up a gamble. Have you also been secretly doing gamba yourself? Oh, like, yeah. thinking, mm, which team has been, like, you gambling? Oh, me? No, I haven't. <laughs> no? But have you been like uh since after taking a little analysis of the two teams two uh players it was like you kind of expected one to win over the other or you just kind of wait until the time runs out um after um, the match it's easy to say in retrospect yeah i expected everyone to win <laughs> <laughs> um you can kind of tell from the picks there are some things that are just better matchups for you yeah to play out yeah, it happens. I think that right now too can be a bit of a risky pick, uh, yeah. just because of how difficult this grouping can be because of the auto target. Yeah, his auto uh, target's a little bit wonky. Can't really afford to do resets, but if mm. he can pull it off, maybe he gets a competitive clear with the sucrose. Mm. Yeah, since they did ban um, Kazuha first, there's uh, and Battle chose sucrose. The only other option was Venti. Because Hazel and um, Farazon could do a little grouping, but not a lot. Yeah, it's just not a lot. You mostly pick Farazon just to deny the other person. Yeah. <laughs> well, yesterday we have some players where they counterpick Farazon against their opponent, but end up not choosing Squaramush or Wander or anything. But I believe Dado picked... Oh, yesterday he picked like a double pyro with Linny, Bennett, Farazon, and Venti, and just went like DPS Venti with uh, Far Faru buffing. I was like... I mean that that's a play. That is the play. That is a pl with Lenny. That's fun. Yeah. Um he definitely had what to have, uh, definitely do that top side. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So like it's all really down to the draft. Make sure you put the artifacts on. Dotto is gonna have to get lucky with Widset on Skara. We'll see if it happens. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. 130 or Beto. Ooh. They're gonna need to change that soon. Oh, 145. Okay, that's not as bad. Oh, pretty good ratio. 75 and over 200. It's already gonna go in and do some practice runs for us and showing us a um their teams, I'm sure. <clears throat> oh no, went back out, going back in. I now. would not be able to deal with the eternal exclamation point on Wanderer. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there a specific text on Wanderer, like normal attacks or charge attack cancels and such? To, yeah. Uh, play with him. Generally, you do. Depends on what weapon you use. If you use Total's Remembrance, mm. you just do N3 yeah. and N2D whenever it's available. 
Uh, because his dashes are in range of the But otherwise, you do any 2 C combos. Uh, kind of similar to Hotel. Oh, wow. Except with a smaller damage difference. No. Okay, so it is gonna be spread first half of Ooh, C3 Raiden. That's nice damage. And battle using also spread first half with Fisho and Beto. I believe when you play aggravate Raiden, you technically want to do some combo like N4C, N4C, and 2C to get the most out of your aggravates and Raiden damage. Oh man. Wait, but if you do uh, Avagrate Raiden, like, what's your build supposed to be at that? Uh, building an Avagrate character is just like building a vape character. You build a little bit of EM. Hmm. Just some much man, but you. still go like, you know, attack or electro bonus crit. Yep, especially on Raiden. Because uh, mm. Aggravate is divorced from your talent damage. Mm. If the damage is consistent or not dependent on your talents, which is great for characters with very small damage hits. Like Kutsing or Official. Uh, but for right in, you still want to buff the attack of one of your damage. Taking notes down. <laughs> <laughs> you could also use a weapon like Staff and Scott's hands, yeah. Oh, they're already at the second half. Yeah, this might be Dotto's game to lose right now. We'll see. I mean, to lose? Did you see his time? Yeah, I'm looking at the we times. I was like, Wesley cleared the second half at around 8.30. Dado still is, um, I mean, looking very solid, too. Yeah. I mean, I think right now I do have a slight bias just because he is the previous uh, winner from before. <laughs> but Wesley has his own interesting team to work with, with the C3 ride and Sara support. It is really just going to depend on if he can get that Venti working. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's hope that his burst will not whiff. I guess in the practice run, Wesley did took about 30 seconds longer for the first end. But hopefully, um, that's just our practice. They could get a cleaner run in the official. And time's up. Okay, time's up. Wesley, please exit the office. And uh, show me your character and weapon. And also, please change the uh, language to English if you can. That'll let's look over your... Uh, First. Serpent Spine Beetle, Stringless Special, Sucrose, Hakushin Ring. <clears throat> what an even star. Ooh, love to see it. Mm -hmm. Rare weapon. It is really good on Nita. It's technically oh. one of her best assault four star weapon. Oh, for a four star? Yeah. How do you get that uh, again? Wandering Even Star? Lim limited banner. Uh, of course. Wait, wait. Uh, Constellation star. on Scar. Thank you. They had that C3, but not able to unlock it. Winsith is a lot more common, but yeah, even Star yeah. is generally better. And Wesley, whenever you're ready. Wesley, also not allowed to use 5-star weapons, but we're reviewing just in case. Ride in C3 on the catch. Zara, Moon Moon. Stringless. Venti. C0. And Pophonius, yeah, yeah. Next team. Patel Dr <laughs> Dragon's Bane. Dragon's Bane. Ooh. C1. Not a battle pass weapon. Wow. Oh, it's because the deathmatch was banned. Battle of the Fjords is so good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even talking yeah. about that. Out of the field, uh, so good. Oh, maybe they weren't able to get it yet. Not everyone yeah. could purchase the battle pass, too. It is another, like, you know, pay to win. There, Wait, there's an illegal weapon for. Oh, Dado's using. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, Dado, can you exit? Uh, You are using Favonia's bow Ooh. on Barazon? That was banned. Is he caught cheating again? Second time? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> can you please show us your Farazon and change the weapon? Are we going to see Moon's Moon, Farazon? Or no, what's the. It's skill damage, isn't it? Fading Twilight? <laughs> All right, thank you. Please Tiger go in again. Okay, I actually <laughs> thank would have been Twilight. <laughs> thank you, Kat, for catching it for us. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm surprised you didn't do Fading Twilight. Okay, so please reorganize your team. Dado, since you're player A, you will go through the chamber first, but Wesley will choose the card for you. <laughs> caught, caught. <laughs> I think he did that 
last weekend too. He accidentally mm. used an extra weapon and people were like, wait, no, go back. <coughs> it happens, it happens. Yeah, they also could have used the fishing bow. It's higher ER, ER, or the same ER as Fav. Farzan, Farzan is one of those characters, man. Her and Bennett, Shangling, they, they just never have enough here. Need Your builds have to be ER. four, 400. Fuck it. 400. <laughs> I'm sorry. I swear. I'm so and it'll still be like just one drop away from getting a burst, too. <laughs> okay, Holy. third card for you, Battle. You can start whenever you're ready. Okay, starting off this time, he is known for super clean rotation and um, for his teams as well. Not only knowledgeable in the game, but also very good in his just mechanic wise. Oh, Korean voice lines too. Oh, got the cryo swirl though. Oh, so cross. That's very you don't... Oh no, don't tell me he needs to use the reset already on the first end. Oh, he does. Is. Oh no. Uh, you know, next time I'm not saying anything. No more reset. He's got this. He'll pull it off. I'm surprised he's not waiting for one stack of the Serpent Spine before you think that is first, though. We do have a rule where if you start off the chamber, you can't um, ha get the stack up for Serpent Spine. Doesn't mean you can't wait once yeah. the chamber starts. Uh, you can yeah. wait a little bit and wait for the particles to kind of come in. They just want to go straight into it. Oh, that was scary. Already one reset taken away in Chamber 1. No healers on this team as well. I don't it's know. It's a lot cleaner um, now, though. What was the Sucrose weapon again? Hakushin Ring. Oh, no. Hakushin Ring. Remember. No, Hakushin Ring. Oh, okay. oh, sorry. See. just needs to survive for the next two chambers. It's very unfortunate he didn't get the grouping for the Vader damage. Hmm. Still? His characters are alive. One minute for the first half. Oh, second half time. Pyro Tornado up. Farazan and Scaramouche. Ooh. Nice damage all around. Ready? Half First, HP taken now. Away. Is that Farazan gonna be ready? <laughs> I mean, uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, just got it in time. Yeah, no, that's a big problem. For some chamber. <laughs> Not for the next chamber, yeah. Uh, 825. 825. Then let's switch it over to Wesley's screen. Okay. That'll choose the card for Wesley. Oh, I just remember too. Um, chat was telling me Dado did get surgery recently, like the day before yesterday. So he is playing at a, an awkward angle. So hopefully it will not affect his play style. Please get some rest if you need to, Dado. <laughs> okay, whereas for Wesley, oh, nice grouping with Venti. One yes. random burst enough to take out three enemies. And now. For the agent. Alright, you got the grouping. And Electro Swirl. Oh, the cooldown though. Didn't he just wasn't able to spam Sarah. Yeah. Down. Hopefully this first hits. Oh. Didn't hurt one of them, but it did hit. Mm-hmm. At least hit both. And I think they took some fall damage too. Ooh, that's like a kind of or third head burst. Third, yeah. Maybe need another ride in first. Or just Sara? Would it be enough? Oh, no, he's in the Mirror Embers. Oof. He's not enough energy. <gasps> and it didn't crit! Ah, that's unfortunate. And it's separated. That's the problem with Venti. It's, it's still, you know, one minute for the first side. Although this pat. Oh my Ooh, god, the five second delay. <laughs> that's really unfortunate. 
<laughs> so you don't want to risk the reset too. No, he really does want to save it for no mm -hmm. Well, I didn't. She doesn't get interrupted, but it makes it very easy to actually take damage. They mm -hmm. also take damage, so that's another L. Okay. So let's see for their hotel. Yeah. ER. Oh, the net first. Hey, there's this one. Pretty good. Yeah, that massive damage difference. Oh, but you know what? If that don't reset in the first chamber, Wesley will do the reset too. Wesley, no more reset. Probably wanting to use like, a better grouping with the Raiden team. Let's hope this will not hurt them in the end. Um, now both players have to play very clean for the remainder of their match. Okay. Starting off really strong. Okay, run it back now. Did it catch him? Yes. Yes. Ooh, Ooh but they're kind of spread out now. He can, he can save this. Yeah. Another Venti Burst? Using Venti Burst there is a choice. I don't know if I would do it that way. I mean, they still have a lot of HP, and every one of their bursts is still on really cooldown. Wants, he really wants to kill them with this Raiden Burst. Mm -hmm. Ah! Missed that one, one though. <laughs> it's still going to be around the if, same if he time. Needs, if, if he needs another Raiden Burst, it's a big problem. He needs another Raiden Burst. He, oh no! The Curse of the Reset! Not able to kill them all still. Even getting worse grouping this time around, too. <laughs> Oh, not a good you're, look. Two, three, Raiden. You're Under... doing her injustice right now. And let me bring She's out get, my sword. I'm sorry, that Raiden's getting mogged by uh, Beto and Fischl. That's not how you show off her power right now. It's okay. They got this world this time, though. Much clearer, second side. The VV stuff with the Jing Show, it's so much more consistent than characters like Yelon. Mm. Or specifically Yelon. Uh Yelon doesn't have the brain sword aura that Jing Cho has. So yeah. if your setup So it makes your setups actually consistent. because uh, you don't have that random source of Hydra app. Oh. It's all uh, user controlled. So it is a very unfortunate situation to have to rely on Jing Cho for these teams. Ooh, yeah. So because I think Jing Cho is still more popular pick too. Um, I believe the clear time for Wesley was 8.11. Yeah, it was the worst time yeah. before the reset. Let's hope that they could still be consistent, though, for the next few cha next two chambers. Yeah. Wesley will be choosing the third card for Dado, healing effectiveness. 8.10, Jamal? Uh, their spear is using Dragon's Bane line. I mean, hey, in the longer, maybe the healing effectiveness will help <laughs> for <laughs> Dado's prototype and Perks of Growth. Let's go. I'm pretty sure he's running Hakusho. Mm -hmm. uh, if he was going to run a prototype, Amber would be on Nikita, but he's running mm -hmm. Morgan as well. Yeah. So it's actually just no healing. <laughs> I just, I just can't get into using Sucrose. I was just watching her in the duration of the burst and not, none of the elements were swirled at all. That happens quite often. Sucrose is... Oh, that's much of it. Hmm. Oh no, put um, the shield up. Sucrose, I like her a lot more as non-heal. Essentially, yeah, so it's her reactions for oh. up, uh, compared to a support. I find her support capability a lot more consistent. Uh. Because she's not very good at grouping the enemies, yeah. as you can kind of see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and her buff, me... oh, her buffs are generally competitive with Kazuha, but yeah. Kazuha's rotations are a lot easier to execute. Yeah, I will. I if I remember, it's like C six Sucrose is comparable to C zero Kazu, but Sucrose so, burst will is very hard to infuse element. <laughs> yeah. Even if you're right That's, next to him. Also assuming TTDS sucrose, so not every oh, yeah. player. Uh, 
That being said, Hawk Shin is very good for these aggravate teams and actually better than TTDS. Hmm. Lots of good options then for our weapon. We're done. The charge attack cancel is also a risky play on Dado's behalf. Uh, the damage difference between the doing 13 charge attacks and 6 and 2 C combos is very small. Uh, he's got EC1, so it's 15 versus 6 and C2. Mm. C, yeah. C1 gives the attack speed for the charge attack. Um. It's still just a little risky. Uh, there's too much. There's too much work for now. I'm like, <laughs> ooh, my brain's trying to load up and trying to register what's happening. All I am is just watching. Oh, dang, but you did get a good RNG with the Dorito chip. He's gonna continually run into these as far as our problems. Getting that fab mm. was a really smart decision. Yeah. 739. He almost snuck it in, if not for chat catching it. Ooh. <laughs> All right, second one. Adel, choose the car for Wesley, please. Middle card. To reset the current scale, I believe. Okay, Wesley, the second card, middle one. I mean, I feel like at this point, both both sides are a little bit nervous, making slight, very minor mishaps. There he is, he got the fire off. Yep. Let's see. Yep. Nice. He just needs to get energy on that ride in. <laughs> he just needs to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, got it. Oh, did not use Sara's? No, he's saving it for the second wave. Sara's cooldown is longer than Raiden's. Her burst will be up sooner. True. But wouldn't just waste a lot of Sara, uh, Raiden skill, though? I waste a lot of Raiden's energy potential. She has to do normal attacks to generate that energy. Uh, we'll see, he'll switch to Raiden and the Rift might not be up. Oh, it's fine. They're okay right now. First up. Okay, that was clean. Mm-hmm. Better than expected. Trying to position. They will be a little bit grouped up. Oh no, oh my god! That's oh. fine. That was very scary for Sara. No energy on Raiden. Ooh. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Can't use a reset though. No, nope. oh. they just have to fight it through. <laughs> oh, we got first drop. Let's go. Oh, 100k charges. That's so beautiful. It's on death match though. No, it's a dragon's bane, because death match was I mean, I'm a dragon's bane, I'm sorry. I'm just... yeah. No, it's yeah. okay. Not even there's... death match. It's... Yeah, there's a lot of um, matches so far. A lot of different weapons used. Okay, nice. Got the... It's a very clean PMR. Chincho burst is up. Got the crab, though. Is it gonna jump? Oh, Didn't no. Didn't get the jump. RNG. It just be like that. <laughs> oh, this might stall them a little. Annoyed. Yeah, it's fixed. Though. Yeah. It's not gonna get the. That's uh, gonna be, yeah, that's all of uh, Hutao's burst already. It is really nice that Hutao's cooldown is at least 16 seconds, mm -hmm. so they can recover from that. Yep. Uh, unlike someone like Yoi Mia, who's got an 18 second cooldown. Ooh, it's yeah. A lot more 741. That's only three seconds faster than their opponent. And right now, the time is 13 second difference, I believe. In Dado's favor? Yes, in Dado's favor. He is yeah. leading by 13 seconds. Yeah. And he's got John Lee for that third chamber. Oh, true, true. Yeah. Wesley, you choose the card for Dado. And bo but both of them don't have any resets available. The crab messed up. <laughs> Yeah, it really did. Middle card, elemental resistance. Middle card. Yeah. 
Wow, he's really gonna give him the middle card? <laughs> I guess wow. so. Wow, that is friendly. That's what we call a good sport. <laughs> Alright, let's see this. I mean, for a standard Coppelia run... ...going through really fast, too. Oh, he's not doing charge die cancels so anymore. <laughs> Yes, the crows give us a, finally a swirl. I mean, that was very fast. Forty-two seconds. Ooh, second half of Zhongli. The Zhongli death. <laughs> it really is at this point. Er, please. I got it. Yep. 30k charges. And he gets to do 15 of those, ideally. Damn. Oh, burst! Right there. Not using C2. Bold choice. Okay, another meteor. Holds E. And punch. Punch on the burst. And punch. Or not. Yeah, it was just like a little chip away. So I don't know, if he gets unlucky, they might get another dirt shield. He's not gonna have any damage. He's gonna have to deal with yeah. it. Yeah. Yep, there is dirt shield, but you know he has John Lee. Honestly, this is no problem for him. Yep. Really nice for that struggling to have some energy. <laughs> and that far is on. <laughs> yeah, it's like always right at the edge. And oh, ending it with the. the... 801. Bondor burst for the style points. <laughs> now Wesley has to get that burst back for Ryder. Okay. And now Wesley's last chamber will have production do the time to beat soon. That'll choose the card for Wesley. Restore HP, elemental resistance, or burst. Time to beat is 814. So that means you need a clear at 815. Is that even possible? 815, yeah. With his uh, team? Yeah, it's possible. Uh, he just needs to get that energy back, which is the real barrier to entry here. Well, let's let's get the jitters out. We're going to start. Less than half ER available for Raiden and Zara. Venti. <laughs> Good. Okay, that took them about 15 seconds though for the setup. Okay, nice crit. 41k. You know, he banned Chevrus from himself got, too. We've got no Tentra. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to rotation <laughs> again. Not good. First. This. Oh my god. He's lucky he gets. Oh no. He didn't All want right. to risk it. Raiden was one hit away from death. Needed Yao Yao to heal her back up. That's going to be a, a little bit over one minute clear. I probably would have taken the DNF. Okay, Zara Oh, and there's only Shincho Banette. Oh, yeah, Shincho Banette will need to clear out. If the he kills it in one rotation, he can definitely do it. Or one shield. That'll be very close. He needs to set up correctly, which is difficult because that rinse mm -hmm. where we're going. Okay, first. Nope. Oh, clever. Oh. Very clever. He broke it early. That's. A I don't choice. think it will be enough for one hotel rotation. Yeah, he's gonna take the L for that. GG. Oh, you know what? GG's all around. Let's give a round of applause to our players.
Wesley decides to do not uh, finish for that one, so Dado will be advancing to the next stage. The time that it took for him to clear all three chambers was 355 seconds. It's around um, 5 minutes and 55. 555, nice. 555, five, five. but you know, GG, nice try for Wesley. They will get, but all the players that are from the top 32, they will get a prize, just depending on where you rank up. That, you know, of course, the higher you rank, the more you will win from it. So still, it was good effort all around. We still have a, one more match to go through, which is going to, uh, for the single eliminations, which is close Clayton's versus Gacha Chef. After this, uh, let me double check where the players are for that end. They really are showing. I do think Zhongli is one of the highest value characters you can grab. Early. Yeah, that shield break was so. It's just so important. It's so important. Let me double check on where they are. I think um, Gacha Chef for second. He's the only uh, one that's in Asia server. I don't know what time it is currently for him, but I hope that they are awake enough for it. Because I really do not want to do any disqualifications since they already made it to like top eight this far. Ooh. It's 8 a.m. ish for him. Okay, I just pinged them on Discord. So let's see where it is. I know Clayton is available. Oh shit, he's on hotspot again. Okay. <laughs> okay, what about close cutting? Uh Wesley, you can hop off this car too. Do you still get money if you get disqualified? Um that's a good question, Sweet. Yes, it will be ranked on it will be up where you ranked up. So like you'll if you get disqualified um for it, you'll just be I think the previous one. I'm a little surprised to see no Navia gameplay yet. She was banned for one match. I think yeah, the one old, um eight years is the one that had a really good Navia, but for their matchup, she was banned. He yeah. uh he did he like um Bennett Shanling and then Navia Geo MC together for his yesterday's match, and that was like very stellar clear. Okay, so now um, we have Clayton and Forsaken. I mean, Gacha Chef on Discord right now. This is going to be our fourth um, top eight final eliminations match. Okay, let's switch over to the screen. Oh, I think the bits just reset for Asia Server 2. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me oh, that no. they cleared it. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. But I think they said it's on a geo buff. Um... It is on a geo buff now. 50% or 50 geo damage bonus. <laughs> is that fair? Okay, they said their abyss is clear. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It can't be helped. Like, we, we can't All really right. do anything with it. Okay, the, their abyss is clear up to 12. The abyss is the front. <laughs> A uh, blessing is gonna be different for them, but um, it'll still be the same mobs. It's gonna be uh, heads, so uh, gotcha. Choose A or B. They've got seven minutes to clear. <laughs> they cleared it already. <laughs> <laughs> but now they do have to be careful with their um, with their character selection because it's on a. At 50 geo damage bonus for free. Yep. Gotcha doesn't want to have anything. Their flag anything up, geo so gets okay. a big leg off. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, we'll start a picking band uh, right now. Gotcha, chef. Choose your first band. Mikan is a really strong competitor, too. I watched their matches a few times already. Uh, from before, and he is like always solid with his clears. Oh, for a second, gotcha. One ban. Uh, yep, Nivolet taken away. 
Uh, close click and choose one band. Kazuha. Interesting. Yep, smart. Gotcha. Another band. I wonder yeah. how necessary the Nivulet bands are. <laughs> they're they're a lot of these, brutal. <laughs> a lot of these visual Beto teams are clearing each chamber top side in less than a minute. True. But I think a lot of the competitors oh, do have like C1 Nivulet too. Okay. That oh, would wait, change but... things. But C0 Nivulet with some really scuffed teams yeah. can be a big problem. Or just I take a while. The thing is, with these players, they are building their teams around 1v1s, so they kind of roll for meta. And that's why a lot of, like, the Nivellet, Farinas, maybe are C1, Farinas are, like, C2, Nahida C2 as well. Just because, and you don't want to, like, ha even risk letting them through. Clayton, choose two. Farinas' constellations are really funny. <laughs> constellations 1 through 3 are all about the same game. Oh, really? So it's where do you draw the line in the sand for what's necessary? Isn't uh, Linny's constellation really good too? Yeah, Linny. Fontaine Diff. Fontaine. <laughs> <laughs> Nahida. Yeah, see, like, Clayton has a Nahida C2 already. Yep. And for a second, two characters. Yes, Golden. Odin's out of played already. He was the first match, but he is going to be the uh to the semifinals, which will be uh after this matchup, and that will be best two out of three. Shanling and Shincho. Ooh, both got Bennett Shanling together. What does Linny constellations do again? Good question. Linny's co first constellation I is every. 15 seconds, his burst or first charge attack deploy an extra hat. Oh, wait, is that only for uh, what, C1? That is what his C1 does. And I believe his C2 is just crit damage. Mm -hmm. uh, much Dang. like Nuts. Let me double check that though. Clayton, choose two, please. That's pretty OP. I remember when he first came out, um, C0 was okay, but he with constellations, he gets stronger and stronger. Yeah, it's just crit damage. Uh, when Linny is on the field, he gets 20% uh, crit damage up to three stacks. Every two seconds he's on field. His burst animation takes two seconds, so he just always gets 60 crit damage. That's pretty so OP. Cool. Uh, is 42 gotcha. crit one damage. Character. 42. That's what Nivulet C2 is. And then both Linny and Nivulet have uh, the normal attack constellation on C3. Oh, yeah. For a second, is the Venti C0? And Clayton, choose one character, one weapon to ban. Wow, another Venti ban. I mean, with Kazuha banned, it's either Venti or Sucrose. I would go for Sucrose. I would go for... I don't, I don't trust Venti. On the I don't trust him as far as I can go. <laughs> and I could probably throw him pretty far. I feel... Oh my god. I feel so bad for Venti constellations, though. It's almost as useless as um, Zhao C4. She has a very good C6. For Venti? So what Venti C6 does is it's 20% Animo Shred and 20% Shred for whatever elements absorb. Oh. The important thing is that this is just for anything in the burst and it doesn't have a condition of him being on field, which is what VV does. Mm -hmm. You can't proc VV off field. Which yeah. is why you'll see a lot of C6 speed runs use Venti uh, just for this off field tread. Oh. And Forsaken, one character, one weapon ban? Yeah, it wouldn't be good in this format, but it is generally it's useful when you're min maxing <laughs> damage. Banning Wanderer. Smart. And the weapon, and the weapon. At the finals and the semifinals are best two out of three. So um, after this it will be odin versus uh hamble but they will be playing 
to uh, or three, up to three matches if needed. Sacrificial fragments. Is it this one? Yes. Yep. And Clayton will be picking Yalon C2. Betting side frags is a good way to control sucros. Mm. <laughs> Wait, but no one has picked sucros yet. <laughs> well, he's definitely going to. <laughs> I think. It's what it looks like. Hu Tao C1 for gotcha side. And how many points left? Uh, two, three, so four points. Still no John Livick. Late pick, John Lee. Yeah. And, whoops, you already called it. John Lee's taken on Forsaken Zen. Is that C0? Is. Do you and really count the John Lee cards? Yeah, I, I have to be counting all the five star cons. So there were suggestions on uh, counting constellations for Venti to be changed just because his C1 is not that viable in com comparison to like Tanari's constellations. Okay, fatal, and I'll hide them. You know, it's really hard because if you don't, I understand you don't. Not you want to be um, as strict as possible because yeah. the more you have to interpret, the more complicated it gets. That that's that was the issue. Uh, gotcha, yeah. Chaff, choose two. That was the issue because I did feel like if we start doing, like, comparing constellations and how fair they are to other characters, then everyone will start bringing out, like, what about, you know, like, Kazuha C2 or even Ayaka constellations. And then there's, you know, Hutao C1 values. And it's just, we ha we'll have to start doing that for almost all the limit characters. Yeah. And while it would be complicated. Yeah, <laughs> it would be easier to be a more balanced uh real set. But for me doing this myself, it would be very difficult. Balanced is it's a stretch. Um yeah. I have a C3 sign out. How do you evaluate that? That's why it's like for C3, it's immediately for C uh cost four points, but you know, with the constellation C1 2, I don't remember what it does. Um but well, is the point that I'm making out? is it's mm -hmm. it's a character whose constellations might not actually move the needle that much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me know what your Triori constellation is, and you still have to pick one more character. I've seen the French rule set. It's not nearly as in-depth as you would think. <laughs> I, uh, they do count. Like, for example, Sino C3 is about the same value what? as uh, C3 on any other character. All oh, right, yeah, because the the French tournament also has a uh has the constellations written out for the points. Yeah. I didn't There's read all, it fully it's, yet. It's basically all uniform. Mm. I've got right. Ooh, who does double GL? Wait, That's what's the scary. Ayaka constellation for second? Oh my God! See zero. And I got to pick. And Clayton, your last character. Yep. We we were discussed. Uh, they were just asking in Discord how much points they have left. So I guess their Caesar Ayaka is going to be coming out to play for a melting, most likely. Oh my God. Ayaka though, and DMC for the uh, for Clayton's end. I do think that Clayton will have a slight advantage just because of how strong he is as a player contender. Whereas for a second, we'll see what his Ayaka could bring out. Okay, please share screen when you can. You have seven minutes to prepare your weapon artifacts. Is this support Ayaka? Interesting choice. Um, but he's got Venti, so maybe not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What is he going to play top side? Because he's definitely going to do Chiori Jungle bottom. Yes. <sighs> uh, like the obvious pick would be Hu Tao, Jing Cho, Zhongli, Chiori bottom. And you do Venti, Ayaka, Shangling, Bennett top side, which is ballsy, I'll say. It, it might be a very slow Copelia clear, uh, but it can work on all the other chambers. Something to consider is. 
when the Fatui ladies are inside Venti's burst, Shunling's mm -hmm. Paranado cannot hit them. Oh, right. Which might be a bit of a problem. Yeah. Uh, at least the husks and Copelia won't leave the ground. May maybe they have something prepared for us, because, like I said, yesterday, um, he barely squeaked by with his win, just because his opponent got one character um, death. Ooh. So, we'll see. We'll see. Whereas Clayton's side, he does have a strong Alhytham team built up, and second half would be... <laughs> what is it? Maybe Aggravate first side, spread, and uh, Hyper Bloom second? Yep, Clayton's... They're either gonna... They're gonna separate Nahida and Alhytham. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure which one will end up being topside. I think it might be Alhytham? Just because of Copelia, but it might be not even, it shouldn't really make a difference. And they're gonna do uh, official Beto topside for sure. Oh my god, So that would be like Nahida, Beto, official, Farazan topside, Shinobu, Yela, and DMC, Heatham second. Yeah. That's probably what they're doing. Oh, wait, you said Beto second half, right? No, Beto top or, side. Or, you would I never mean, play Beto. You would never play Beto second. Uh, wait, they have what Shinobu? are they going to do with the shield? Hmm. Oh, maybe it's Shinobu. Mm. They're just going to punch. They're going to possibly run into the Zhongli diff if they can't save enough time <laughs> on the early chambers. We'll see. How far the first two chambers yeah. then? Oh, and they, their Abyss Blessing is different. So Gacha does have the Geo buff. Uh, it'll make Chiori Zhongli potentially about as good as Yelan Xingqiu. Mm -hmm. It is normally, so that'll be really nice for them. And double checking their points. One. So Gacha Chef could use one five-star weapon. Clayton can use zero. Yep. They have C2 Nahida, C2 Yelon, and C0 I'll hide them. They're gonna take Staff Ahoma and they're gonna use Harbinger on Shori, probably. I mean, Shori does have decent four star weapons. Shori has a three star weapon. Oh, sorry. Uh, Harbinger of Dawn, it's really good. Either that or you're gonna use Wolf Fang. Those Couldn't you also use uh, the Cinnabar Spindle, Albedo's weapon on there? You can use Cinnabar Spindle. It's generally worse than Harbinger if you can stay Oh, damn. Right Oh, Clayton already hopping in. Beto for show. I'll hide them Nahida together. Oh. Oh. Yelong Cookie. Oh, that's an interesting on. choice. Oh, I don't know if I would have done that. Interesting. Maybe the time save top side will be worth it. Ooh, VV on Fisho. Bringing them close together. So nice. They still have less than three minutes, though, to prepare. Okay, Gacha's still going through their... Uh, artifacts. Wait, Clayton banned Aqua Sam and picked Yellow? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, uh, Mir doesn't hunt, does work on Fatui operatives. I mean, they if can't they're... use any five-star weapons if they were preparing their um, their characters already. Yep. So Aqua Simulaka would have not been a choice. Ooh, okay. Oh, changing to Stringless. Gacha also doing some practice runs real fast. I am surprised he's not going to try to use the Traveler with Alhatham. Because getting Nahida mm. on that second side is a really big boon uh, to that team. 
you really don't want to play Dentro main character private with them. <laughs> if you can help it. Maybe it's more it's riskier on the first side for DMC just because of her of their um burst. Don't know which can get infused. Yeah, the burst with all the specters and the pyro mage whopper flowers. Oh mono pyro hotel? Wait a minute. But you have uh, Shiori to get your shaft. Hold up, hold up. Let's let's re redo, redo, we think. Okay, that's what it looks more like. Zhongli and Chiori's second half with Hu Tao Shen Chou. And then Melt Ayaka first end with Venti. This is gonna be really interesting. <laughs> this is gonna... I, I, I don't know about this Ayaka team, but it's what they've got. <laughs> Thirty seconds left. The reason a lot of competitors will ban uh, the animal characters is because as long as you get bars on, you get pretty stable damage, uh, no matter mm -hmm. what team you're playing with. Ooh, they're kind of spread out though. That's a bad start already for their practice runs. Grass Clinton seems very. Very strong. Ooh, out of time. Oh. Okay. All right, time's up. Please exit the abyss and show me your character and weapon. Clayton, when you have time, please change it to English real fast. And for second. Got your chef. I think he had me on deafen. Ooh. <laughs> I think he's just watching the stream. Okay, Clayton, let's go over yours first. Aiko was a bold pick. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, that's the last character, too. Stringless Fischl. I mean, not Stringless, sorry. Uh, Verdus and Hunt. Then Wolf Fang, I'll hide them. C0, C2, Nahida, Prototype. And Vavonia Sword. Yalon, C2. Yalon, Constellation, C2. Thank you. All right. Beto, Bavonius, Zephos, and Bavonius as well. Okay, thank you, Clayton. And for second, our gacha shaft, your, uh, your characters. Bavonius, Ayaka. C0. Bavonius, Benny. Double Favonius because they need that eye first. <laughs> yep. The cash on Jan Ling. Wait, unless um, Venti. Triple Favonius. Okay. As they should, yeah. <laughs> oh, two piece. Deep wood. Uh, huh? That's a choice. <laughs> Wait, I don't think we saw Venti's constellation, but it was C0, right? Did they forget to change their Venti artifacts? That was two piece deep wood? I think they forgot. Mm. Oh, the Venti doesn't town levels either. Ooh. Mm. That's okay. double enforcement. And your second team? <laughs> second team, please. This is what the seven minutes are for! But you can't change it anymore. This is over. He's okay, Homa Hutao. Uh, Hutao Constellations. By the way. C1, Hu Tao, C0, Chiori, and Zhongli. C0, thank you. Pavonius, Harbinger, Dawn. Oh man, okay. Alright, and Clayton, please set up your team in Abyss 2. Since uh, player A is going to be Gacha Chef, uh, he will go through the chamber first, but Clayton, you will choose the card for him. I think they really forgot to change the artifacts. Yeah. That's unfortunate. So maybe questionable choices on both sides. We'll see. Um, I mean, yeah. Yeah. All right. They're, they're just all Sean Lee on the second end. Okay. Middle card will be chosen. 
Elemental resistant, 25%. Oh, I don't think they have audio. But well, we're gonna getting it a pyro swirl. Pyro tornado up to. That's unlucky. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait, they put Shincho on the first end then? And Ayaka on the second side? Yeah. Hmm. I guess they changed it up. It doesn't look any better. <laughs> they they just have to tough it through. I mean, there's still uh the second chamber to go through, and yes, Gacha Chef is still on a hot spot. But, I mean, they're currently at around 100 ping. 100 ping is not too terrible. But I don't think uh, there will be any ping diff with their venti not on the right gear. At least I knew to hold lead so they could hit him. That's clever. <laughs> Wait, then that would be a Melt Ayaka on the second side. With no Melt Hu Tao. They're basically playing on Reaction Hu Tao. Yeah. With a little bit of Ayaka. That, and that's, that's a it's, choice. It's an old choice. That's one way to say it. I, with their time right now, it's it's not looking good. Oh no! no. Oh, God. The fifteen k pyronados are not helping. Oh. Another venti burst. Hey, maybe he can knock him outside of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they could do damage at that time. Where'd it go? Oh, okay. This is just not it. Second half. Okay. Wutao, Ayaka, Chiori, and John Lee. Okay, set up Ayaka first, then Hu Tao. They're not gonna okay. I, I think they forgot, or maybe it lagged for them. Hotel solo pyro. It's not Are terrible. We... <laughs> it's just you really want to jinx you're on this side. I wonder if it's because they don't have another character, like four star support to help. They will clear this at seven. Yeah, they, will, oh, they will clear. Seven. Ooh, that's rough. Especially when we've been seeing like up to that, three then, clears. It's the curse of the venti. All right, switching over to Clayton's side. Gotcha. Choose the card for uh, Clayton, please. Normal charge attack, uh, increased defense, or burst restoring HP. Card one, increased normal and charge attack damage. I, th I think Gacha said GG for already in chat. Uh, and this card is gonna just help buff them. I'll hide them. Buff up their opponent. I think as long as Clay uh, Clayton plays a claim, there should be no issues here with their team. One wave already oh, done. Mm -hmm. It's a shame you can't iframe the bond. Mm -hmm. As long as they never get hit, I guess it's no problem. I mean, one of them's dying really fast, but the second one was pretty spread out. There's still gonna be a around minute clear though. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, that's not good. On the first stage already. And then it's gonna be Farzan, Cookie, Yalon, and DMC. Uh, 
Another interesting pick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the first side was really fast. Second side, let's see how they'll do. Especially since the Terrastrum does have a lot of Dendro resistance already. But... I... I really would have put uh, Dendro main character with real paper. I mean, so far so good. The time was... Well, yeah, damage? Yeah, good. 821. Very, very large lead already. Um, switching it back. Forsaken. I mean, Gacha Shop. They're, it's their discard name. That's why I keep on going back and forth. Choose the card. I mean, Clayton, choose the card for Gacha. Last card. Oh, got the Hydra Swirl. That's actually pretty good. Uh, wait, it's actually less damage. Wait, why are they frozen? Oh, waiting for it to fall down. Them. Yeah. Uh, the way Swirls work is they do... The Hydra Swirl specifically has no AoE damage component. Mm. It seems like it didn't really matter, but it could have been a problem. Oh my god, the immune from Gooba! I mean, they did mention to uh, ask for it. They, they could say they, they could forfeit if they want it, but I don't want any of the players to forfeit. It's always nice to at least tough it out, try to do whatever you can. You never know if there are any accidents that might end up happening to your opponent, too. It's really easy for your opponent <laughs> but, to die if they pick a lowest team. Yeah. But hey, we applaud for players who are just going to go and fight it through. Yep. Never give up. Never surrender. Even if it takes them a little bit longer to clear. That's why it's always important to check your gear right before you hop into Abyss. Yep. I just don't know why the Venti was on Dendro. It was like that the entire time. They just never noticed. Yeah. Maybe they switched gear for someone else and forgot to change it back. Gonna be a little bit over two minutes though. Oh, that's unfortunate. No grouping. Small time loss. Okay, maybe big time loss. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of big <laughs> right now since they have to chase the last one around too. Look. It the other player could just die. Very easily. <laughs> Very easily. Just stick it out. Uh, gotcha. And that's what happened yesterday. Because um, oh. Joshua Chef's yesterday, last, yesterday's opponent, one of their sucrose died. But, and, but they still managed to clear all three chambers. And he managed to squeak through too. But There's no penalty for uh, two-starring, right? No. Nah, we only record a time. Although at this point, like, two-star, it's still gonna be a huge time loss. But it, there could be accidents in Chamber 3. Even Chamber 2 with uh, Beto official Alhatham is a little bit risky. Mm. Especially when you're at that little HP going in. Yeah. And they didn't have the... Uh, their card was, like, Restore... First, will heal, but they did were not able to choose that. Oh, it got targeted. Oh, nice. Oh, wait. Help. 
still need to get Eeyore back for Ayaka. I just play through it. Yeah. Just have to chip the damage out. 609. Using the burst there was another choice. Uh, you really want Zhongli's burst for Chamber 3. Mm -hmm. Right at the start. Okay, and for a second, choose the card for Clayton. Card one. He's real. He's just like... He's got to pull this off somehow. He gets one reset still, right? Or did he use it? No, both of them do have one reset still. I don't think he will have any problems with his own team with own setup. Okay, waiting for the Whopper Flowers. Oh, third one, there it is. Ooh, gotta be careful with I'll hide them. Oh, still one more remaining. Just one more hit. Ooh. I think this is where you could. That was a fun. That was a really fun dodge with the fishing first. Oh, this is good, Rupe. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. I'm okay, besides that one hit. No, I'm impressed. God, yeah, I. Clayton does is very clean. That's okay. Yalom first skill. I think we've been seeing a lot of like almost main DPS Yalons too. We got um double hydro earlier with Vape. And then another and now this one with uh Hyper Bloom. Uh, no more damage can be taken. Need to just kind of wait it out. And it's gonna be the crab. Oh, nice. Have the back to back first. We'll That's so much going. damage. It is still going to be a 7... Four, oh! Huh? Pause? He's waiting, he's waiting for energy on your arm. He has plenty of time to spare. Still not breakthrough Varg. He's looking for it. He's really looking for it. Seven nineteen. He's just chilling at this point. Full, for full disclosure, I have given up. Just don't die before my hotspot dies. <laughs> you know, for a second, if you want... How about we have Clayton clear through the Chamber 3? If he clears it, then we'll consider that his win. And um, you could just leave it at that. Is that okay? You want to at least clear it? Okay. Then, uh, Clayton, please choose the card for Forsaken. <laughs> you want to try? <laughs> Don't give up! Don't uh, say you give up! I need to switch the view for the stream. Oh. Alright, thank you. Thank you, production. Alright, last card against Coppelia. <laughs> Go! Okay. 
They do have one reset available. Uh, I'm not Alba. sure. <laughs> oh, <there's laughs> oh, God, I got <laughs> thrown out. Yeah, I think even Capella could push away Raiden's burst too. Like mid animation. Yeah, they push you. Mm -hmm. uh, the little thing spinning outside will vacuum things in. Uh, oh, so no. you saw that with Bulba. Yeah. <laughs> Much like how uh, Kazuo can drag Bulba around. Oh my god. The damage, though. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Goba's a funny guy. Goba's... Uh, he's just hanging out. He used to be the stove god. Oh, okay. Two-third HP already gone from Copelia. Oh. Probably need another two rotation. Central if he sword? runs in a circle, he might actually be able to glitch out the uh, strong ring hits here to clear it. Mm. Oh, yeah, isn't there a like, way like you run counterclockwise? Or was it clockwise for Shanling's power yeah. tornado? It's a little bit awkward, especially with a boss with a moving hitbox like this. Yeah. That was very lucky to get the fat frog at a reasonable time. Okay, double geo should be able to break the shield fast. Hotel melt. First up, nice, 188k. No plunges, or one plunge. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of early to use this uh, burst. Uh, okay. But Ayaka is available again. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, does be. Oh! No holdy. Okay. Okay. Now they got it. Just, just go to the top. Just go. Don't wait for the eye. Ah, they, they were like so close. But this should be it. Clearing at 724. Actually, not bad. Besides the second chamber, yeah, all of them was still a three-star clear. And now, <laughs> Clayton side. For a second, choose the card for Clayton, please. Yeah, increase defense or restore HP. Card number one. Ooh. Increase EM. Oh, you can start whenever you're ready, Clayton. There it is. Counter. Got everyone set up as well, as long as they don't take accident hits with start. Nice. Nice dodge. Oh, oh, oh! Uh -oh. oh my god, okay. Getting He's a little okay. dangerous here. They do have one reset if necessary. Uh, they're just taking a small at loss by using the first to catch out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just gonna play through it if Faith and dies at this point. Yeah, you're very close. Just... I'll hide them, God, that's okay, they're only like a sliver HP away. No, they, they died. Papalia <laughs> also died while I hide them was in mid animation. Good thing it was the last chamber, though. Yup. Protection, can you pop up the time to beat real fast? Just in case. For us to know. Uh oh. Well, I, what, what is he? What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Don't don't get cocky now, Glenn. <laughs> Still needs to break the. Sh there it is. <laughs> okay, now they could just dish out damage. Production, do we have the time to beat? Thank you. 
five five minutes. <laughs> so they have a solid three minutes to try and clear uh, against the local legend. One more plunge. Okay, plunge from cookie. This might just be barely enough. Uh, we'll see what the timing looks like on the shield break. If it does one more roll. Or one yeah, more unless break. it decides to troll. But yeah. I mean, the time to beat is like above yeah, five minutes. Five. So 7.43. GG's. 743 finals time clear time for Clayton is 397 seconds. Took them six minutes and 37 seconds to clear. So let's give a round of applause for both sides. Um unfortunate for the gearing for Gacha Chef's end, but still good. Um thank you for playing it through. Oh wait, Clayton. 397. Then 560. So that is going to be it for our single eliminations. Eight players has already played throughout their match, but we still have our semifinals and uh, grand finals to go through, which is going to be best two out of three. Right now, since we are just did two matches, I think it's safe to, to take a, another brief break for, you know, refresh on water, get some uh, bathroom break or anything. Um, if since we're hopping onto our next stage, I don't know if you would love to stay for another few matches, but if you're busy, I just want to double check to make oh, sure no, I'm okay happy. with it. No, I'm happy. Do you want me to leave? I can leave. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> no, I, so I feel bad because I don't know how long people normally like to stream for because I know this is going to be like seven, eight hours. So that's why I feel bad. It's like, do you want to stay, stay for that long? long? I'll stay as long as I can. I'm happy to stay. I, I just got to make sure you're just like, oh, this is boring. I don't want to watch this. Or anything no. Else. No, I mean, in game. <laughs> It's a shame that Ayaka Peck uh, really, Ayaka and Venti really just kind of gripped them. Yeah, well. that was that was an unfortunate pick. But our next four players are going to be very knowledgeable. I just feel like, I feel bad because I feel like I don't have anything to add on to commentations for dairy crafting or whatnot to besides just like, oh, I see. Or <laughs> mini stuff like that. But um, yeah, but we'll be back for more matches. Let's take a brief five minute break once again um, for, uh, you know, for a quick rest. And then um, after that, we will be our next matchup, which is Odin Zara versus Hamble. That's two out of three. And then, yeah, we'll continue on from there. Thank you again for Jay Stern for joining us. Please go check out their Twitch as well if you guys can. And then, yeah, we'll be right back.
Oh, yeah, my production actually no. Uh, there's only two of them uh, doing this, but they know nothing about Genshin, so they're just kind of <laughs> watching because I'm forcing they're them to help it. me. Quiz <laughs> <laughs> them afterwards, see what they've learned. Get them to make a tour based on facts. Get them to. Make... I think oh, that'd no. be fun. You know, quiz. No, they. I I think they're like safe to say staying away from any gacha games at the moment. No, get them to make a tier list based tier on list? all of the performances that they saw for the characters. Wait, I think they could do like a player tier list on who they, they like couldn't do more. A they couldn't do a character tier list? I could. I bet you if I tell them to list like one Genshin characters or even two, they would be confused. Maybe even they spell it wrong. They just need to recognize the pictures. If they're watching the stream, they'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> I could ask them right now, who am I cosplaying as? And they won't even... Who? Don't, they won't even know. I, I see a mole on your eye. That's Ayaka, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! They just, just like purple hair. <laughs> but yeah, I think at least with Genshin, how is I know that uh, like it's such a wide variety of game. There's a little niche for all the players, uh, competitor players as well. So you could do exploration puzzles, um, combat. Like I got into Genshin because I really enjoyed the combat of the game, and that's why I'm like so uh, obsessed with uh, Abyss. Um, it's so nice to just find these type of like mini communities who are into one v ones, kind of join in together for it. My chat loves your Ocaron cosplay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Ocaron from Honkai Impact 3. <laughs> Hit tweet. <laughs> Let's see. Ugh. All right. Yeah, I got into Genshin. Uh, well, actually, my friend who really, li really liked Honkai Impact 3. Uh, his name's oh. Kyle. Uh, he was like, hey, there's this Shout game out coming out. Uh, watch me. Why don't you watch me play it and you should download it if you like it. And then biggest mistake of your life. No, I'm kidding. Uh, oh, that's pretty so good. I, I binged like I binged Genshin when it came out. Uh, like It was a day, not day zero, but day one player. Oh, wow. I actually started the first week because I spent like three days re-rolling my account. So the first five star I get is the Luke. Do you lose? <laughs> Listen, I am a husbando collector, so I play gacha games just for the husbandos. But oh. um, and then I end up wailing really hard in the game for other for uh, Zhang Li and Zhao. Who is your favorite husbando right now? You you can't ask me that. No, okay. Well, I, have to ask I, that. I, I I see six husbandos. So the Luke. Ja I mean, I got him eventually. But Zhao, Zhang Li, Tartaglia, Ayato, Did you reroll for C6 uh, D Luke? I no, I'm not going. I didn't start into the wailing path until Zhao came out. Oh, but then um, I actually skipped C six in the bullet. But during his rerun, I'm gonna go back to him. I'm gonna get his max potential. Have fun with it. Thank you. Oh, and yeah, when during the when the game came out, the reroll actually took me around forty five minutes per account. Yeah, they made it, it. They've slowed it down with time. Yeah, I don't think you could get as much rewards nowadays with rerolls. You don't. Yeah, it was really easy though, because um, before you could just use a make a username. You don't need to connect an email, and that's why I did. <laughs> yep, that's right. Uh, but uh, I hope <laughs> my first five star was Kutzing. Kutzing. Uh, yeah, I got Kutzing on the Venti banner. Ooh, wait, on Venti too. Yeah, I. It, it was uh Kutzing eighty one Venti nine later. Oh wow. I think, yeah, Kaching has been really nice with the release of Dendro. She's been pretty fun to play. You know, Kaching's best team before Dendro was uh, Yelan, Jingcho, Kazuha. Oh. Now, or Yelan, Fischl, Kazuha. Now it's Nahida, Fischl, Kazuha. Nahida's still very, okay. Very different. Mm. <laughs> 
Okay, but right now, I think both of the players, Hanbo and Onizara, are ready. Uh, production remi uh, reminder, the rest of these matches are going to be the best two out of three if you have the overlay set up as well. And um, everyone that's watching, I hope you guys are having a great, uh, fun, great time watching it too. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jason. Again, once again, thank you so much. And for everyone, yeah, I guess we'll see. These are going to be like the best of the best players out of the 90 people signed up from this past past month we do have our previous reigning champion uh, g Dado, uh playing at the second half of the top four whereas odin zada is a, also a very strong contender in the brazilian community known as the evil of brazil so because everyone wants to beat him but hey let's see what they're gonna show for us um for tonight let's continue on let's switch it over to our draft scene thank you odin obrigado Switch it over to our drop and let us choose, have them choose heads or tails. Uh, but for uh, another brief info, I do try to host this um, every couple months as well. I love to get shoutcasters joining me because I think me talking by myself is kind of bad sometimes or I get tired <laughs> so it's really nice having like a second person to maybe correct me educate us uh the chat on their character picks and just kind of talk back and forth I'm um, so mad at you guys. this is awesome yeah it's just difficult trying to see if we could get um sponsors because i want to give a good prize for all the players playing because it ends up taking like three weekends away of their personal times and some if players are from like eu or asia which is like 5 a.m or earlier or later for them and waking up for a na time zone to play in the online tournament is really rough so i do want to reward them however i can um for you know thank you as a thank you for taking your time out of this to join a little of this tournament Spring break just ended. <laughs> Don't need to sleep. I have people telling me that they skipped out on uh, studying for tests, skipped out on watching anime and whatnot, just to practice uh, for a bit. Sure those tournament. things are not of equal importance. Wait a minute. Go back. Wait. Yeah, you know, you know, watch your anime. You gotta catch up on Farron. <laughs> There's no more Farron Friday. <laughs> Priorities at its finest. All right, Odin, choose your first ban. There we go. First show getting taken out first sight instead for um, Odin Zada. And Nivolet, unsurprisingly, getting banned. People skipping sleep to Rosen. <laughs> Banning Raiden Shogun as the third character and Hamble, your fourth fan. Tournament over anime over test. Your priorities. Hambo doesn't free. have Nivillet. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that might be a free ban for him too. Okay, Odin, choose one character. <laughs> Take off work to watch this. No. As long as you don't skip your anime, it's not a problem. <laughs> Dude, I have to wake up early for work tomorrow. I have overtime for this week, so I'm just like, I hope this doesn't go too late. <laughs> <laughs> Odin, one character, please. Because currently it's uh, 5 p.m. for you. What time is it for you? Campbell, just two. Uh, for me, it's eight o'clock. Oh, oh, so three East BST. Coast? Yep, mm -hmm. East Coast. Not bad at all. I'm expecting another maybe three, four hours left of this. Kazuha C0 and Yalan C0. Ooh. Ooh, the Yalan taken away from Odin Zada. Odin, choose two. He's got Jing Chao. I wonder what he's going to take. Probably, yeah. Nahira C2 and Bennett. 
Oh, he's not gonna gun for Shinobu. Maybe for a later pick. I don't know. Yeah. Campbell, choose two. I don't know if I would risk it. Shanling and Faruzan. I don't know if the Faruzan might actually be a counter pick against Odin. Yeah, that's but smart she's been pick. working. Yeah, she's been working even solo by herself. And Odin that's choose a, one. No, it's a really smart counter pick because Odin was mm -hmm. definitely, definitely would have been able to grab Animal Boy. Yeah. Ben and there's the yeah, Cookie but... Shinobu. Yep. All right. And now Hanbo choose one character, one weapon to ban. So for after um, after they do the draft um, and after one match, the second match will actually be flipped out. So Hamble will be player A and then Odin will be player B. They will have to redo their draft again um, for, you know, the new new picks. And then and depending on who wins, see if they could two old that or get one one and one match. If it ends up being one and one, we'll just redo the coin flip again. So it's a lot of draft picks, lots of mind games. Hmm. No, this is semifinals. Yeah, Odin there's... has two Xianyun. Keep it in mind. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's been a lot of matches so far, but we are halfway done at the semifinal uh, and hopping in first match for semifinals now. Gonna be banning Hu Tao and Nahida's weapon, Thousand Floating Dreams. Oh, that is a. Interesting. I guess I couldn't know what else to ban. Odin, one character, one weapon to ban? Yeah, they might not want to ban Fofonius or even Aqua since they have their Yalon, but Odin decided to ban Zhao and Aqua Simulacra. Just kidding, that is banned. No Fofonius though. And now Hamble choose one character. <laughs> Chat wants to see the Chong Yu melt again. There's no Xiangling, oh, yeah. Lord. Yesterday he did a really uh good clear with C2 Xian Yun, Chong Yun, Diona, and Xianling. Wait, was it that one? No, it was not that one, someone else. Bennett. And like the melt damage for him was like around the hundred K. Yeah. Oh, but this time we do have one Navi again. Uh, Navi, wow, making an appearance. In. Oh, didn't choose two? Navia finally gets a chance to play. I think she was banned twice already. Yeah, she's been, she's been banned twice. But Zhang Li is still up for grabs. Yes, oh, he is. and I think Odin's gonna take. take yeah, I think he's gonna grab Zhang Li, maybe. No, we we are seeing this coming. C2 Ooh. Cloud Retainer making a comeback. Campbell choose two. I think this is where Hamble might take Zhang Li and uh one more element for Navia. Xingqiu's not available. Hmm. Nope. Xingqiu's taken. Um oh Yai Miko and Yao Yao. C0 Yai Miko and Yao Yao. That'll work. And they're gonna play Navia. And Yale. Odin, last two. They're definitely going to do Navi Yellow. Uh, hmm. Maybe Hyper Bloom first side for Hamble? Maybe. Yeah. But they already have Yao Yao. I think they do just do Kazuo Farazan. Oh, right. Oh, wait, Ga Oda's gonna choose Gaming and Barbara for his last two characters. Ooh, that's fun. Hambo, last character. He does have Bennett. C6 Bennett with Shan Yun Gaming. And maybe. 
He's either going to use Shinjiro or Barbara. He's either yeah. going to use or Barbara. Yeah. Or neither. Whereas Hanbo, less character. Oh, Chiori. C0. So he does have double Geo on his side, but this is going to be uh, Odin versus Hanbo. Let us have them share screen. And we roll the Gamba for the first matchup. Okay, please share screen, Hanbo. Yeah, he's going to do Beto Shinobu, Mahida. Uh... Okay. Production? I think they have their screens ready. Barba, Hyper Bloom, Hyper Bloom first half, maybe? Let's see. Mm. Odin can use one five star weapon, Campbell can use two five star weapons. All C0 characters. I could do double geo aggravate side side, but I don't think they will. I think aggravate has more commonly on the first side, surprisingly. But double a Nemo on the first end then. Since they did flower us on to counter pick Odin, but that ends up having an extra Anemo character. Emerald have C2 yellow? No, it's wait, C0. Was this okay. Let me double check. Scrolling up. Yeah, the Yelan is C0. Odin is the one with the C2 Yelan. Hamble has all C0 five stars. So Kazuha, oh, Yelan, Navia, Yaimiko, and Chiori. Mm. Yeah. Make a pull yes. as well. The Shan Yun is C2 on Odin's side. And they are also running a C2 Nahida. Does Plunge proc Beto's ult? No. It's normal charge stuck. Uh, um, they're also definitely not going to play Beto with Gompling anyway. Yeah. Has to be probably Vape. Shin he might Chow. not play Vape. He might just oh. do Unreacted. Uh, it'd be a lot more consistent. and be a lot safer. And he might just hmm. have the damage it anyway. If you wanted oh, yeah. to have... Upside. Right. If I don't remember correctly, too, uh, Odin might use Cloud Retainer Signature Weapon as the only five star. Yeah, that'd be smart. You can use Serpent Spine on Gaming. And, uh, Wonder Even Star or War Wits on Nahida. Hmm. Or a cool Maru and, yeah. Serpent Spine on Gaming already. I think I saw engulfing Shanling and Hamble with the verdict on Navia. Let's see if they have artifacts for Gaming though. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> human always might not be it. <laughs> they they have five minutes to prepare. Strawbox right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I assume we're gonna see Gilded or Witch, if not two piece, two piece. Hmm. I mean, if they want to gear fast, there's four minutes left. They might have to do two piece, two piece. They might be too lucky enough. <laughs> I don't know. I I think it's because um, if they want to, they could change their language to be uh, Portuguese and then change it back to English for us to review. Uh, due to the language barrier, if needed to. Uh, Odin, if you need to change the language to Portuguese, you can. Just for gearing. Just in case. Hopefully that will not affect them. Whereas Hample is going to yep. be going in already with, yep, Yelan, uh, Miko, Kazuha, and Yao Yao for side. Was that the second side? Karazan, Navia, Chiori? Yes. So, on the second side. Hey, it'll work. 
No Pavonius. Yeah, no Pavonius. I would have done double Enemo for aggravate, but maybe they're worried about just not having enough damage. Hmm. <laughs> Barzai like getting lost again. Oh, Odin also hopping in. It is gonna be Ganyun Shincho. Or no. Ganyun Shincho and Flip. You gotta rearrange your characters, that's fair. I also have a specific way on how I organize my um, slots. My DPS is always on the second one, which is actually not very optimal. Oh, no, I always have my DPS on the second one. Doesn't... Oh, really? Yeah. It was memory. like what I started off with, and it just became like a muscle memory habit. Yep. It is gonna be Barbara, Beto, Nahida, and Cookie for side. So Shincho is on the second side with Vape. Two minutes remaining. Is he allowed to have Gaoming on slot one because of the Serpent Spine roll? Yeah, it's fine. As long as he does, like, he, he doesn't sit and wait for all full stacks, it will be okay. Because that's about 20 seconds before, but if he just goes in and uh, hops in straight into the chamber and start the key, it'll be fine. Okay. Oh, but we do have a Chiori Navia combo as well. Yeah, it's cleaning up really well. Mm -hmm. Gonna be a. Ooh, wait, that's a lot of damage. I love watching Navia gameplay. 100k crit, not even full shrapnel as well. But when uh, we seen like um, Bennett buffing her too, that's it could go up to around 200k damage. Okay, let's see. This gaming 90k? I don't and... think he went for the pyro VV. Oh, Ooh. he's doing the manual plunges without a dash. Interesting. I don't think yeah. he's very comfortable playing gaming. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he practiced a lot with this. But clear time wise, pretty good, yeah. Really? I think uh, in their practice runs, it was around 10 seconds faster than Hamble. That, what constellation was their gaming? Um, we could check. Well, it pulls it too be... I, I assume we see six. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt them while they're still hearing. <laughs> Seven, six, five... Four, three, two, one. Okay, time's up. Okay, time's up. Please exit the abyss and show me your weapon artifacts. And Odin, let's go over yours first. They will also want to ask what constellation your gaming is. C1. Wow, it's C1. Okay, All right. Awesome. All right, let's review your stuff. <laughs> C2 shot you on C1 gaming. That's mm -hmm. funny. Okay. C2 Nahira with Sif and Sifu's on Cookie. Beto Akomaru, Bavonia Shencho, Bavonia, and Sword of Najvira. And Hamble, your turn. Chiori, Wolfang, Constellation Zero, Navia Vert. Sacrificial Kazu, Miko with Agra. Mavonius, Mavonius, Yao Yao, and <coughs> Shanling. Mavonius, okay. All right. And since Odin Zada is first player A, Hamble choose the card for Odin. Yeah. <coughs> Let's switch up the scene. Thank you. Okay, let's see how this goes.
C2 shot on the NC one gaming is honestly kind of amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder if they got really lucky on Shun Yen or really unlucky on four stars. I think if I remember correctly, they spent around three or four hundred pulls for one Gami, not even from the free lantern right one. God. So they got really unlucky pulling for Gaming. Whoa. All right, but let's start off. Let's see what they could uh, show for us. C2 Nahida with Beto, Cookie, and Barbara. Match 20% damage boost. Don't forget, Barbara was, did, he can give you a free revive on your character as well. That could basically count as a free reset. Ikuyo! <laughs> Our monster idol. <laughs> At least for this team, they could be a little bit, you know, can go a little bit wild. Don't need to worry too much about damage. Taken. Uh, I'd be worried about specifically Chamber 3 with this team. They might have yeah, frozen a whole too. time wall with Coppelia. Yeah. But for right here, pretty solid. One minute and three seconds first half. Oh. Yeah, they have to start immediately. Xian Yun first, Annette, Shinchou, and Gami. Ooh, 100k, dang. Oh, just going straight for plunges. He doesn't want energy, I guess. <laughs> he doesn't want... <laughs> It'll be fine. The Xian Yun is C2. Yeah. Time might not be the best, but it'll work. We'll need to use another rotation for this. But what's that going to be for their I'm second change? Unfortunate that he's not ready. 14. All right, and then um, switching it over, Hamble. Odin will choose the card. Odin, choose the card, please. And third, healing effectiveness. Okay, Miko set up, Yalan burst, Kazu swirl. Something like that. Something like that. Ooh. Lots of burning damage, though. That's okay, they're fine. Yeah, they're getting the vapes on the Yalan. About 30 seconds to clear out the first half. Are a little bit over actually. A little bit over. Is he gonna burst here? No. No, they want to save it for the agents. Are they gonna try to fight Dendro? Yeah. Okay, now here comes Nico. Ooh, managed to catch them both. Round 50k per tick. One of them took fall damage. Hmm. Oh, and the second one did too. Oh, yeah. Is. Even that. Damage. Yeah. Free. <laughs> Free damage, basically. Yeah. A little bit matters. Yeah, especially since right now, when they keep on getting juggled, that's going to cost them a minute and 20 seconds for the first chamber. We're probably going to oh, keep no. seeing these ladies around for a bit. I believe they're going to be in the next abyss, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, this Yelan is E0. A Chiori, Navia, Shanling, and Farazan. Let's see this Navia. Ooh, 153k. Or 151. It's so satisfying to watch. I might not be comfortable playing Navia. Interesting. Uh, usually when you play Navia, you'll do N2 dash. Mm-hmm. 
three mm. times per, per shot. It's the best way to get mileage out of her uptime. And to, oh, non crit though. They're playing a little risky. Was that 755? I hope they have a high crit on Navia too, because that's where her, most of her damage is going to be coming from, from her skill. It should be like 35 skill, 20 burst, and 50. Uh, the, the 35 normal attack, 50 skill, and like 20% burst is what it should okay. be. Campbell's gonna choose the third car for Odin. <laughs> okay, starting up, all of them are linked together. Barbara is just right in the middle of it all. Can't even see a damage, they're just getting deleted. I really want C2 Nahida. Oh, it's just 20 per, plus 20% damage. That is the but it could, it's because like her, uh, she could also crit right with her dendro reaction. Dendro reactions don't go through the death formula. Uh, mm -hmm. she buffs all enemies oh. that are affected by quicken, take 20% more damage, and 20% chance to crit makes all the dendro reactions do 20% more damage. <gasps> Oh my Barbara, god! Oh, 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 there's the Barbara! The Barbara! Resuffered! Oh my god, I was about to say! Wait, there's this is where Barbara. Barbara's coming in! The chat! The idol! The save! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! That was almost very close for another hit. Oh, he's not trying to. He's not pushing the clear here. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess that is gonna be the retry. And even with the reset, Odin, no more reset. Barbara's skills also got uh, gets reset too, so it can still use um yes. the revive. They fixed. They finally yeah. fixed it. I'm so glad they did. Oh, that was scary though. <laughs> he reset because he didn't want to depend on the Barbara. It's embarrassing. <laughs> It did take a little bit of time for them to clear, too. Okay, another setup. Ooh, love that preemptive cookie first, right where they spawned. Oh, this is good. Alright, take two on the husks. Let's see. Alright, run it back now. <laughs> Should be okay. I think it was like their Nahida got one shot last time too. Yeah, they apply Pyroteo and there is a Hydro one. That's also why like Banana is very rarely used on the first half because of um the vape from Copelia. I mean, they uh, melt. No. Yeah, I wouldn't use them either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the amount of times I die to that. Very, very Much solid better. reset this time around. Yeah. Let's get the Let's energy see back. Let's see if Gaming clutches this. Oh my god, 200k. Oh my god, is that, that can't be real. Xiang Yun moment. Is that really the power of Xiang Yun? Car constellation yeah. too? And yeah. signature hey, weapon? So what Xiang Yun does is she adds 200% of her own attack to every plunge. Or eight plunges technically. Uh, her C2 makes this an extra 200% of her and attack. What about her and it weapon? gives her 20 attack percent. Her weapon is 28 plunge damage bonus for the entire party. Uh, it's basically like freedom score. That's so OP. He just needs to be careful that he is vaping these buttons and not... Mm. Oh, I missed out the time. Uh, mods, I'm sure you have that ready, but wow, that was 
fast. Seven fifty. The seven fifty or seven fifty one. Yeah, that was around two hundred k plunges with a uh, gaming. Okay, switching it over. Odin is gonna be choosing the middle card. Was that 300k E on Gaming 2? Uh, the PMA has dropped resistance when it falls. Or Dang. When, uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's, it's negative 50 or negative 80. I do not remember. That's still a lot. Huge difference. Okay, set up. Kazuha first. Got the Electro Swirl too. Then gets the Serpent Knight. Ooh, that was a nice Nico burst. Kazuha is just so much easier to use compared to all the Nemo characters. <gasps> Ooh, that's fine. It's fine. He doesn't have armor. Right. Okay, Yao Yao heals so much. <laughs> yeah. Metal clear. No accidents. Okay, let's go with Navia. Yuri. Ooh, but they need a lot of ER for Farusan and Shaolin. Oh, no, nope. <laughs> yeah. no, I could. I think they could use like the VV for buffing Pyro Tornado, but they don't have healers on this end. Ah, non crit Anavia. That's the second non crit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they really don't need to worry about Farusan in this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, they do. They can apply VV with Farusan's E skill if they have to. Mm -hmm. They do just kind of need to keep DPS off time on Navia. Yeah. Okay, let's see. It's gonna be a serpent. <laughs> okay, Pyro Tornado up again. We'll have to use the burst to generate more crystallize. Not a great performance for Kami. I was hoping for a lot more. It happens sometimes, though. 7.25. Wait, performance oh. from Hamble? Oh, just from Navi in general. Oh. I, the, they are using the verdict, but I think Shiori is a little bit... Mm, not questionable pick, but... No, they, I think Shiori, I think Shiori was the right choice here. Uh, their Navi isn't doing that much damage to yeah. where the Navi's damage isn't appreciated. I have seen, like, um, GOMC also pair up with Navia before, but I think it's because the Far is on. I wouldn't have done GOMC either. <laughs> oh. uh, usually it's between Chiori or Zhongle. Uh, you'd pick Geo main character just to save a cost or a point. Yeah. Wait, but no one chose Zhongli. No, no one picked him. There might uh, be a chance that Ampli did not have John Lee. They could have also just felt that Chiori was better. Mm. Which is wrong. Okay, let's see. This is third chamber for Odin. No more reset available, but Barba still have her revive. Okay. Not bad. Another burst up. I mean, that's a very fast clear. Less than 50 seconds. Yeah, not bad. Okay, they do need to plunge, but Gamin got this. He's doing the dash cancels now for the faster plunges. Mm. These texts. 
He's doing the timing to bait the technique for the extension on the drop. Oh. We're here. Now that started the next attack. Perfect. Uh, Man, if he's lucky, he'll kill before it shields up. Will it? Really... If he's lucky, he will, yeah. No, I think he's gonna get a... Not mm, nope. In time it... Oh, it's very close, though. That's it's funny that he's just skipping Gomings first. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I mean, we'll see too, Xiang Yun. Oh, he's going without Shanyu first. Oh, now he... Or Shinsho. There it is. 807. 807? Okay. And then the last yeah. chamber for Hamble. Yeah, that looks like GG. We'll see though, maybe. Wait, what was the time to beat? I missed it. 52. 52? Eight. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see. At least for your first chamber, I think that's gonna be around how long it takes to clear just one chamber. I really got a longer time for the second half, or second chamber. And they still have a reset? I don't think the reset's gonna matter, though. They can yeah. use it all they want. They need, reset like, 30 second. seconds per chamber clear. Yeah. <gasps> Hamble says their Navia was a 93 crit. Unfortunate. Oh, you know, that reminds me. Yesterday, there was a Raiden that was also non-critting twice, and they came in chat and said it was a 95 crit rate Raiden. I was like, oh no. Can, yeah, can that's you get GG that right. That's GG right there. He's out of time. Mm hmm. I mean, they could still fight it through if they want. If they don't want to automatically forfeit this match. But at least we can appreciate some Navias here. Since this is the first time she was uh, appearing. While the counter pick for Farazan was against their opponent, it ended up slowing their own score, their own teams. Oh, oh there's, there's a plunge. Uh, one. Oh, they don't know plunging is more damage. Ooh. <gasps> yeah, there's a lot of like neat little tricks and tags for each character. Maybe they don't know because I I definitely did not know for the plunge damage. Yeah, Navi's plunge does more damage than Uh yeah. You can do four plunges after her you skill with geo damage. <laughs> Cleared it with the sacrifice of Navia at the end at 751. But Odin will take out the take the first matchup um against their best of three. Now, <laughs> now that the first game is clear, we will be switching it over to another um match for them, which is uh reversed. Odin will be on player B or player two, and then player one will be Hamble. We're just gonna hop right into it. Yep. So all Odin needs to do is win one more match to go to the Grand Finals, or if Hamble can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this uh, second matchup Oops. and get 1-1. One, one. Yep. see. All right, we're going to restart the draft. Um, Hamble, it's your turn to for the uh, first band. Ready? Yep, Nivellet band taken away. Odin, Farina. Gone. <laughs> okay, and Hamble another ban. 
which is going to be Yolan, unsurprising. Ooh, Odin's going to get potentially get Shonyun here again. Um, if she's not banned, you think? Yeah. And Fisho is also banned. I mean, so far he's been picking Xiaoyun as the second half, though. Hanbo will choose one character, which is Shincho. Yes, Epic, pay it out. And Odin, choose two. Oh, I forgot. Let me uh, apply that. Bennett C2 and Nahida again. Surprise. Oh, Bennett C2. Whoa. I'm mean, sorry, not Bennett C2. Nahida C2. <gasps> my bad, my bad. It's a C6 Bennett. <laughs> same, same plays. I'm surprised they haven't been banning Nahira as much. Hample There's not really reason to. I guess. I mean, a lot of them have C2 Nahira, though. Mm. Ling and Kazuha C0. Odin, choose two. Looks like here comes Beto official, uh, official's band. Uh, Beto... Yeah, official's band, but Beto is still open. Yeah. And he's going to be choosing Cookie and Beto. Yep. Campbell, choose one. Are we going to see another Xianyun gameplay? Unless she gets banned on the second half? I think almost certainly. <laughs> Campbell, one character. Ooh, Raiden C2 is going to be selected this time, though. But I'm not sure about this pick. Okay, Odin, choose one character and one weapon to ban. We're just going to be, yep, Sara I... and Engulfing Lightning. I see Hanbo going for... Uh, Yao Yao or Kirara, and uh, specifically Yao Yao, probably. And uh, Dendro yeah, for the first half. Yeah, Dendro first half, Xingqiu, Shengling, second half. But you'd mm -hmm. have to figure out something to do with Xingqiu, Shengling. Either that or you play Raiden, Xingqiu, Shengling, Bennett was second half, which is a little scuffed. They can't use Bennett though, because Odin's is already yeah. taken from their end. Yeah, Bennett was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chevres? Oh yeah, they could easily. Chevres, Chevres can too. work. Yeah, they would. I mean, Toma could also work too if they have Chevres. Toma, Shanling, Raiden, Campbell, one character, one weapon. Yeah, and that is gonna be banning Al Haitham and Favonius Great Sword. Yeah, either Toma or Odin, Dia play one a shield. Either that, or they could play very risky. Uh, which is doable, second side. You just have to be careful with the field generator. Yeah. Flower is on, this time taken by Odin. Hanbo choose two characters. That also depends if they have Chevy. I'd hope they have Chevrolet. <laughs> Uh, she was on Raiden's last banner. Uh, it depends on when they pulled the Raiden C2, I guess. Banning Fav Great Sword was probably not the right choice on Hambo's part. I didn't know I was trying to counter Beto, but. They've been using a cool other... Maru for mm -hmm. the last couple. Okay, it's going to be Hu Tao C1 and Yao Yao.
Odin, two characters. Team from this. Okay, so currently, uh, they uh, Hample has one, three, wait, three, four. How six many points? Hmm. How many points does Odin have left? Odin, right now, yeah, I was calculating that. Um, he's gonna be choosing Cloud Retainer, Shan Yun against E two and Barbara. That is gonna be putting them at six points. Yeah. Hample, your last two characters. Oh, it's gonna be Yai Miko C zero and Chevrus. Yep. That'll do. And Odin, last character. So that's going to be seven points for Hamble. And Odin Zhao is going to be C0. And they're going to do. This is going to be the team. Hmm? I have a. F I'm not sure if they're going to play Hutao or Riding with Chevres. <laughs> Hmm. Hutao, though. That's that's an interesting. That's do a good point. Right in Shengling, right in Kazuha, Jingcho, top side, and yeah, with Yao Yao. With the Yao, and then Hu Tao uh, with Chevy on the bottom half. Yeah. Okay, or they can do. Cosmetic Chevres with Xing Cho, but I really wouldn't do that. <laughs> if they have C6, the C6 does still activate. Uh, technically. Oh, right. So Odin has seven points. They cannot use the staff of any five star weapons. Xiao needs to get some gear. Hambo has. Let's double check again. I keep forgetting. Death match is perfectly good with Shunyun. Yep. Oh, so both of them cannot use any five star weapons. Battle pass weapon still too strong. That's a very good shell build. He, yeah, he is uh, very good with his 100, 108 crit rate. <laughs> He has a very strong Xiao, for sure. <laughs> all right, all right. Fixed up some gear. I wonder why they did not ban Xiao Yun, for sure, after that previous play. I'll hide them, taken instead. He's not gonna go I for guess... no blast on Shungen. Okay. Hmm. I guess he can play with Bennett. Does it really matter? Oh, it could be like a Bennett, Farazan, Shan Yun, Zhao, second half, then the, yeah, another yeah, Barbara, yeah. first half, extra charge. Yeah. Wait, was that the same team that they had uh, previously? No. No, they picked Shao. Uh, this time it's Zhao, not coming. And oh, they got I meant for the top time. half with their uh, Nahida. Mm. Yes. It's oh, yeah, it's. <laughs> I mean, they they got it through. We're gonna have a repeat performance. Is that fifty crit rate on the right end? <laughs> I hope not. That's why they're looking through gear right now. Yeah, it is. Oof. Raiden has been known for not critting, so, um... Uh, good luck. Old choice. The Xing Cho's definitely gonna crit, though. Okay, they still have four minutes to prepare. Mm. 
I'm not really sure why Odin's practicing. He just did this. <laughs> he just... <laughs> <laughs> I think he... Maybe for the second half with the Zhao team. I think he's just trying to flex. <laughs> I Yeah, that too. <laughs> I mean, seven minutes is a pretty long time, but pretty... Like, it's like fair, I think, because sometimes you might forget to choose one thing or another. They need to be careful to not leave that staff of Homo on Chevres. <laughs> yeah. Bavonia, Shanling, Homa, Chevy gonna be changed to from Rosario's weapon? Or Well it will be Favonius no matter what. Ooh, 160k for Zhao plunges. Live laugh lament. <laughs> yep, that'll work. I would have got very lucky to have a, a pretty optimal Zhao team. Available. I think it's because he, well, he also has a lot of good characters. Um, even if you end up banning a few characters from him, he has like a backup roster. So his Zhao is also known um, to be really geared. Yes. Yeah, I can see. But we'll see. 95, yeah, 230. <laughs> Quite good. <laughs> yeah, especially with like the C2 Zhan Yun. Oh, man. Yeah, the C2 Shang Yun makes the two piece emblem maybe a little questionable, but I don't think it's mm. gonna matter ultimately. I mean, well, she had to change from her weapon too. I did not see what weapon uh, they were using. And I feel like now that it's the second match, the seven minutes is really long to <laughs> prepare. <laughs> That's what, yeah, it's Shepard. I... It yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. They still have like one minute remaining. May oh, but now Hamble will be going through some practice. Let's see. The teams that they are using. Oh, never mind. I think they're double checking their gear. All of them on four star weapons. C3 Chevy. Ooh, not C6. Okay. It'll still mm -hmm. work, though. Mm -hmm. It'll definitely still work. Uh, but clear and pretty respectable. Yeah, I mean, even at C0, she does so much buff. Yep. Okay, it's gonna be Ben I'm not gonna Kazu, Raiden, Shinchok, and Yao Yao. Yao's a very popular pick too for Dendro. Oh shit, sorry, time's up. <laughs> I, I got lost. I got lost watching the Ooh, you got memorized. Okay. Time is up. Please exit up this. Uh, let's review Hamble. Your turn. Uh, you go first. Okay, no. Okay, C0 Kazu Sacrificial. C0 Miko with Solar Pearl R4. The catch on Raiden with C2. Wutao is on deathmatch R5 with C1. Yao Yao, Flavonius, Shen Cho. Wolfang, R5 already. Ooh. And Chevy and Shanling. Okay, no five star weapon. And now Odin, your turn. Deathmatch Shao, C0. 
Genuine. Oh, Ulf Sworn. I. Wissif. False. Akamaro. Savonius. Sword. Oh, Hambo says they need to go bathroom real fast. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you know, this reminded me though. Um, I messed up collecting one of my battle pass weapons and I accidentally have an R5 black sword and also an R1, but I'm missing and I think my solar pearl is only at R4. But with the new battle pass weapons, I can't I oh. can't go collect the other one. So I have like an extra black sword at level one. Okay, I think Campbell's back now. Okay, let's switch over to Sing to uh, Hamble's screen. And Odin, choose the card for Hamble. The third card? Oh, production? Please? Sorry, quick. Okay, thank you. There. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're starting off Right in C2 yeah, Second right of the night Maybe this one will pull off a win Against Odin though It's gonna be a tough uphill battle from here Especially since they didn't get her hyper carry suck team But you know, we'll never know It's not that good tough suck Okay, bringing both of them together. It's so hard seeing wherever they are. Ooh, managed to catch them both over 100k burst as well. Ooh, getting kind of juggled right there. Fall damage here. Yeah, there nice. it is. More fall damage. Good. Oh, but time-wise, it is gonna be taking them over a minute and twenty seconds. It's fine. Hmm. It's not that bad. Average C two riding clear. Let's see the Chevros. <laughs> it was C three Chevy, right? Yeah. Okay. Around 30k yeah. dash? Yeah, really not bad. Uh, how do they? <laughs> they? Might have EM on their build by this day. <laughs> they actually might not be good cards. Oh no, I'm a little Wait. worried about that. <laughs> I don't know. 29k HP is. Maybe a little. Bad. For uh, EM Hu Tao? For unreacted, yeah. Because you shouldn't build the M here. Did they actually forget? I'm not sure. Maybe they just have a lot of crit subs. They might just have a lot of crit subs. Seven fifty one for a handball. Switching it over, Odin's side. Hambo will choose the middle card for him. You don't want to give him the heal card. The barber would be too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> Solo Hydro. I guess. Barbara making it through a speedrun tournament, though. Love to see it. <laughs> yep. All Oda needs to do is clear, I mean, uh, win one more time, then he'll be con uh, going towards the Grand Finals. Right now, this is going to be the same team that he drafted during their first matchup. You know, except with a stronger second side. Mm. 
What is the time to beat for the fastest overall clear? Um, I mean, it would be down to the third chamber. Or are you asking for like, what's the fastest speed run time the so far? The fastest possible. Um, for right now, for the top 32 out of everyone's matches, the fastest time is uh, 316 seconds. That was from that uh, G. That out yesterday. Three one six. I think we might see uh, something very similar. Hmm. That depends if they end up getting a, the right teams drafted. They do have the right teams drafted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for this one to get uh, faster than the three sixteen time score. I think Odin might take the fastest overall. Hmm. <laughs> Well, during his preliminary season, uh, the chicken, got... the chicken is gonna be dead in about twenty seconds. Chicken's gonna get cooked. Odin did end up getting uh two hundred twenty three seconds for the preliminary, but that's uh, getting all of his best teams. No. Oh shoot, what was the clear time? Chicken Eight salad. Fifteen. Uh, I didn't see it either. Eight thirty two. Thirty uh, two. In my chat, so it's someone in my chat. I'm not sure. Okay. Um. We have like different people double checking the uh, score, the time. But it's always nice to be aware. It is 8.32. Zhao strolling off the true power of the Yaksha. True power is too far aside. <laughs> Not far aside, it's too far No, 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 listen. It's, <laughs> but he's still doing damage, okay? He's still doing damage. <laughs> I love my, I love my short, short king. king. <laughs> There's the pyro, okay. Really useful tech if you're playing the Villette. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't be seeing Nivellette at all today. I'm so sad about that. I really wanted to watch him too. But it's okay, we're gonna be getting some uh, Raiden showcases instead. <gasps> Wait, hold on. 41 second difference already in just yeah. one chamber? That's great. Doomed. You know, accidents can happen. Maybe they accidentally die three times. It could happen. Do not count them, count them out yet. I think they won't have the trash, though. Mm. It really depends on draft. Yeah. I do consider, like, what if instead of banning the weapon, we just have eight global character bans instead? Would that be too much? Because currently Genshin has around over 70 characters. But it not all of them are what it's rigged this for. Mm. Um, there are a lot of ways you can restrict it. Mm. And you do have to be careful. If you ban too much, it can block out a lot of players. From even yeah, that's, that's why it's like trying to find a balance between all the characters. I mean, all the players' it, accounts. From you could make the bans more wild. aggressive per stage of the tournament. Oh, Hamble's gonna use a reset there. Is what you could do. So let's say the finals get an extra ban. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was also considered. Um, where final or semi or grand finals will get an extra ban, and then because sometimes the weapon could weapon ban could be like half and half, how hurtful or not. <laughs> Running it back now for the first chamber. See if they get some better RNG this time. Oh wait, was it the Xianling die on the second half? No, I think they just reset. Oh. Just for time. Oh no, right in the right. Oh, that was so close. There's no oh, more reset. Oh. Yeah, no more reset, no more. Yeah, it was so fast. I think this one is a little bit slower. But it's necessary with bringing Shaling back. There is no heal on this end. 
Oh wait, no, just kidding. Shepard can heal. Shepard is, is a healer. Yeah, I keep forgetting. She just does so much. Shepard's actually doing a lot. I think even with C6 Chevy, um, how much more damage would she buff from that? 60 damage per cent? Uh, it's quite massive. Um, 60? From C0 to oh, C6? Oh, yeah, I died. Oh, no! 07 chat for Yaimiko. That's... Oh, they have no source of overload. Oh, uh, Chevron's just broke. Oh, no! I think they, they gave up. Uh, yeah. Wait, hold on. That was Hamble's end. All, they, all Oda needs to do is clear second chamber, then it will consider his win. Oh, he already cleared. Okay. All he has to do is just clear it, but I think Hamble might have forfeited themselves. Uh, but just to be sure, Hamble choose one card for Odin, and Odin, all you need to do is clear chamber two. <sighs> Middle card. Oh, that was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. If not, it was Shanling dead first. Had to use the reset and then Yang be cool. It's okay, Hample. Honestly, getting ranked. Was it fourth? No. Third place is not that bad. Uh, fighting against around or did the preliminaries like 80 people. Then making it into top 32, and then having individual matches that are seeded from the pre preliminary runs, getting it and matching up against like one of the strongest players in Brazil. That was a really good run. I think it's just the draft um, was where it got a little bit screwed. Yeah. But otherwise, you, you did fine, Hamble. This was a hard draft to go up against. Mm hmm. Especially against like a player who has almost all characters built or very meta characters. Even if you ban specific ones, they'll have good backups. This is a good example of why everyone has been counterpicking Farazan. Because you yeah. really don't want to get a semi-optimal team. Uh, you really yeah, need to, that's out. It's okay. Barbara, Barbara, get back up. Barbara, <laughs> here it goes. So this, this is a really a Barbara showcase match. It's <laughs> Two real. times now. Barbara's broken. Two times. Our <laughs> old... Was she free when you started game? She still is. Uh, after you yeah. defeat Devalon, you get a Barbara and a Favonius Warbow. Time to build up your Barbara. She hasn't revived without C6, though. You need seven. Mm. Ah, uh, those Xiao plunges, though. Lament! <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Odin sold the Barbara to us more than Mihoyo. <laughs> oh man, this is going so fast. And that's it. Odin will take uh, their opponent 2-0 for their semifinals. Round of applause for both players. 0-7 to Hamble, though, for their GG nice try for their uh, for their end. We still have a few more matches to go through because our next one is going to be um, Battle versus Close Clayton. Another strong match to go through. And the winner between these two best of three will be um, fighting against Odin. In the grand finals, how are you feeling right now, Jason? Would you like a brief break or you just want to hop right into it? If you're ready to hop into it, we're good. I'm always ready. Yeah. yeah. I mean, from yeah. right now, we uh we still have another, you know, like two, three matches to go through before we hit, hop off for the grand finals. But this is gonna be another fan favorite uh for G Dado. And like I said, so far, they've been, uh, Dado and Odin has known to be a good friendly rivalry. Very balanced uh, players against each other. A lot of people are expecting them to see them in the grand finals again. But let's see how Clayton is going to do with the previous champion. And thank you, Hamble, for joining us. 
you know, it really can come down to the draft. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. You get the right characters at the right time. We'll see. I think all yeah. of the rock, all the competitors really have an image in their head of all right. These are the teams that I'm. These yeah. are the characters that are really good in this abyss, and the teams that they go in, I'm going to gun it for them. Yeah. Uh, you see a lot of first pick Jing Cho, a lot of first pick Fischl. Yeah, like those are the four stars I get. Um, gets taken the fastest. Uh, compared to five stars. The five stars are like the first ones to get bad. They can only use so many of the five stars. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that is in chat. Uh, is in the channel. We're just waiting for a close Clayton to hop in. Um, once again, this is another best two out of three match. But I wonder. Hopefully, uh, they will be available soon. But yeah, so far, I think even between Zhao or Skara gameplay, Zhao is probably easier to manage through than Skaramouche or Wanderer. Um, it, it can be kind of difficult. I find Zhao and Skara to be relatively the same character still, which is really funny. <laughs> Um, oh, <laughs> I think for me, I think it's just because the plunge is easier to execute than Skara's, like, you know, remembering the charge attack or auto well, uh, normal attack um, cancels or combos. That's fair. Because I'm a, I would say I'm pretty casual as a playing. And when I play in Abyss, I just spam my attacks. I don't think about rotation sometimes, which I think that could be fair for a lot of um, fellow players too. <laughs> but for these ones, like they are on top of it for all of their character um, skills. Okay, it's gonna be pets. That'll choose A or B. We did have a few mobile players joining in before too. Ooh. And awesome. yeah, um, fortunately, they were not able to get it, you know, too far. But seeing them do specific techs on mobile and dodging, sometimes running in without any healers, it's crazy. My editor plays on mobile. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I try playing on mobile, can't can do it. I, I watched their gameplay once. Mm -hmm. I saw some of it. <laughs> Thank you, Discord stream. But, uh... <laughs> It was very. It's a different game. It's a different... Have you tried? Wait. So you have you tried it before too? Uh, I yeah. I've tried. I put a mobile. I've done mobile on Abyss resets before. Uh, I've also okay. done Abyss blindfolded, which is fun. <laughs> oh, I did that once, but I have someone else guiding me. Okay, we're gonna start oh, the pick and ban right now, Clayton. Whenever you're ready, start the first ban. Yeah, I. Oh, Novelet banned. Yeah, I tried playing on controller um, and oh, tablet, mobile, but I think I'm more comfortable with keyboard. Mm. Farina band, and then Bennett is the third band. Yeah, honestly, Bennett is fair. He is the for real uh, pyro archon. Raiden band again. Clayton, choose one character. And uh, that'll choose two. Fischl, first pick from Clayton's side. Huh. I think Dado's definitely going to grab Yelon here, right? <laughs> uh, Jingcho Yelon. Hmm. That'll choose two. Hmm. Or he will choose a Nahida. Oh no, Shincho Farazan. Oh, early Farazan. Clayton, choose two. Clayton might be the one grabbing Yolan soon. I think he has C2. Yolan? They can't grab Bennett, but they can grab Kazuha. Kazuha really important for top side. If you can't get him, you're gonna have to use you're gonna use Sucrose. Sucrose. Um, that'll have a C two 
he has a C2 Kazuha. He, if I remember correctly, he said he doesn't use him just because it costs way too much for point wise. Hmm. But close click in is gonna be picking Xian Ling. Constellation on Yalan, please. And the Yalan. Are we gonna see another performance for Yalan Ford Vape? <laughs> yep, C2 Yalan. Or Electro Charge. I think, didn't he do that earlier? That I'll choose too. Yeah. Clayton also has his own uh, fan club as well. A very uh, popular player from Brazil. Let's see how they are going to be um, drafting today. They're, they do have to go through two matches. Let's take a look. Marvel, don't say that. <laughs> yep, there is the Nahida C2 taken in. And Beto. His waifu buff. Clayton, choose one. Wonder if we get a Shinobu snipe. Mm -mm. True. in one character please oh okay there is kazuha c2 though and that'll choose one character one weapon to ban that is gonna be six points on clayton's side whereas that'll has three points with the borrowers on we might maybe see him use bring out his own gel to try or no skara might be a very costly and two hmm we'll see Banning Chevreuse. And the weapon to ban. Yeah, weapon to ban. Vera doesn't bow, interesting. Uh, I think this is... Okay. Yeah. And Clayton, one character, one weapon to ban? Will it be one of the Animo boys? Oh no, he's gonna be banning yep, Kishi Shinobu. And the Favonius bow. Very smart. And that'll choose one character. Do you think Dado's gonna pull out the pocket dory instead of Shinobu? <laughs> Dado, cookies banned. <laughs> Read. No, uh, sorry, <laughs> choose one character. <laughs> we, oh my god! Lisa, if they want electro resonance. No, that's why we have to keep a lookout, make sure that he doesn't sneak anyone in. He does have a Dory available, or maybe Sayu. I don't think Sayu's getting picked. <laughs> <laughs> What's the constellation on now, Haito? And Clayton, please choose two. Maybe the... Wait... Nahida, Beto, Alhaitam first side? If Cookie is yeah. banned, though. Oh, you could pick Tori. Tori? <laughs> Tori or Lisa. Those are the only real options. Uh, unless they have Yai. Yai, Miko, they do. But will it be worth the point to use if they're deciding on a Animo character? Well, they don't have a point to use for an Animo character.
Okay, Sucrose and Kachin C3. Ooh. Wait, no, Clinton, did you want to change? Okay, no, he didn't. There were there was some slight confusion, but this is gonna be a Kachin pick. Constellation 3. That's only gonna be worth one point though. Okay, and that'll choose two. Does he go for the Yai pack or Dory? Damage will be for Miko, but Dory is for survivability. Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> Wait, Dory's actually getting picked up. Yep. And Zhao should be C0. There they are. That is the C0, right? To confirm for Zhao. And Clayton, your last two characters, please. Zhao's an interesting choice because he's going to have to play. I think he's going to be playing Zhao with Zheng Zhao. <laughs> <laughs> True. Wait, but Zhao's not taken yet, too. Yeah, Jingcho, Zhongli, Xiao, Farazan is what it seems like it's going to be. Mm hmm. But Dory, forgot that was a character available too, will be take, picked up. And last two characters for Clayton is going to be Kirara and Toma. And for Dado, your last character, please. <laughs> uh, Zhan Yun is still open, yes. No one's picking Cryo. <laughs> no, it's a dead element. No, it's a <laughs> for this abyss. Okay, okay. Let, that's not dead element. It's just dead for this abyss. But Johnny will be taken from that aside. <laughs> sure. Here is the draft between the two. For this, uh, for the first matchup, prediction mods will set up prediction and um, please share screen when you can. You have seven minutes to prepare your weapon and artifacts. Okay, and now both of them are sharing screens. Battle and Clayton, yes. I do think Dotto is going to end up with Jing Cho, uh, Xiao. Mm. And John Lee, second half. Yep. Yep. And Beto, Dory, Oithum, Nihita, top half. Yeah. Uh, Clayton is probably gonna do Kirara Kutsing, Fischl, Kazuha one side, and Toma Shangling Yell on across the other. We'll Wait, see, hold on. Though. It's been like five hours. I didn't notice. My cat has been in my room this whole time. I will oh, be yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back and let him out. I don't think he had a meal yet. But, oh, he's oh. himself. <laughs> I'll be right back since there's time for me. Picky baby. You wanna go out? Okay, go. You wanna say hi to chat real fast? Oh, you're so big. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Alright. Say hi to the kitty. Say hi to chat. Hello, oh, cat. Oh. Alright, you sleepy? You hungry? Okay, okay. I'll, I'll play with you later. Oh, when did you sneak in? Oh, don't break my cosplay. Is your cosplay okay? Okay. Is the cosplay okay? Yeah, and it's fine. It's fine. It did. He's he he was sleepy, so he did not uh, scratch me too bad. But it was fine. I didn't even know he snuck in. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So clean inside. Um, what's going on for his end? Will now it be? Maybe aggravate first half with Kachin Kirara 
official suit. Yep. Or official Kazu. And then Gamaru's a little risky. We'll see how that works yeah. out. I hope it works out better than a lot of the Yao Yao picks, though. Yeah, because... Hmm. Draw is supposed to be better. Uh, but the shield can be a little bit sketchy against Coppelia, though. And especially against the husks. I wonder why they did choose Toma over um, Zhang Li, though. Unless their Zhang Li was C1. They want the right. energy for the shield line. Hmm. <laughs> because they're going to play uh, some kind of vaporize Yale on Tom. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Just kidding. Yeah, they, they're already at full cost for the points. They can't use Zhang Li even if they, want, if they have them. Because Kachin C3 is counted at one point, but Yalan and Kazuha C2 counts at six points. So Toma was the only other option they had. Yep. Swap. <laughs> Need people to forfeit so they could compete the top 32. No. So uh, some of the uh, players, um, for participants, like to come back and watch a few of the matches. It's just funny reading what they say sometimes. <laughs> we just need like 50 people to drop out and then I could qualify. Easy. Mm -hmm. Just like how the time to beat is like, you know, 8.52. We just need to hit one, one crit at like 2 million damage, clear it in two, 2 seconds, then we'll go clear on to the next trigger. Yeah. Oh, it could be. Just delete the character. Yep. Delete the enemies. Okay, that already hopping in with some practice runs. Yep, double dendro, double electro, first half with Alhaito, Nahida. Wow, instant retry. Okay. Still practice. He missed the Nahida skill. Hmm. We just gotta make sure that all of the gear is correct since Favonius bow and the Veridescent Hunt is taken away. We have not seen Linus here yet. He is not going to give us magic tips. <laughs> not yet, though. There is a chance that Dado might be um, picking him in one of the matches. He could. I think if he managed to secure Bennett Shangling together, we might be able to see uh, Linny appear. I don't think he needs Shangling. I do think he needs Bennett, though. Mm. Yeah, but with Bennett banned, it, Linny was not a choice. No. Most of the competitors have been using Moon's Moon on Yelon, which is actually a very good weapon. It's really fun because it's an attack main stat, and you don't have to level it at all. <laughs> oh, level really? One on yeah. Is it that gives, level uh, one? Yeah, it's an attack weapon. Yelon doesn't use attack. Damn. But isn't that almost similar to uh, Thrilling Tales? You could leave that weapon at C zero. I mean, that's the. Level one? Leveling Thrilling Tales gives you HP, which is at oh. least useful because you won't die uh, if you get hit. But Galen literally doesn't use the offensive stats from from leveling for Moon's Moon. She's a mm -hmm. pure HP character. Moon's Moon base attack yeah. doesn't matter, and the attack percent also doesn't matter. Okay. Five you. seconds left. <laughs> Okay, time. time is up. Please finish uh, finish gearing um, Clayton and change your language to English, whereas Battle, please show me your gear first. Okay, Wolf Fang, I'll hide them, C0, Dory, Favonius, Favonius, Wandering Evening Star, C2. 
second team. Waiting Twilight, Staff of Homa. Wait a minute, what's that? Three, All of four, five, six. Wait, that'll stop. Your uh you can't use five star weapons. Wait, can you? Wait, three, four, five, six. Oh, just kidding, just kidding. It was Homa <laughs> Zhao, right? You were going too fast! Okay, yeah. Clayton. Okay. Let's look over Clayton's side, Favonia Sword. Homa, Janling. I was cut in with the seven points. Okay, C2, C3, Wolf Fang. Interesting that all the competitors chose Wolf Fang uh, for their Battle Pass weapon. It's been like a very top pick, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's all their characters, right? Okay. All right, Clayton, no five star weapon. Um, since player A, Clayton, you will go clear the Abyss first. Battle will be choosing the card for you. <laughs> I'm penalizing Battle on Reflex. My bad, my bad. That was my bad. No, here comes the vape yell on. We'll see if it comes mm -hmm. off, if it pops off. Maybe this is the one. <laughs> I mean, the yell on is at C2. We'll see. Ah, the loading. Classic. The longest wait. Loading. Nope. Oh no, did they get disconnected? They got oh, disconnected. Okay. They're nope. in. Let, they're retrying maybe to um for rendering, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Let's hope they don't lag. Okay, then that'll could choose the card. And it'll be the middle card. I mean, they are playing at like 120 ping. And let's see how it goes. I do remember Clayton does have a very strong kitchen. Always fun to watch. Yeah, look at them go! Go, 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 go! Meow! <laughs> well, that's Kirara as well. <laughs> Two cat girls. Official the Lord bird. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Two cat girls like and a bird know. killing in a verse. Okay, big verse again. Such slot, clean, solid very rotation. Clean. Energy really high for them as well. Yep, very clean. And Love to say it, 90th hour. Yeah, 56 <laughs> seconds. Okay, let's go. How much can uh, this wait for? Hmm. Not a lot. Unfortunate. I mean, Ooh, even so, like that yeah, one good. burst rotation was about to kill the terror shroom. They got really lucky with the the burning there. Oh wow! Love to, love to see it. Oh no, but this is gonna stall them a few extra seconds. Oh no, did their skin crash? Uh oh. Oh, pause. Uh. 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 And uh, uh oh. Well, they uh -oh. cleared. Uh oh. They do have to clear, but I think there's. I think they crash. I think they crash. Like yeah. Out. Uh oh. I don't think they crash. I think they're uh, they're netting. Wait, they're typing in chat right now. Wait. Uh. One moment. This is all streamed via Discord, so please be patient. Clayton. 
Clayton, are you okay? Let's, uh, let's give it a uh -oh. second. <laughs> the family says they're eating out. Battle, did you pay their family? <laughs> Clayton, your stream uh, lagged out. We did not... We cannot see the clear time. Oh, okay, you exited the abyss. Did you finish chamber one? They definitely did. Yeah, but we didn't see the final score. Oh, thank you, Odin, for your translation. Um... Okay, so my internet went down before. I can reset it now without any problems. Uh, okay, wait, let's see. Uh, okay, so be they are... They did not finish Chamber 1. So they will have to go through again. That will not count as a reset for them. It will be um, unfortunate. Circumstance and middle one. Yes, let's uh, let's I mean, oh my God, that was a really clean run that though. Clean run. That's a shame to lose. Yeah. They'll do it again. They have to. Easy. Mm -hmm. mm, we will not count that as a piece. Yeah, that was just very unfortunate timing. Yeah. It was so close. They're they're just translating in chat. Thank you all for waiting. Let's take a peek. Take two. <sighs> Come on, Clayton. <laughs> Nine fifty five clear time, dude. Just trust me. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. We'll pull it off. simple <laughs> all right let's hope that this time even with the unfortunate uh the uh dc they will be able to go get another clean solid rotation clear okay and so far that'll be okay there is the kirara Where's the Kirara? There, there she is. is. Okay, another catching burst coming in. Switch right in the middle. Ooh, fall damage. Fall damage. But only caught one. Oh, we're taking fall, both taking fall damage now. Mm -hmm. Although they weren't able to clear at the same time, it is still going to be around like a minute clear for the first half. Not Ooh. bad. Really not bad. Yep. <laughs> that first clear was so good. Now it's on the second one. Okay, same setup. Yellow charge, then Gooba. They're doing the right setups. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see it. Here come the vapes. I think it's around like 40, 30 to 40 vapes. I mean, like all you, one rotation of all of the that's first. Like, that's like, oh man, that's like basically same. About the same clear time from the original. No, it's. I think it's much faster. Ugh, a bit faster. Wait, huh? Retry? Eight. He's using a. He wanted, Twenty-two. He wants the energy. Oh no, he didn't get the no, reset. No, it's the second. Oh. They wanted to reset on the first chamber, but it already happened to the second one. It will. It will not count. It will have to. Unless wait, no, it's the first chamber. Do they really want to? Because they could still remake their team and go back. It's only applicable for Chamber 1. Clayton, do you really want to reset your first chamber? It's because he has no energy on the L and he's concerned. Yes, he yes. 
He's yeah. going for a wizard. Right? Okay, now this reset will count. Exit Abyss, remake your team. Okay. He's going for it. Let's see if it pays off. I don't think it was the wrong play. His seems to be along would be really fast to get ER. <laughs> He's going for the one rotation. All right, we'll ruin it back. Middle card, increase defense. So this is the third time we're watching this, but I'm sure if everything goes well, I mean, it's pretty a replica yeah, it's pretty of his previous runs. He needs to remember to use Kiara's skill every 15 seconds. Okay, there it is. Ooh, one of them got away from Kazuas. So he's very easy to bring them close together. Another big AoE. And 58 seconds, first half. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is a C3 Kachin. Using Wolf Fang. Right, right? Yeah, it is R5 Wolf Fang. <laughs> okay. And now against the Terrorist Room. One more time. No reset available. No matter what happens, you have to fight it through. Oh, Still he is gonna he, he is gonna commit the burst. Okay. Still committing the burst. That's what he reset for. Eight interesting. twenty-seven. Interesting. I okay. think that's still the same clear time. Yeah. Okay. G uh to Dado's side. Okay. Clayton, choose the card for Dado. Okay, but you know what? With his three re re three tries that we've seen, he's very consistent with damage, the crit, the rotation, because yeah. it's clearing all within the same time. I, not having energy on that yell on the start of PMA is good. Yeah, though. he reset because he wanted to get the ER or save the ER, but wasn't able to get it at the end. Or still had to use a burst at the end. That's unfortunate. But let's see how that all is gonna do. He was waiting for his turn. C0, I'll hide them with the Wolf Bank as well. The Korean voice line. Ooh, although it will take them a little bit over a minute to clear them both. Now it's the Zhao team. Dash, dash, and then plunge. Around 47 to 50k per plunges. One rotation, barely. Oh, and it's gonna commit to using another shout plunge. Or shout yeah, gonna, first. He has no way to do, other way to do damage, he has to. 820. 820. Very similar clear times. Very similar issues by just not having energy. <laughs> seven second difference, though, from just the first chamber already. Close is leading by seven seconds. Seven seconds is not a lot. It's not a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'd be more worried if we saw something like 30 seconds. Mm hmm. I could always go down to the last chamber. They are going to be choosing, let's see. Battle, choose the card for Clayton. The middle one. Cool. First, first, yeah, what a show. I think my money's on show. <laughs> I don't know how much you are they're running on the yellow. Mm -hmm. It can't be that much though. Pyro, there it is. Ooh. Running activate. Thank you, Ching goes in. And the fish will. Ooh. Need to be careful here because they do have fire on. Yep. Okay. Very cool. I think they're okay. <laughs> oh, a little bit stalled. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's alright. Not a problem. Mm-hmm. They're still okay. Come to Kirara. Well, Kirara shield also count if the serpent knights hit it. Yes, it does. Oof. That's why they didn't use the skill. Okay, but they are going to be clearing this soon. Two remaining. There it is. Pitching burst to finish it off. One minute and four seconds for the first half. Oof. Today's been a fight over Farazon all day. You know what? Yeah, I think Farazon has been making a very common appearance in all the matches. That is a little unfortunate. Maybe look at the Fab Fox here. Can you be ready? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. They should be able to do another rotation. You don't really want to do another rotation against the PMA. Yeah. They stall. Yeah. It, it's phasing, it's fine. Oh! Dorito? Very nice. Chasing it! <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. Girl. I got a really good oh. RNG with this. Oh, yeah. Okay, Sucrose is up too. And clear time is 7.48. 748 for Clayton's second half. Now that'll screen. Okay, and Clayton, choose the card for Daddle. Okay. Last one. I keep forgetting Dory is on the side too. <laughs> yeah, of course he's playing Dory. What else would he do? He's got another option. It's got... <laughs> yeah, the cookie band, and he really wanted to choose that cookie. Yep. Let's get those auto 600 damage. <laughs> <laughs> a little short on damage for that. It's not a big deal though. They still have one reset available if oh, necessary. They're gonna save the Beto burst. Okay, they think they're gonna need the whole Beto burst for uh, the husks. Okay, okay. Okay, now they will use it. And switching to our high not get hidden during these high frames. Yep. Yep, they're good. There's the. Yep. All right. Very Ooh, clean. Just one remaining. Not very clean. About eight, eight to ten seconds slower. But still works. Okay. All right. Baru's on. And then Zhao. Oh, 
very good lunges right now. 53k per lunge. Third. I gotta save Ooh. up first though. Okay, maybe a little bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stay near off there might have been a misplay. Okay, crap one. Huh? And that. They really are not playing Zingcho. <laughs> the Zingcho is <laughs> definitely just a counter pick. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's necessary, especially seeing how the draft is playing out. But, ah! Uh, I don't think it helped that much. Not surprised for the reset. Yeah. That, uh, no more reset? Who's leading on time? Is it Dotto or? Um, it, right now it's uh Clayton leading by seven seconds, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Clayton is leading, so depending on how Dotto will play in this chamber, it will really depend. Uh, Clayton's second half clear was seven forty eight. Hmm. Yeah, I think this looks. As long as Clayton plays the last chamber correctly, he shouldn't have a problem. Well, the thing is, Adato has the advantage of Zhang Li on the last chamber, whereas does. Clayton does not have any Geo. But he's going to be coming in with like a 30 second difference, at least. Mm -hmm. Which is really not what you want to see. Both of them have used their reset though, so... And this is only the first game. The next game, they will be switching sides for the pick and ban, drafting a whole new team. Please. He's good. They got Dory. Okay, starting off around the same shell dash dash, trying to get ER for his first. Just hitting with the autos to prop it. Savonius. There it is. I don't think it will be able to one cycle. Yeah, that... <sighs> it's not it's great damage. Not enough damage. No, it's just short. No, it is not. Or, oh, Literally. this time he they got it. Yeah, he got it. And the got the third chip. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright, this time really stays up on quite a lot of time. This time he is using the Jing Chow. <laughs> Big difference. Oh, yeah, and it's gonna be 750. 750. Oh man. Five seconds difference now. Mm. Really down to the dark chamber. Uh. We'll see how this goes. Okay. It's close. It's very close. It's <laughs> it anyone's is. game. Clay, uh, Dado, choose the card. Okay, middle one. Wait, are you guys able to see the screen? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, Clayton, don't, do not start yet. Uh, do not start yet. We need to see your screen real fast. Um, production, can you re, re-enter Clayton's side? I'm able to watch him, but it's not showing on, uh... Sorry, one moment, we're not able to watch your view. Okay, and production, please, um, just, like, restart. You can watch now. Okay. Okay, yes, thank you, we could watch now. Thank you, Clayton. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, it's paused again. No! Oh, okay. We're good, we're good. Okay, starting off third chamber now. Once again, going in with no heals. 
They have a shield. It's not that big. Of a yeah. Thing. I think Kiara's shield is uh pretty pretty just big it's too, right? It just it's <laughs> Uh, not against Coparia. Oof. It's okay, if they keep on spamming their first, then it's just like consistent iframes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very clean player. Yeah, that's gonna be around 50 seconds. Yup. Exactly 50. I mean, time on this side. They have yes, they do have plungers. Okay, they yep. do. Have yeah, Shanling and Toma. They can get rid of that turret in the toilet. But this will cost them a little bit longer just to break through the shield. Oh! Ooh. You can't reset. Just go. Don't punch on the ally. Don't punch on the Maybe they're getting the setup right now. Need extra yeah, ER right for. Now. Gross, yep. One plunge. Yeah, plunge on Shanling, yep. Swirl. There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, got a dodge from the ground. <laughs> 2.9k HP remaining. Not bad, on him. not bad. Okay. They gotta do it again, though. Yep. But this is, should be the last one. Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna matter. We'll see. I think yeah, it's sword... the The oh, polearm punches are so much slower than. Yeah, because uh, it's a uh, claymore, then sword, then polearm for the plunge. Yep. <gasps> oh He's my god! Gonna... Right. He's got Shaling Shaling still. Ha... Yeah, Shaling still got it. We'll have to continue fighting it through. I think it's not that bad. Yep, GG. 736. 736. 736. I thought I saw it take at 35. That's okay, we'll have my mod. We'll check. Yeah. Yeah. Jialing's the real carry. Ah! Alright, that'll. We'll have the time to beat as well. Uh, Clayton, Clayton, choose the car for that'll. Yeah, honestly, Jean Lee can carry this for the second half. 741. Yes, that'll. You have no more reset. And it is going to be the last card. Restore HP. That's going to. That's just benefiting out. Hide them. <laughs> <laughs> it, they've got Dory. It's fine. They didn't. Really <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, clean dodge. Ah, uh, this is yep, semis. The first, the second semis, and it'll be the best of three. So this is their first match. Um, they will have another match to go through. But if, um, yeah, second match to go through, and then we'll see if the winner of this, if they win another, the second match, then they will be fighting in the grand finals. Here's the Zhongli diff. <laughs> Always the Zhongli. He is the much Archon. Uh... Oh, I feel bad for Shao. He's fine. Uh, yeah, no, they're good on time. Yeah, they have like another minute to try and clear this. We got the Zhao oh. burst here. What's the time to beat? Um, protection. I think it's 7.41. So now you clear oh. at 7.42. Yep, <laughs> they're, they're yeah, fucked. <laughs> He's gonna win just because of John Wei. Unless the Mimitric decides to troll at the last second <laughs> again with another. But you know, the Zhongli is here. Meteor. 
Dial dash dash. Yeah. That's clear. First match is gonna be going to Daddles and They won just because of Zhongle. Mm -hmm. See how this goes. Okay. <coughs> but we there is still another match to go through. Now that um they have played throughout their first match, Clayton will be player B and Daddle will be player A. Let's restart the bracket. Oops. All right. Are you guys ready for your second uh, bracket? Second draft? Daddle, you'll be player A. You'll start it out first. So please choose the first ban. Oh, wait. Wait. Okay. Yeah, let me know when you guys are ready. Okay, go. Okay. All right, uh, that'll <laughs> let's start it off. Your player A, choose your first band. Wait, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're both like, give me a second. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's you go okay? back. <laughs> they're they're <laughs> they're nervous <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh. They're nervous. Let's let's give them a few seconds to breathe. Or can't hop in straight uh, immediately for another match. Ooh, deep breath. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you two ready? Okay. This is gonna just if Dotto wins this, he's going to the finals. Yes, that's correct. Yep. If he wins one more match, he'll be going to the finals, and the finals will be another best two out of three. Whereas Clayton, he could be hanging on and be maybe do a reverse sweep. Ooh. But so far, we have seen a lot of um yeah, Farah's on. Besides the usual four stars, the national four stars taken, Farah's on has been a very popular pick. Okay. All right. We're going to start now. Daddle, start the first ban, which is Farina and Clayton. Okay. <laughs> they're they're going in right now. Daddle's going to be banning... Um, what was it? <laughs> Farina? Yeah. Then Nuvolet is going to be banned as well. Okay, that oh, another ban. Which is gonna be Raiden Shogun again. And Clayton's second ban is gonna be Fischl. Fischl. <laughs> and that'll choose one character. Oh, um, for Clay, uh, we do have different players joining in the tournament. It's not just Brazilian only. Um, the Zen and Tactical Nuke, both of them were playing from yesterday's match, but they were unable to uh, beat their opponent. The top 16 uh, had a few of uh, players. Okay, first one is going to be Shincho. Clayton, choose two. If you do exclamation mark bracket, it shows all of the uh, all the matches so far and their clear time. And Clayton's gonna be picking Nahida C two and Farzan. Farzan early. How did you do a double take? Maybe it's a counter pick. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. No problem. Is. And that'll choose two. Oh yeah, there were also a few USA players, but they also were not able to qualify.
Hmm. They're thinking. Okay, so Kazuha is open, or they could try to grab some of the electros. To, uh, oh, uh, they're going to be taking Banette Yalansi too, for Dado's end. Very smart. And Clayton, choose two characters. A lot of the competitors are very caught up with picking Shangling, and I don't think Shangling has won once tonight. Really? Seems like a bad choice. Cookie and Beto. I think, mo but most of them that pick Shangli end up being the winner, right? And that I'll choose uh, one. Yeah. There was one exception to Shangli. Yeah, the there was one picked, exception, uh, but yeah, the that was a choice. As you said, <laughs> it is an interest. It was a bold choice. It mm -hmm. Didn't quite pay off, but I appreciate the uh, attempt. Mm -hmm. And Dado's going to be picking C1 Linny. Wait, that is Ooh. a C1 Linny, right, Dado? And uh, Clayton, please uh, choose one character, one weapon to ban. Well, for all those who are curious about uh, him, Dado will be have uh, bringing him for show. Magic. The return of Linny. <laughs> <laughs> do you think he's going to play top or bottom side with Linny? He could do both. I've seen him play both before. Um, like He had like a Venti set up top half with Linny, Bennett, Shan Ling. I don't know if Clayton might end up banning Shan Ling though at this point. Or second half, uh, he could end up taking a Zhang Li again. Yeah. I would definitely be lying Zhang Li at this point if he's got Linny on it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you wanted to... For the other side, oh, he's Kazuha gonna be still available. Kaz, he does not want to use Kazuha though. Dado has a he is will be over his cost, but he Clayton will be banning Shanling and the uh, Moon Moon Bow. That is unfortunate that he has uh, can't grab Shing Ch or uh, Kazuha. Dado, here. one character, one weapon ban. Yeah, they <laughs> that's really targeted for sure. Once they're familiar with each other's roster. Yeah. Yeah, no Kazuha pick yet, just because both of them has C2 Kazuha. So it will be around three points out of their seven point system. It's kind of risky to, you know, is it worth using that many points for the characters or saving it for another uh, character? Um, that O oh, is going to be banning Zhao. And the signature, click signature, wait, what? Oh, Lost Prayer. Lost Prayer of Sacred Winds. Oh, that's wait, Alex. That's wrong. My bad. I can't. I always get these two confused. This one. Okay, thank you. And Clayton, choose one character. Oh, this time Clayton will be taking Zhang Li. C0. Yep. Okay. And that'll choose two. That'll play Flower Sun, Venti, Linny, and uh, Shanling or Bennett or Drew. Um, he, it was double Pyro, double uh, Nemo last time. Uh, that'll play Linny. So it was Venti, Flower Sun, Bennett, Shanling. Wait. Am I Wait, hold on. No. I think he's going to find have to find some way to play Yell and Shane Choke top side and Linny Bennett bottom. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. The easiest way to do this? Sucrose? How many costs do they have left? Um, Dado has three, four, five, uh, two points left on his end. And then Clayton has four points at the moment. So three, three and three. Right. Wait, three and two. Sorry. I, I think Clayton's going to grab Kazuha. And I think Dado might. He might grab Hutao? I'm not sure. Oh, true. He does have a, he has a C1 Hutao though. Yeah. Sucrose and Hazel. 
No four, no five star weapon on Lenny might no. stuff things too much though. He Probably has a battle pass it. weapon, I think. Wait, and shoes too. Any Fenty Flowers on plus one. I'll hide C Zero, I'll hide them and Yanfei. Mm. Yanfei, whoa! Did not see that coming. <laughs> and that'll your last two characters. Okay, yeah, so far C2 Yalon, C1 Linny. He could go for. Oh, wait, last two characters is gonna be Charlotte and Sh Xin Yang. Xin Yan. Just for Linny. He's doing it for and... the shield break. Clayton, your last character, please. Yeah, so Smart. I should... I know for sure that Clay uh, Dado has a Xin Yan choice. Wanderer. C no, zero. The shooting is a smart choice. All right, here is the matchup. Second matchup for Dado and Clayton. Currently, Dado is leading by one match, so all he needs is to win one more match, or Clayton could bring it to even. Yep. Okay. Clayton, could you share screen again? Auto. Yeah, Yanfei pick was interesting. So we're gonna have to we're gonna be seeing Wanderer, Farazan, Zhongli, Yanfei. Okay, interesting on uh, Clayton's side and uh, other interesting teams that we're gonna see from <laughs> Otto, uh, Shinyin, Heijo, Pena for Linny, which is definitely gonna work second side. I'm. A little more worried yeah, about his I... upside pick of Charlotte. Uh, with Jing Cho, Yela, and Sukos. Yeah, let's see. Lenny definitely second side for first half. Mm. So you think it, they're gonna bring Bennett with second half on Lenny? Yeah, absolutely. There's no way he doesn't. Um, he could do Yale and Jingcho bottom side and run, try to run Liddy top side and count on uh, fizz damage from Shinian's burst to clear the pirate specter. But that might be a little scuffed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder why he chose Charlotte of all characters. I guess he just wanted the freeze. Uh, it can be useful for keeping enemies together with Sucrose. If he does, if he does want to play yellow on top side. Hmm. Oh, but there is no dendro for their end as well. Cookie was sniped on Clayton and Flower Song, so they're gonna be bringing Wanderer on the second half with Jean Lee this time and Yanfei. Yeah, CTDS Yanfei. And he, they're gonna try to get the Pyro Absorb for Wanderer's thirty attack percent. Oh, this is almost the same team as before, too. With Clayton, with this time, C2, Nahida, I'll hide them, Cookie, and Beto. Yeah. So, almost the same, except the healer will switch from Dory to Cookie. Favonius on Sucros. Okay, maybe they're gonna play Favonius, Yellow, and Jingcho. Oh, yeah, Yellow and Jingcho topside. Mm. They, get, they get TTS on Hancho for a second. Yep, that's right. So will it be Freeze? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna do a double Hydro Freeze. They're just gonna have to rely on uh, Yellow and Jingcho damage for the entirety of the Yeah. Side. I mean, I think the first two chamber will be okay, but dependent on the third chamber, though. No, the third chamber is the easy one. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, the first two chambers are where they're really going to struggle because they have to keep the enemies grouped. I guess the Co doesn't Coppelia has a Nemo and Cryo resistance? Yeah, they're not doing Animo or Cryo damage. Oh my god, my brain. <laughs> my brain is not braining right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing Hydro damage. Oh my god! I'm just thinking freeze! 
No, there is no Ayaka. There is no Ganyo. Okay, okay. So Cryo... it's all for your launch intro, yeah. Cryo is on ice. <laughs> all right, let's see. They still have three and a half minutes remaining for their gear. It's funny that he's gearing his Asia to do some damage. <laughs> I mean, every bit. every a damage matters matter. at this point. That yep. just needs one more uh, clear to win. Whereas Clayton needs to hang in there for um for this match to bring it in to I, the third match. I like the look of Dotto's draft. I'm not gonna lie. I really like the look of Dotto's draft right now. I always want to root for the underdog. I'm on close Clayton's side. <laughs> but we'll see. I mean, so far from what we watch, all of them are very clean, solid with the rotations going. And not only going down to the draft, it's like a very artifact weapon carry too. They're building ER on the Shinyan. Interesting. It's really this interesting. Time, yeah, this time I think they're taking the full time or the full seven minutes to try and adjust their gear. Oh, there's the def. Okay, they're building. <laughs> yeah, they're building shield Shinyan. <laughs> it is. Here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Skyward Harp Lenny, they didn't have another 5-star weapon? Oh. No, I don't think so. Wait, can they even use the Skyward Harp? Uh, Dado has C2 Yalon, C1 Lenny. Oh, open. yeah. So they could use Skyward Harp is really not a great pick, though. That might be the only one they have. Okay, so they could use two 5-star weapon, whereas Clayton has C2 Nahida, Johnny, I'll hide them, Wander, only one 5-star weapon. Yep, there's the Charlotte top side. I do like the look of this draft. We'll see though. <laughs> Has there been any, I mean, matches so far you think that's like, wow, outstanding play or character you like to see? It's a lot of the same characters. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, like a lot of four stars are. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people playing DPS Yellow, and it's a lot of Fado mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit of hate though. Yeah, you could really tell what the meta is based on the bands and picks for sure. And a lot of out of place far as <laughs> <laughs> You know, she's making it work. She's just a little bit lost in the draft, but they're they're making it work. Just find her way home. Mm-hmm. I mean what's in lore wise, she's asleep for like what, eight hundred years or something? Hundred years? Hundred. Yeah. Yeah, look at this group thing. Yeah, that was okay. Yeah, that's the word. But Olinny is the first time uh, he gets chosen today. It'll be fun to watch as well. As long as he doesn't choke, uh, Olinny <laughs> should be cool. I think he's okay. Yeah, that'll. He's it is, smart. It's easy to get one shot with Olinny. You need to be careful. As long as they don't t take any risky resets. All right, let us. Time is up. Please exit the abyss and review your characters. And Clayton, when you have time, change the language back to English, please. No, Kasua was not banned, but because both Kas both of their Kasua are at C2, it's going to be really risky with the point cost. Okay, Dado, let's look over your characters. Bavonius, Aqua, you uh, I gotta double check your uh, cons too. Thank you. Okay, second half. Banet, Satwa Blade, Bavonius, Thrilling Tales, and Linny is Skyward. Okay, and Clayton, let me look over yours now. Wolfang, I'll hide them. C0. <laughs> Vavonius. Wander, Nahida. Uh, 
Housing dream. Here, yeah. And you're jean C0, correct? Okay, thank you. There he is. Alright, and this time, since Dado is player A, Clayton, you will choose the card for him. Your production needs to cut to uh, Dado's view. Mm. All right. Yeah, let's change the screen to their end. Production? Thank you. Wait, Dado has extra 5-star weapon? No, isn't he allowed to use two? He only has two 5-star weapons. Three. He's only yeah. allowed to use one. Was yeah, Cat yeah, Cat Slippy. He's allowed to use two 5-star weapons. That's why he has Aqua Yelan and Skyward Harp on um, Linny. Yeah, we're, we're okay. <laughs> we're making sure <laughs> he doesn't sneak something in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, starting it off. Ooh, nice. Clearing nope, out the pyro like already. Or pyro mage. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna chip off one of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. You should run 30 seconds to clear out the first wave. Something Dotto might not be aware of is Gelon's E skill triggers her burst. The oh. last enemy she hits with her e-skill is the one that gets hit by the first wave. Oh. So he technically wasted one of the waves there. You know what? I don't know if he is like a huge Yelan main too. He did get her SC too. I mean, so far, it's been working out. Although, maybe slower than before, because they weren't able to get so, both of them down at the same time. It's gonna be over a minute. Okay. That's, yeah. That's... this looks fine. This looks... <laughs> I think he's got plenty of time. I think the second side is gonna save enough for it to mm. be a non show. But we'll see. Hopefully. Yeah, not worth the reset yet. Let's see this Linny. Why not? <laughs> Scoured Harp, a little scuffed, but that's not bad. Hey, the Tour damage is there still. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bennett up. Hazel. Charge again. He does know the charge cancel. Ooh, don't like the way the first chamber is, most likely. So they are going to be doing a reset. Oh, no, it went to chamber two. Yeah, it went oh, to wait, chamber two. Oh, wait, Dado, it went to chamber two. If you want to reset, you have to exit the abyss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want the reset, yeah. It only That only works for chamber one, though. Dado, no more reset. Ooh. Okay, just to be sure. Yep. Ooh, Chai did ask a good question. If, since the top half for Dados and, you know, uh, Yelan, Shincho, Sucrose, and Charlotte, that's more of a single target team in the AOE room against the Serpent Knights? That's not a real problem. Mm. Uh, as long as the enemies are grouped with Sucrose and Charlotte, they'll be fine. <laughs> oh. The reason Charlotte's been picked. Uh, oh, just for the grouping? Yeah. Mm. And they also have super OC, yeah, for sure. Oh my god, there's so much going on right now. 
Uh, there are very few things in this game that are actually single target. Oh, like who? You like Mia? Oh, it's just like and characters in general, but not teams. Or... Yeah, well, no team is placing a target. That's just not true. Um, even technically, Yoimiya's arrows have 0.1 meter of AoE. Uh, for reference, a Hyper Volume is 1 meter. Uh-huh. Uh, a Hootow Charge Attack is 2 meters. Hootow Charge two. Oh. And Yoimiya has 0.1? Yoimiya has 0.1. Meaning the enemies effectively need to be literally on top of each other. In oh the same head yeah, that's gonna be and it rough. It can technically happen. It, it's not likely, but it can technically happen. Although, ooh, this time for the reset on Dado, I'm not sure about it. It's gonna be either still around the same clear time, first half. And I think that's also why Yormia has not picked as much. With so many pyro characters now, it's usually Hu Tao uh, priority. Over even, yeah, your, um, and Lenny too. With Damage and team building flexibility. Mm hmm. Um, a character like Utao giving themselves the thousand attack just from activating their skill <laughs> is really nice and it really opens up a lot of team flexibility. Uh, that being said, we haven't seen any of them tonight use it. They've all been better comps. In that case, they're just picking up damage. Yeah. I mean, I don't think Hu Tao is bad for this Abyss. It just really depends if they are able to draft a really good team for him. You, you just need oh. to draft well. Oh, what was the time for Dado? I'm sure. <laughs> it's okay, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, production got this. Our mods. Yeah, Lin Dado's Lenny got through the ban. Yep. C one Sky Harp. And Clayton's end. 806. Oh, let's see. Okay, and that'll choose the card for Clayton, please. 806 is not 805, is what uh, mods put down. Yeah, not having first grade magic is a little unfortunate for the lady. I don't think they roll for it if that's the case. Yeah, I might pull it on the rerun though. Um, it, it, assuming one is coming very soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we're getting a nibble every run, the other um, Fontaine character should get a rerun soon. Yep. Hey, Nibble is the first Fontaine character to rerun. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I think, I think usually it's because they uh, rerun the Archon first, the region Archons, or the strong characters. All right, now let's see Clayton's first side. Using almost the same team as <laughs> Dado's previous match. Yeah. Ooh, 20 seconds for the first clean. wave. Yeah, that's speed. Love to see it. Oh no! Oh, okay. That's fine, that's fine. He got. He snuck the Battle Burst cast in. Good, love to see it. Very cool. So, so, and getting them grouped together with an I'll hide them swords. Yep. Ooh, that went. <laughs> That's fine. They're okay. Oh, using a burst though, right there. Yeah, that's fine. They can use the E skill. This is a C to Nahira. All right, Wanderer, impressed me. Yeah. <laughs> 60k charges? Better than the show! <laughs> My short kings. It is better than the show. Okay, that should be enough oh, to clear they got, it. Oh, they got a super lucky Winsett roll there. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Wow, that was lucky. 819. Ooh. 819. That's a whole 14 second difference so far. Switching it over to Dado side. Clayton, choose the car for Dado. Wissif is way too OP. Wissif is a very good weapon. Mm hmm. If you get the right roll. Um, yeah. 
One third R chance to do nothing. RNG with RNG. Oh, wait. Oh, that <laughs> Can you share screen again? Thank you. You accidentally exited. Uh, you must click. It's okay. Hop into the second chamber so we can see the cards. Let's see those cards. Yep, there's the grouping. Okay, first up. You can kind of see what I mean here. Uh, they're not. The yell on Jingzhou isn't really having problems with this part. Because uh, they're all like close together. Yep. Ooh, that's really fast too against the Whopper Flowers. The, the, the single target AoE thing, it's kind of real. Oh, oh, one kind of got away from them. That's okay, you can line them back up. Yeah. Okay, Charlotte. That is a little unfortunate, because it's also the Hydra resistant one. Hmm. I mean, they're all like in a line for them too. <laughs> I don't think they even had a chance to attack at this point. No, they haven't. They've been frozen. And, and all that two enemies. One minute and sixteen seconds, though. Yep. Okay, let's take a look. Lenny gameplay. 139k. Ooh. Ooh oh, one. missed out on the charge. <laughs> oh. No more reset, too. <laughs> oh, 74k Hazel, though. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Didn't matter. There's the split. Cool. Yeah, I remember Dado has a, like a really good DPS Hazel as well. Got the crab, unfortunately. No crit. Where's the crab wow. kill? Here's the Hazel, maybe? At the end? Probably need to get ER for next stage too. Oh! Use Benny! He doesn't need it, he's got some red viral particles. Uh, 7.30... Seven huh? Yeah. I was just looking at the time. Yeah, 7.37. Yep. Yeah, it disappeared in like one or two hit. Yeah, he does need to be careful with Linus next chamber. <laughs> and the card? That'll choose the card for Clayton. There's so much going on right here. We've seen a lot of Dendro or Dendro Electro teams on the first side. Fairly constantly. I think yeah. every match. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they end up clearing. About as fast as a really scuffed Nivellet did. Uh, mm -hmm. So I don't think the Nivellet banner is actually that important, to be honest. At least from what I'm seeing right now. I think it's really dependent on who gets Nahida first, too. Because C2 Nahida, uh, with a lot of the competitors, they are shredding through the first half. And, like ooh, that. Clayton! <laughs> solid 47 second clear.
Was Yanfei holding TTDS? Yes, Yanfei was holding TTDS. Yeah. Because I guess that's why um, it was chosen for this team to help buff their Skara as well. Yeah, it's a good choice. Uh, the, all, the reason these Yenfei is Wonder has the Pyro Absorption ability, uh, which hmm. changes his damage because he gets 30 percent attack from it. It's really important to have. Okay, gonna be going through... Like unfortunately, it's Mafu. not phase him on good time. Oh. Is this gonna be a reset? Let's see what the RNG for the mob is first. Maybe that's what he's waiting for. It's gonna be... Jellyfish. I mean, their first half was really good. What else can they do for the second half if they... even if they reset? I guess they can. Reset for what's up. Reset! <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they're actually... I think they're still ahead! Yeah, 754. Yeah. Wait, that's a lot of time diff already between the two. Um, okay, going back to that'll. Yeah, I and guess then... I was wrong. I think Clayton's got it. He's got John Lee too. Clayton, choose the card. Thank you. Yeah, I got John Lee for the dirt chamber and the second chain, uh, second. Chamber got a really big diff. Almost 20 seconds. Yeah, that's massive. And I don't think Dotto is going to make up the top side. It really is dependent on draft. Maybe if he had the first great magic, but he doesn't. So it, it looks like it's actually not his game. I think he got unlucky um, with the weapon banner. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he didn't roll for or wasn't able to have great magic. Weapon banner moment. Hit 355. I mean, hit three guarantees. Yeah. I always have really bad luck with the weapon banner, too, so I don't risk yeah. it unless I really like the character. I thought you pulled C6 R5. No, 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 not R5. Oh, heck no. I only pulled C6 oh. for certain for husbandos and then one copy of the weapon. Like half of the characters are Husbandos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tall Husbandos, Jal is the only exception. You don't like Linny? Linny's short. I mean, that's what he's like. You don't like Linny? Linny is more of like a precious a child to me, but I'm like, a, I have a type. I have a very specific type. She doesn't like Linny. Get her chat. I like watching him play. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> well, I, I can't talk bad about Lenny right now since he uh, that was showing him off but I just have this for specific taste in men just like how I'm sure you have this for very specific taste in women Apparently, you don't like Kazuo either? I like Kazuo, I have C2 R1 Kazuo but I can't see things everyone that I like <laughs> I can barely fund the tournament okay and you know <laughs> what it's okay so if I spend less in gacha games that means that I could also host more of the tournaments for you guys for um, these matches so far, right? <laughs> so the less I spend for me is more I spend for chat. Wow. <laughs> you like Tartalia? He 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 got me hooked in. Um, I love them, Feral. <laughs> that was <laughs> gonna be <laughs> clearing it. <laughs> Let me it tell at... you. Huh? Tartalia stands. Red flag. Sorry. <gasps> you know, you know, red is my favorite color. So <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, that'll clear that last chamber at 817. Clayton will have to go through his, uh, the dark chamber as well. We will have a time to beat pop up for stream, by the way, uh, for production, since Clayton is also asking. Okay, choose the card, please. And the time to beat is 746. Yeah, that's... Just don't choke. Okay. 
during this brief intermission, by the way, I want to give a shout out for all of you guys here that are watching. Please give a round of applause and thank you for our production team. They are doing this out of the goodness of their heart uh, for me for a game that they don't even play. They're the one that are that is organizing all the overlays, the time to be calculating the time or recording the time as well for all the resets. So please thank you guys for uh, hopping in, joining us and give some love to our production, to our mod. So it relieves a lot of pressure from uh, the casters for hosting this. So they will, they are usually very, you know, on top of the time, on top of changing the overlays and also giving you a little sneak peek of the time to beat. Jeez, he has until 7.47. It's a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that is going to be the middle card selected. The only thing... Wait, let's see. Clayton is the one with the Zhongli, right? Yep. Yeah, this might be a 1-1. One, one. Going to game three. Ooh, this is so fast. I'll hide them for side. Oh, no! <gasps> that was a very almost accident on Cookie. He's fine. He's also the reset, too. She's fine. She's <laughs> Not sure if, like, um, they have C6 cookie as well, but they are still doing good. Uh, there's the shield. There's the shield! <laughs> yep, Jean Lee death, right? Oh, 69 case. Oh, they... They're getting insanely lucky with the Witsa. The Witsa? Man. I can't believe it. <laughs> Everything is working in Clayton's favor right now. It really is. Maybe this is the comeback he needs to compete against the previous champion, Zhang Ling first. Let's get some ER. There comes the shield. Hold E. Break. And TTS. And he rolled it again! <laughs> what is this insane luck? That is Jeez. ending it on Skara's uh, first at 821. <laughs> and he is uh, going to be taking one win for himself on Clayton's end. Right now, we are 1-1 one one, Dado versus Clayton. So the next matchup is going to be a brand new draft again. Going to be a brand um, a new coin flip as well. Do you think... Will the players be okay um, with hopping straight into it? Or should we give like maybe one minute interlude? Let me double check. Yeah, Johnny won. <laughs> yes, best of three for the semifinals right now. Okay. Do you two want to take like one brief minute break? Or you want to go into chamber three? Yeah, I'm asking them to give a break just to be sure that they will be okay. Because immediately after this, whoever is the winner, they're going to hop into the grand finals against Odin Zara, which we will definitely take a break for because we don't have want the players to go, you know, too much brain overload thinking back to back matches. Okay. All right, one moment. We're asking the players right now. Uh, I think in the end, um, yeah, all right, you know what? This is going to be the end, actually. Um, 
Shadow uh, will be forfeiting his match. Like I mentioned before, mm. he did go through surgery a couple days ago. He is not feeling well at the moment. While it is going to be a close matchup for the last game, he doesn't think he could make it through the finals. But you know, honestly, that's fair. Prioritize your health. Prioritize um, your sleep, eat food, whatever you need. Clayton will go fight against... Um, against uh odin zada but that will be um taking a break right now going uh this will be where he ends but you know live a round of applause gg's well played for both ends for everyone okay. and in that's the case then yeah let us take a quick break before we hop into the grand finals yeah. feel better dado feel better Hearts
welcome back welcome back everyone it's been a very very long month we had our preliminaries going through um during uh two weeks ago where we had about you know 90 people show up to fight uh to get a seat to even qualify for the top 32. last weekend was the top 32 play where it was the single elimination match so if they're knocked out they're knocked out but everyone will get a prize as so in the end yesterday was the top 16 and today is the top eight it's been a very long um month even very long weekend with the streams lots of different uh uh different teams but also a few upsets happen because oh my god let me tell you last week there was a one second difference of uh beating their opponent where the underdog came out as the winner beating their opponent by one second and but yesterday was a lot of like character death did not finish chamber three retry curse <laughs> and it all leads up to now uh to odin zada versus uh close clayton with unfortunately odin i mean not sorry odin, uh Dado had to take a break which understandable please prioritize your health first don't worry about this um about the tournament you'll still get a prize no matter where you land but i do want to say you know big shout out to production for helping me organize this it's been uh really difficult for the long streams for the past two weekends thank you for odin for always sending your community over i'm watching Avrigado. appreciate it much love to brazil as well and thank you also for the new friends joining us today i hope you guys are uh, able to you know I'm, if not learn something new then have a different type of uh, enjoyment of watching a game that we all enjoy as well big shout out for jason staying with me for so long for the past like six thank you so hours. much for having me Cardi. i'm happy to be here really it's awesome <laughs> thank you thank you like uh, i always get emotional when i host this because it has been two years two long years in the making i always could say cardi cup is like my baby because i basically foster it from four player sign up then like eight players then 20 players i gave out like um you know starting prize pool with a hundred dollars then 200 400 every time so this is i think the 11th or 12th one that i hosted and it wasn't mm -hmm. until recently where we got a wonderful sponsor last time from I Buy Power and Level Up Expo uh, from Las Vegas sponsoring the tournament. And this time, also big shout out for Toronto for helping, you know, kind of grow the Genshin community again because it's been a little bit slow to play, uh, I would say, for the patch wise. It's not, um, it's been a slow patch, but I don't yeah. think the community has been slow. No, yeah, it's just, yeah, Maybe slow patch. Man. But for the PvP of it, since it's, they're always very niche, it's very hard to try to find a balance with all the character constellations, the weapons as well. I know there's been multiple um, suggestions for the future ones, which I will also try to see if we could balance it, but I can never guarantee if I have time to host it myself or get a sponsor for the future. So whatever happens, thank you guys for joining us today and um let's get hype some hype up for the grand finals sure. last chance okay so right now we are going to have um odin zada and close clayton are in <laughs> in discord already waiting for their uh chance to play uh we switch over the draft right here and now all they have to do is gonna flip a coin and choose choose heads or tails Uh, you guys can change language to Portuguese or theory if you want. Oh, if you guys do want to watch the previous competition, I do have it available on my YouTube. It's like all the VODs are available from the last tournament as well, um, which was back in December 2023. Okay. We'll flip a coin. It's going to be Pales. So Clayton, choose A or B. Oh, it's gonna be B. Odenzada. Let's click in. Okay. 
All right, we'll start. We'll start the pick and ban right now. Player A, Odin, choose the first ban. And yes, this is the grand finals. The first match right now, it's going to be another best of three. So everyone, I hope you guys are ready for this, getting excited uh, for it as well. We have another two, maybe three matches to go through. And starting it off, it's going to be a Raiden ban. Follow up with a Novelette ban. Turn out swinging. Excuse me. So bad. Careful. <laughs> and Clayton, one more ban. Yeah, I've been uh I've been coughing all month. So excuse me. I'm getting too excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> and Chev Roos band. Ooh, that's a good ban. Now Odin choose one. I'm me, I don't know, man. His C2 Yelon is pretty scary, though. So let's see what's going to happen right here. Odin will be getting the first <laughs> pick, which is going to be C2 <laughs> Nahida. Oh. Unsurprising, though. She's always been like one of the top picks. Clayton, choose two. Two from Brazil. <laughs> Big Brazil representation here in the finals. Yeah, I think, okay, so for the signups as well, actually 30 players uh, were from Brazil and the, the remaining 30 was from around the world. We had like the US, Canada, EU, Russia, France. Um, uh, not a lot from C, just cause, like uh, Malaysia, Indo, though we did have some from before, just because of the time restraint. I think when I stream, it will be like around 2 a.m. or later for them. So I understand it's like very difficult to make it um, to make it to every matchup. Yep. Oh shoot, sorry, my bad. Uh Benet Farazon gonna be taken on Clayton's side. And Odin's gonna be picking Farina C2 and Xianling. But as you could tell, there are like the top players are probably from the Brazilian for a reason, just because of how consistent they are with their character picks, knowledge of the game, with their rotation artifacts, and um I think it's just that they are all a part of the community together. They all practice. Yeah, <laughs> like, they do. They consistently I don't think it's because always... they're Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> well, they always have like one v ones too, but they are very welcoming for new people that want to join in as well, get some practice in. Farina on the board with C2 Nahida, C2 Farina. That is a, That's a huge can, pickup already. Only one five star or a five star weapon. Yep. We're gonna have to see how this goes. Will they separate them though? Most likely, right? And uh, Clayton, right. choose one character, one weapon to ban. Edo is gonna be taken on Odin's side. I was a ban Barbara. <laughs> a bar oh, ban would have been pretty based. <laughs> it's been too OP. Saved them way too often. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really has. Okay, they're typing. Yeah, Shinobu ban would really... Kind of, would really hurt, but they do have the option to pick uh, Dory. Clayton, one character, one weapon ban. <laughs> Matt Farazan was the counter pick, but they do have yep. a Skara, which is going to be I'll hide them and the catch band. Yep. Since. Oh, I'll hate them ban. Ooh, that's rough. And Odin, one character, one weapon ban. <laughs> oh, he's going to be banning Zhao and the Favonius bow from Faru. Clayton is going to be picking Cookie immediately. Okay, and now Odin choose two. 
Cardi Disco. Clayton's making moves. Let's hope this help uh, works out. Cause that C2 Nahida C2 Farina is looking pretty scary at the moment. Yai, yeah, Nico, and Sucrose. Is this a C0 Yai, yeah, Nico, Odin? And Clayton, choose two. C, okay. Sucrose. Miko's not a bad pick. I think, if possible, people will probably choose Miko over Bryden anyways. At least for uh, the pick ban. Okay. I would these days, I think. Raiden's a lot more of an on-field DPS. You really do need yeah. to commit to playing Raiden if you're going to pick her. Ooh, Jean Lee and Venti taken on Clayton's side. Oh, the Venti pick. Okay. Yeah, with C2, you know, C2 Kazuha, too many high point cost. Odin, last two characters. C0 Venti will be cheaper alternative. I think Clayton's gonna pick Wanderer, right? <laughs> He's... I mean, Zhao is banned, but yeah. yeah. We might see a repeat of last time. Like Banette, Farizam, Wander, Zhang Li, second half? Yep. And then Jingto, Yelan, Venti, uh, Shinobu, mm -hmm. first half. What about Odin's last two characters, though? He's thinking, he's cooking. He's in the Odin's kitchen right pick. now. He's got Yai, Beto, Sucrose, and Hita for top half. He's got to pick something to play with for an Shengling bottom. And I don't know how many options he has available. Hmm. Can't, you can't Odin, pick a five star. Nope. Gonna be, one of them's going to be Sayu. And the last character. Yan Fei. And yep, Clayton's last character is going to be Wanderer C0. Yep. All Ooh. right, here's the first matchup of our grand finals. Odin Zada versus Close Clayton. I know the, the circle, <laughs> the flag covers their C. It's not Love's what? Clayton, but it is Close Clayton <laughs> for their draft. All right, please share screen when you can. You have seven minutes to prepare your weapon and artifacts. <laughs> Demi, you really want to see the Noel Goro co combination? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, uh, Noel Goro will be really strong with Farina's second side as well, but I don't think Odin has a Noel built. If anything, I think Clayton is the one with the Noel Farina, Goro. I think Clayton looks like a bit of a front runner right now, just from this mm -hmm. draft. From the draft, yeah, just alone. See, yeah. Either way, we're getting the game too. <laughs> it really depends on where Odin will put their teams. He is going to be pre pretty strong as a strong contender. Okay, and let's take a look. So, no five star available for Odin, whereas Clayton has can only use one. Oh. Uh, what five star weapon do you think Clayton's gonna grab? Um, uh, probably Aqua Sim. Yeah, Aqua for your lawn. Can't use five. It's definitely gonna be Aqua Sim. Nope. <laughs> you think they're gonna be getting good RNG with the Wanderer Wisp again? Yeah, I think they're gonna try to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that that 
previous run was really working in their favor, and this time they did manage to secure John Lee. Whereas well, they got, Odin, they got, oh, they got Bennett. Yeah, Bennett as well. True. Odin will probably use Sayu on the second side for the shield yes. break, but depending on what team they are gonna be putting in, would it be Farina Vape and then Miko Beto Nahida first side? Yep, that's what it's gonna be. Yep. Yeah, Let's Nahida might be on out. prototype. Or one of them's on prototype. <clears throat> or he might risk it. No heals. And the Fabo band was very smart. <clears throat> Moon's Moon Venti, okay. And yep. There's the Aqua Sim. Mm hmm. Ooh, Deathmatch Zan Ling. Remember to put your gear on your characters. Don't want to go in with one artifact missing. They're not going to do Fav on Shang Ling? <laughs> that might be a mistake. <laughs> Aiming for uh, damage over ER. They might uh, have Valvonius on Sayu, but it's not enough. No, Clayton gets a five star weapon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Clayton only allow one, so he's using the aqua. Okay, end phase particle gen is two every nine seconds. So Ooh. I would really be worried about ER on this Chung Lang. Could be a serious problem if they're trying to use Deathmatch. Yeah, hopefully it's their Yanfei. I'd also Inspector? actually consider their Yanfei's not built. I would say you could <laughs> consider building Yanfei for damage here. It wouldn't be a terrible idea. Because it's a risk they will have to take. Emblem. Instructor for Cookie, too. Ooh, 80 and 200 ratio for um, Yalan. Oh, and that's right. The catch is taking away from Shanling. So. No catch. So it's either it's going to be Fav or it's going to be a damage weapon. Mm hmm. Right now, I think I'm leaning towards Fav, but <laughs> I guess it's up to them. I didn't catch what weapon they were using, though. I mean, for uh, Yanfei. Was it Favonius? It was probably Favonius. Mm -hmm. I know Particles or um, Shanling. We're taking a lot of time during this time. <laughs> They're not just oh. gonna go straight into practice. They need to make sure everyone has like good ratio, good ER. They're not fucking with it. <laughs> you know, it's the first matchup. I, I think the first match is very important. It kind of sets the tone on how to proceed Ooh. for the next one too. You think it establishes dominance? Yes. <laughs> very. Especially with how a lot of uh, the Brazilian players went to, oh, usually calls Odin as let's defeat the evil. Um. <laughs> On their end, have to see. Wonder is a C zero constellation. Maybe we'll figure out a way next time um, when there's a pop up for their gearing. We could attach little constellations. Whoa! To the icon here. Okay. They, they didn't picture. I'm like, what, why did? I, why am I seeing for one answer? Wait. Yeah, Shao's bad. Yeah. There's, there's been a lot of matches for sure. <laughs> Purify the world of evil. I have no. Honestly, it's been a while since uh, Odin has won a Cardi Cup. It's been like two, two tournaments now.
Okay, 20 seconds remaining. Ten. Nine. Eight. Six. Five. Two. One. Okay. And time. It's been seven minutes. Time is up. Clayton? Are you going to make him on years of out? Clayton? Clayton? Time's up. Change the language to English if possible. What was Clayton on? Not ER. All right, but let's go over Odin's uh, characters. <laughs> okay, Solar Pearl, Miko, R5, Constellation Z Zero, Nahida with Wisp, Festering Desire, Arena, Sophonius, Sayu, Prototype Sucrose. And death back channeling Vivonius. Yep. Yamfei. Okay, and now Clayton. Ain't no way they put their shit before Clayton. They put their shit. Aqua Yelan. Okay, I know we just saw your characters, but please Wait, confirm. Wait, what was on the first one? Uh, could you confirm Yelan's weapon and Farisan's weapon? Fading Twilight. Okay, thank you. Okay. And the constellation for your five star. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it was Fading Twilight and um, Sacrificial Bowl on Venti. So no Vavonius. And there... That was it, right? Who's going first? Okay, player A is going to be Odin. Player A one is Odin, so Clayton will choose the card for Odin whenever you're ready. Good luck, good luck. This is going to be Grand Finals, best of three. The first matchup right now, Odin Zada, player A versus uh, close Clayton, player B. And they are using aggro uh, spread for side. This time with um, Yai Miko. A bit more damage oriented. They just need to be careful to not die. <laughs> they do have prototype Amber on Sucrose, right? Yeah. Oh, they so did those, that's like. Huh? So they played safe. Yeah. They could get like maybe slightly baby heals. 18%. <laughs> <laughs> Out of time. Hey, they don't need, uh, or maybe they don't need heals if they just don't take damage, right? It's true. <laughs> oh Best my way gosh. to prevent damage. Just kill the enemy. <laughs> you just kill them faster death. than they kill you. <laughs> Real stress. What's that? Like 60k I saw on their blue, uh, under dendro damage? Diverse, Diverse yeah. 58 seconds for the first half. Very clean. Now, second side. Yenfei time. <laughs> Yenfei helping with the shield as well. And energy reach, uh, getting ER for Shanling. Ooh, already having Farina burst. Festering Desire is also really good. They should have a way to get li the previous limited weapons again for new players. It's not gonna happen. It's not... 8.31. 8 wow. 8.31. That's a very fast clear time for uh, Odin. Let's see what Clayton is gonna do. Switching it over to their end. And it's gonna be <laughs> picking the middle card. Yep. There's the venti burst. 
Mm-hmm. Not quite centered. <laughs> Classic Venti. <sighs> what do you think is more frustrating? Venti burst uh, not centering well or Sucrose not swirling <laughs> any element for her burst? Venti's a lot bit, much bigger deal. I don't play Sucrose as much though, but I'm a little bit more biased towards Venti. I, I had him since like the beginning too. It's so frustrating. But yeah, if there was a when he shoots on the opposite side of the end, that's the dangerous part. No, it's but. interesting. Uh, Dotto pick did the strategy last uh, match against Clayton. Clayton picked it up. <laughs> He's learning. He's downloading the tag. This is oh, oh, was that an accident? I might have been an accident, like hopefully. Oh, they didn't get the particles either way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't allow booking yeah. um, for us. If it's an accident, I understand it happens, but I think they're uh, they paused to see yeah. if that was okay. Oh. I will. Oh. I actually, yeah, I allow it. It's fine. Continue on, Clayton. You're okay. Okay, let's go with the team again. Ooh, oh, much ADK. More oh, that's right. Last time, Clayton had the Scara team, but without a Bennett, right? Only yeah, Farazon? Without Bennett. They got Bennett this time. Big damage Ooh. increase. Probably the <laughs> best team they could get for the second half. Fast times on both the uh, Oh, they're gonna use oh. the retry though. Okay. I wonder why. Probably just to see if you get that extra clear. <laughs> I mean, let's see, they were still with a Maybe they didn't get the right ones to buff. Oh. <laughs> Is there a way to see what kind of buff you get from Wissip? Yeah, it's the single note that appears on your head when you start. That is so tiny. Yeah, very. Okay, well, here's running it back. They are using a tactical reset on the first chamber already. They just gotta be playing very careful for the next two chambers. No healing on the first chamber, Ethel. Well. Or no healer. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking wrong. Sorry. Cookie is there. Yeah, they got Shinova. I think this is a little bit cleaner anyway. Hmm. Okay, first up, Venti is also available. There he is. Going in. Ooh, so much damage going on. One minute for the first half. Yep. Let's get the setup. The net first. Ooh. I think it's still the same, yeah. No, nope. that's a lot less damage. No, no it's not the same. Sorry, yeah. It's gonna be worse. <laughs> we'll have to sacrifice another rotation for this. But it is going to be 826. 826, that's five second difference so far, leading in Odin Zada's favor. Switching it over. Yeah, damage wise is worse, but clear <laughs> clear time, about the same. Middle card for Odin. Okay, Sucrose bringing them together, and Nahida linked them up as well. Very fast first wave clear, Whopper Flower set up. Who wasn't enough, didn't have enough time to use Beto's first though. I'm probably saving it for the Serpent Knight. Huh? 
Okay. Tag them. Oh no, they all got the shield. I think he might want to use a reset here. Because the Whopper Fly took a little bit longer to clear as well. Mm hmm. True. Just play it through for now. You don't have a Barbara to fall back on. <laughs> and now second half. Gonna need to check out the Arrays RNG too. See what their pattern. Arrow tornado where? There it is. You know, for a second I thought they were gonna do a Sayu roll for the Pyro. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, okay, that's enough. Okay, where is it gonna be? Which one is it gonna be? Ooh. <gasps> Good RNG. So wait, no, that's fine. Just play through it. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> He's like, nah. I think the reset was expected. Odin, no more reset. While they did get the Dorito, it was unfortunately uh, going to the wrong side. And I think for the first half, they could probably do better. If they get a little bit lucky, yeah. They mm -hmm. need to not get hit uh, when that wave's popped. Yeah, I mean, so far with only five second difference between them, it's not that big. Okay, this time didn't hesitate to use Beto's burst. Cleared all the Whopper flowers. Tagged them. One down. Okay, nice. It's a lot cleaner this time around, too. Yeah. Ooh, did he counter on the rocks with Fatal? Yeah, that's what he's been doing. There it is. Minute a lot player. faster. Tornado up now. 41k, nice. That's Farina buff. <laughs> what does Farina Constellations do again? Her C1 and C2? Her C1 is up front 32 damage percent, 24 Ooh. damage percent total. Her C2 inst uh, caps her fanfare significantly more, but it's also. Kind of much more importantly in this case. Like a 70% mm. damage increase for Farina herself. Dang. And C3 is another 28 damage percent. 20. Well, that's it gonna be for Odin. 757 clear time. That's pretty fast yep. though. That is pretty fast. Okay, floor two. I mean, yeah. And then Clayton will be having to choose the middle card. Two times faster for the mm, oh, moment of truth for Clayton. This will really depend too on if it's gonna be a big gap between the two. Yep. This is the one. Oh wow, but that damage! Okay. Set up for Venti. First up for Cookie. Jincho available as well. There's no bad time here. Hmm, maybe not. Is the Venti burst up? Yes, it is. Yeah. 
I think the him. three is able to drag in, but the bigger one is slower. Yeah, but it's not a big deal. Yeah. No reset, too, for both ends. So they, no matter what happens, they have to play it through. Yep. I, counter picking Shinobu is probably it's very smart. Mm -hmm. I think it's helping them their favor as well. Oh. I mean, there your lawn is just shredding. There's the chamber. The real problem is this wanderer. They need to get lucky with Woods. So. <laughs> <laughs> Always the wisdom of RNG. They got lucky against that old butt. Not here. Oh, Medium luck. Yeah. Oh, but oh, they're not critting. critting for two of the hits, too. Bro. Also, another important factor. Make sure your characters can crit. Sometimes, even if they're building at, like, 95 crit rate, right, it's still a 50-50 in Genshin terms. Life is a gamble. <laughs> okay, but now, minion... It's gonna be the circle. snake. Okay, getting the setup for him. Did not use the Bennett skill. Okay. Wanna save some time? <laughs> Probably. Yep. First, yep. seven forty-eight. Still behind. Yep, seven forty-eight. That is currently. Uh, what's the score? Production, can we see the two chambers? What's the difference so far? He's going to have to make it up 14 so, seconds. Yeah, Odin is that, leading by... You know, 14 seconds is not that bad. Especially with Zhongli on the second half. That could just be the Zhongli time save. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, Clayton, choose the card for Odin. It's going to be really Especially close. Especially since Odin's time gain is really only on the first side. Hmm. Where he shouldn't really have a time advantage against Ophelia. Oh. Ooh. Middle, yeah. Mm. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Odin also have no reset. Ooh. Beautiful counter. Just gotta be careful with their positioning since these characters are slightly squishy. <gasps> and there it goes! There it is. Uh, Miko gone, but half HP still remaining on Copelia. That is why the uh, Shinobu fix is really clutch. Mm -hmm. That right there. Do not want to see that. I think that's the Zhong. I think they've got this now. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, they'll still definitely have to play it through it. And even with the Zhang Li, yeah, Zhang Li diff for second half. Diff. Looking good in Clayton's favor right now. I'm counting you out, out yet. There's still a chance. Because Clayton also has no reset available. But for that team, with their. Both of Clayton's teams are failures. Yeah. Uh, yes, Cookie on the first side, yes. And Bennett on the second side. Yeah. But you never know with oopsie accidents. Sayu plunge. They got the plunge cancels on point. Mm hmm. <laughs> He's trying to time this. Alright, let's go. If he can kill it in one shield phase, it'll be great. But I, don't I don't think, think we've happens. seen anyone able to clear it in one cycle. Or one shield face for the last boss. There's the stun. No, he's gonna get it here. Oh. He knows what he's doing. Yep. 
clear time's gonna be 7.55. Yep, he knew what he was doing. Ooh, that was clutch. All right, it's it's down to the third chamber now. Even though uh, uh, Yamiko uh, died in the first half, it was able to stun the third, I mean, the second enemy. But let's see. Yeah. Odin, choose the card for Clayton, which is going to be middle, and we will have production pop up the time to beat soon. Time to beat. 8809 <laughs> It early. used to be single eliminations, um, but the best of three wasn't added until like maybe four or five tournaments ago. Alright, let's take a look at this. I think the first half is a little bit slower though than Odin. Yes. Yeah. Not opting to use Venti. Doesn't have to. I guess I will save like the animation numbers. Yeah. Very good dodges though. Mm hmm Every time they switch over to uh Tokido, I get a little heart attack. <laughs> Constantly on red like any ed characters that are on red HP on field, I I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first on Jean Lee. Let's pop worth. up the time to be a uh, time to be again, please. You don't know. Okay. And at first, they did a far Ooh, song first. There it is, this block. Nice eighty six k. Half HP already done. If I remember, if their Benny is on like the sword of Nasa Rivera, they could also stun the other metric. No. They can't stun it. That's correct. We'll see if he pulls it off. Mm -hmm. uh, nope, he missed nope. it. Okay, 809. There's still 20 seconds left. Stop, he's got it. Oh, and they got the set up. Vanette up. Aruzan yeah. up. Not the RNG, but. It's over. And it was the first 817. <laughs> That is that going game to one. be... Yep. Game one is going to close Clayton and beating by eight seconds, I believe. If I did a math right. <laughs> eight <laughs> seconds. GG's. Round of applause for both players. That's only for one game. Yeah, it was close even with uh, Yaimiko that... Now it makes you wonder, like, if Yaimiko did not die, would Odin be able to pull through? Okay, but we still have another match to go through let me double check on the players if they just want to hop right into it yeah it's always the reset that happens mm. hey queen it's tartaglia cardi cheer cardi cheer cardi cheer cardi cheer Okay, let's see. Odin is ready. And Clayton, how about you? Okay. Clayton, are you also ready? I can ban? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, sorry. They're, they're ready. <laughs> All right. Game two. The new picks? Yes. So this will be game two. Clayton, you are player A. You will ban first. Ready? Go. Start the timer. Yep, no but. Ah, my Hydro Dragon. Odin. Okay. And Clayton again. Very. Dragon. It's going to be very consistent bans. 
Arena, maybe? If you ban Farina, they do get official. Mm. Which might not be a problem. Kind of up to oh. them. But they are going to be, yeah, getting the Farina ban now. And Odin, one ban? I don't think Odin will be banning the show, though. Unless. Jean Lee. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I guess they don't want to deal with the Geo. <laughs> okay, Clayton, choose one character. And it's going to be official. Odin, choose two. I'm calling it C2 Nahida. And probably Lear. Bennett. Yep, but Nahida, Bennett, take in. Thank you. And Clayton, choose two. Probably have to be taking Xiangling counter for Banet now, or gonna be taking Yalan. Why are they playing again? The grand finals is the best two out of three. Gosh. So it's not just single eliminations. They have to win at least two times out of three matches. Oh, they're going to be picking C2, Kazuha, and Farazan. Ooh, okay. Uh, Farazan, okay. Leaving Yelan open? Odin, choose two? You think Odin's going to grab Yelan or leave her open? He has one of the strongest Yelans, yeah. A really strong uh, C2 yeah. Yelan. We'll see if he grabs her. He might not. Unless they're going to be banned next. Yeah. Oh no, they're picking Shin Cho and Shan Ling. Yep. Wait, that's looking very strong. And Clayton, one character. really depends what they're going to be banning next. Yeah, we'll see. Clayton, one ban? I mean, one one pick? Ooh. <laughs> I said it wrong. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> they, they should be aware of the draft. <laughs> it's time. Yep. Yelan is going to be taken. And Odin choose one character and one weapon to ban. I mean, with the Fowler Song counter pick, I don't think they could build a team around her the same way with Bonnet and Jean Lee. Your clothes got the yellow on. Up to the bands now. Odin, one character, one weapon band. What? Oh, okay. Kachin is taken along with the Aqua Simulacra. And Clayton, one character, one weapon ban. Everything is so tense now. 
They don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, Cookie Shinobu is banned. And banning the catch. Oh, then choose one. Which is going to be Beto. And Clayton choose two. Sucrose and Zhao C1. I mean, C0. Sorry, I misspoke. C0. <laughs> Sucrose and Xiao. Odin, choose two. That's a lot of Animo on Clayton's side. That, that is, is a lot of Animo. Yeah. Seven points already for their end. Uh, whereas Odin has um, only three. So he could mm. use four more points. Maybe you're gonna see a Dory or Yao Yao. Where is the timer? Odin's typing. Take two. Let's see. Please. Odin, two characters. Shan Yun C2. Oh, I forgot he does have a Shan Yun. C2, and mm. I'll hide them. C0. So that should also be all of his points for this team. I mean, for his uh, five stars. Play in last two characters. Oh, you see two Shan Yun with Chong Yun Melt? Sayu and Yao Yao. Wow, and <laughs> five! Oh, he could break, yeah, he, I think he is going to break out the Chong Yun. And Odin, last character? Another animal, okay. Odin, your last character? Everyone's already chanting Chong Yu Mel. Apparently, you can't Wait. pick Chong Yu if it's been at C6. Oh. Wait, but he did it last time. You just. Wait, wait, wait. Odin. Is he? We could pick Gaming again. Oh, true. Odin. Where is he? <laughs> but then what's the Shung Wing pick? I think he might just do Plunge Shung Wing. <laughs> he could just do Plunge Shung Wing. Dory, no. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's it. Okay, last character is going to be Dory. This is the draft for the two of them. This is the second matchup as well. Whereas uh, Clayton is currently on the lead for one game. Odin needs to win this one to go for the final round. Okay, they are already sharing the screen at the moment. So can we please switch it over to... Oh, thank you. And set up the timer for seven minutes. Yeah, Benna would be the next best thing to bridge. Everyone was really praying for that mm. Chong Yu melt. Yeah. But unfortunately, they chose Dory instead. They wanted Dory for the other side. It's not going to be Dory Plunge. Mm. Going to be rough right now. 
I'm sorry. Okay. I hope you've been eating too. Uh. <laughs> There's the VB. I'm gonna be real. I've been like, I've been having my other gacha game on my mobile, so I've been playing what? that on the downtime. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Listen, they've been, uh, it's, they, they've been, uh, you know, been pretty good with gearing their characters. We've seen a lot of the <laughs> same picks as well. I mean, chat kind of already knows how it's going to go. I just got to make sure I do my dailies uh, in the meantime. What are, you what are you playing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Is it Star Rail? Is it Genshin? <laughs> Everything. I have um, three gacha games on my mobile, but Star Rail and Genshin is on my PC, so uh, I have oh. a problem. So you play five. Got it. <laughs> is it Nika? Uh, no. Is it so Azure Lane? I am curious about AFK Journey. That was released recently. Mm. Yeah, I was like, um, some of them are Arcanite. <laughs> Go. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I can't <laughs> expose already how bad how bad my gacha addiction is. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Since um we have five animals on Clayton's end. I think mono yeah, it has to be mono animo bottom half, right? Um I guess it's an interesting choice. Yeah, Zhao sure. for, I mean, uh, Sayu for the shield break, Farisan support Zhao, Sucrose for the particles, since, uh... Or... Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Because Castle is better on the first half compared to second. Yeah. Whereas for... Odin, you think he got a better draft this time around? Odin? Yeah, I think so for sure. He, getting the Shen Yun is a major boon. Um, mm. Al Haith on top side has been super consistent throughout. Yeah. Oh, so that's we're right. Gonna he. See pretty okay. similar players because of that. Yeah. He has used this team before with uh, Nahida, Be uh, Beto, Al Haitham, and Dory. Yeah. Whereas second will be vape with Shanyun Punch. He does need to be careful hearing his banner to not mm -hmm. skip on the ER in a way that will really screw him over. Just gotta be really careful about that, hold on. Since the catch is also banned from Shanling 2, uh, let me double check their points. It'll be... They could only use four star weapons as well. Yep. We're gonna see a deathmatch or a few words. Mm-hmm. But they all picked Wolfang! Yeah, <laughs> classic. Everyone picked Wolfang! They don't have shorts. Okay, two minutes remaining. It's because of them I also chose Wolf Fang as my BP weapons. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 95 crit rate on that shell though. And I gotta keep an eye on that. If there's a non-crit for that shell, that means it's 95 is still not enough. Ooh, hurry. Two minutes remaining for their gear. <sighs> Death match for Xiao. You know, for my own sake, I hope Clayton wins this one. <laughs> Really? Yeah, that's... <laughs> We're so close. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you again for keeping no us problem. company with watching for the for the whole day, basically. Can't leave now. 
<laughs> yeah, we're almost. It could, this could be the potential final matchup. No. Yeah, there's no way I could do these type of 1v1s, though. I guess there's too much pressure when it comes down to drafting the characters because suddenly you'll forget what characters you even have. Mm -hmm. And then there's also like changing artifacts if you want to build certain characters with uh, other teams. And then also got to know the rotation for the uh, for your characters and also for the uh, mobs. That's too much. Yeah. The last check it, uh, last second check, 20 seconds remaining. Hopefully they're prepared. Okay, and time is up. Please stop here. Please uh, show me your uh, characters and weapons. Um, I guess Clayton will go over yours first. Deathmatch Shao, C0. C2, Kazu, Syphils. Moon Moon, Yalon, C2. C6, Baruzang with the bow. Thrilling Tales, Stringless, and Vaphonius. Lance. Okay, and Odin. Jan Yun C2. Wisif, Wolfang, Vaphonius, Greatsword, C3, Dory. Akomaro, Beto, Vaphonius, and Lion's Roar, Vaphonius. Lots of Vaphonius weapons. And this time, since uh, Clayton will be player A, uh, you will go through the Abyss first, and Odin will choose the card uh, for him. Oh. Okay, and then after they set up their characters, production, if you can please change the screen. Oh, all right. Let's Ooh. see. Middle card is going to be selected. Yes, middle card, the second one for Clayton, and you can start whenever you're ready. All right, we're starting off strong already. I mean, they've been clearing this the whole day today. Oh. <laughs> already you know how the enemies are gonna move. I mean, I don't think they got any bad RNG so far besides the weapon uh, issues. But enemy-wise, they've been pretty consistent. Nope. There's the fall damage. Yep. Ooh. Big chunk taken off. Yeah, poor Tanya. <laughs> Can't get up. <laughs> Apparently, their names are all always changing too. Whenever you go in uh, Abyss, there's like 20 different uh, names of the Fatui agents. Yeah, I've gone through the whole list. I saw a 388k fall damage there, by the Ooh. way. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, what about this Mono Animo? It'll be fine, as long as the mm -hmm. Secrets is on TTDS, 50k job plunges, it's not great, it'll work. Hopefully it'll it is work. enough. Yes. I missed the Abyss when, like, the mono element was a buff. <laughs> that one was pretty fun. And then I remember a lot of people do not like the Consecrated Beast. 
So I do still prefer this abyss over the last rotation with like the Rune Serpent and Wainu. <laughs> yeah, the Wee Knot is really... It's annoying. It's <laughs> Yeah. Just a pain in the ass. 831, by the way, I believe. Um, yeah, any of the stall enemies with the stalling mechanics are kind of... They're kind of... Annoying to deal with. Yeah. Okay. So 831 clear time for Clayton. Very, very fast. And then switching over to Odin's. Uh, Clayton, choose the card for Odin. Middle one. The second card. They do have a very strong team for the first half. A second half will be plunging Bennett. Uh, Odin is gonna have to make up time on that second half, I think. Mm. Uh, because the Zhao is not necessarily that strong. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Because I think they have a very solid first, first side. Both of them tag. Edo first. They should be very safe too with Dory heals. Yep. Just need to get some grouping here. There it is. <laughs> Only one of them taken out. That's fine. We can just play through it. So one minute clear time on the first hot side. <laughs> Basically, yeah. What was Clayton's uh, first side clear time? Eight thirty-one. Clear time. Eight thirty-one. Eight thirty-one. Total. Wow. Question: If you have Noble Official and resummon like command with her E to her place, will Oz get the attack percentage buff? Uh, he'll re-snapshot all of his stats, yeah. Hmm. Uh, this is not look good. Oh no, the plunge. Is that around 60k though? Something like that. Okay, it's already past the time for a clear. A third HP remaining on the terror shroom. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be 8... 19. And he's got no ER on that Bennett. Oh, that's a problem. Let's see, let's see. We'll go to the second chamber now. Yeah, third chamber, both of them will have to rely on plunging since Zhongli is banned. And let's see if there is how the second half is gonna go. Or second chamber. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, wait. That's Clayton, yeah. Oh, right, and he chose the middle card. Okay. Bring them close. All of them already gone. Not even gonna wait for the setup, just gonna fight right at the back with um, the Whopper Flowers. Mm -hmm. And here they are. Hey. Yeah, grabbing the Kazo was honestly a really good choice. <laughs> it really depends on their what how what they value too. Cause C2 Kazoa is very expensive. Um compared Seems to other characters as well. But yeah, right now. Well. It's kind of just rocking it. Mm-hmm. Although their second side is the one where they will probably struggle. Hey, editor, I see you in chat. That new up video better be ready for Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be enough to one cycle it, though. Nope. No, he's not going to. Maybe it's fine. Took a hit. That's okay. Reset to fall back on as well. Okay, there it is. He's safe yeah, again. It is good. Mm -hmm. 
I used to be unable to play a Zhao without a shielder. <laughs> so, I mean, I still am actually. So seeing them going in without any safety net, that's, that's balls. Nah, no, Zhao. A lot of the show stuff is a lot of it's really overstated. Hmm. Um, people will say water needs a shield, Goi Mi needs yeah. a shield, Zhao needs a shield. It's just not really true. It's you know it's for those casual players that don't know how to dodge or you know maybe on high ping, it will just be a safety net. Oh, they're gonna retry mis- that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of misplay there. He didn't line up with the other corner, the one that's slightly raised. For yeah, the and there was a damage. Oh. There was also one non-crit. <laughs> well, you get the bonus Zhao damage if you uh, hmm. hit the higher corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just run it back now. Do it again. Solid first end, this time going to the back. Let's go. Is there going to be a Cosmo Burst here? I think it, it, it might send it for the regroup. Yeah. I they got it enough though. Probably saving the first for your positioning. Yeah. Element? Okay. Hydro. Their switches are so fast, so clean. Yeah. There it is. Nice cool. dodge. 45 seconds. That's actually that's faster in their first run. Yeah, well, it's about the same. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Just like a second or two. Mm. Man, here's the burst. Cool. <laughs> second half needs more Unnemo. <laughs> <laughs> They're missing the Shan Yun. <laughs> needs more wind. He's still not hitting those collisions. I bet that's frustrating for him. Yeah, especially since they used the reset for it, too. <laughs> okay, dash, dash. And burst. There you go. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. It is gonna be the jellyfish. Oh, that's awful. Ooh, need that ER for shell. Okay, far is on. He'll get it here from the far. He'll get it here from the <laughs> Need more Nemo? The yeah, animal that matters. <laughs> they got all the Nemo, but no more Fatals. It's okay. Ooh, will it be enough though? No. No, it's not. It's actually slower. Oh, shoot. And using a burst for that too. 736. Yeah, so. That shout clear is embarrassing. Their first run would have been better. Okay, next Odin side. I hope I didn't cost them the entire thing. Yep. Uh. Wait, and choose the card? Okay, middle card. This is a good chance for Odin to catch up as well. Yep. Okay, first up for all of them. And Odin does also have a reset. Ooh, that immune. Okay. Okay, just, just a little deal. bit left. Oh, then I'm, he's gonna need a reset for this. Most likely, depending on how the second mm, half goes. I think he plays the rope. Okay, Dory. Nato. Yeah, mm, this one is better than the first two ways for sure. Dodging the rocks from the bottom, nice. Going for the greed. Okay, worked out. A 
the score currently, Boshi? Um, currently Clayton is with, uh, has one win, but the second chamber was a little bit slower. So now we're watching Odin's second chamber run. As it took them 736 to clear the second half, and right now Odin is going in with ooh, 100k lunges on Benny. Yeah, much clean. Very clean. <laughs> that sucks for uh Clayton. Well we can't whirl it out yet. There's still No, some we can't time. really can't. Yeah. No, the time's really close. You, like, like that's it's gonna be still really close. Uh, did not quite get the time on the uh thing right here for the split. Let's see. Also, jellyfish again. It's gonna ultimately come down to chamber three. Mm hmm. But that's what we love to see. Love to see the close matches, not one sided com uh, oh, competitors. Yeah. Although it is very interesting to see um, Bunny. It's actually very close. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they're getting like the same clears. He's really struggling yeah. with his right now. Is he gonna start fist lunging? No, he's no. gonna commit the burst. Oh, that's, that's a choice. Bad. 27, 727. That's still so much. behind. Yeah. Kurt, the gap between them is growing. Almost a 21 second diff? It is, right? Ooh. Can I. What's the math? <laughs> okay. Yeah, 21, 21 seconds. seconds. Looking good for Clayton's end, though. Looks real good for Clayton. And then, uh, right now it is Clayton. I think, yeah, Odin says middle card. Middle card? Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be the chamber for Clay uh, Clayton. See this Yelan pop off? <laughs> I mean, so far Yelan has been helping Clayton really well. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a few staggers here, but that's okay. Half HP already taken from Coppelia, but getting the Cryo Swirl. Small, the, getting the crowd throw is a small loss, but yeah, be okay. Very good top side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really flexing here. Yeah, they're kind of just like hugging Coppelia. Yep. And let's see those Sayu plunges. Yep, getting some energy first as well. Here come the side plunges. Doing what they can to get energy. Yeah. Leaving a sliver of the shield left. Just for the setup. Okay, going in. That will be... 50k per plunge. 56 and a high. Mm-hmm. Still kind of weak though. You know, it's okay. He's a short king. <laughs> he's got to do what he's got to do, man. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, if he had a reset, I would use it. No. Oh, I hope gotta he fight it through. Chill places. Maybe that's why Odin is saving his reset for the last chamber. As he should. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Sayu is here. Okay, punches again. Okay. Oh, much cleaner here. They're in the hmm. right position. I think it's still gonna need another heal phase. That sucks. Yeah, that's gonna stall them. They might try to push it. Never mind. Oh, they can't. They tried. It's like get trying to get greedy, but it's not gonna be enough. This is a chance for Odin to catch All right, up. Just, just go to Zhao. Just go to Zhao, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, needed to heal? Mm, he's going for TTTS. Ugh. Seven? Thirteen. Thirteen. That's a lot of that's, time. That's very, very slow. Yeah, three shield phase is very unlucky. Well, this <sighs> might be it for... I mean, this could be a chance for Odin. Uh, it could be. It could go to game three. Mm-hmm. What is the time to be? Uh, okay, it's going to be choosing the last score. I think it's probably seven something. It's time to be. 734. 734. Ugh. Yeah, the first side is going to be very clean. But, I mean, they, they I'll still have to deal with the plunges from Banet too. Oh, man, I hate to say it. Turns out constellations can carry it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've been new to it. But let's see how Odin will play it through. First side is very clean, but it's really dependent on the second. Seconds, 53. Clean. Yeah, about the same clear time. Okay. Now, Banet, Shen Shou, Shanling, and Shan Yun. That does have really fast plunges, too. Unfortunately, there's sword plunges, not claim more. Mm -hmm. Or shield break. It's like the trade off. Oh! Yep. Seven thirty-four. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, he's gonna hold off. Oh man, yeah, they have a full minute now. Yeah. As long as no accidents happen, which shouldn't be, they will be good. They're going so fast with us. I would too. Get the setup. Jin Chao first. Downling. Benny. And that will be it for game two? Clearing at 757. Unfortunately, uh, you won't get to rest anytime soon because we have one more match. <laughs> this is now evened up to our 1 1. The drafting really does matter for us. But. The Zhang Li ban was a good choice. Odin and managed to tie it up. Round of loss for their second game. I mean, game two, really going down to the last of it. Okay, enemy double check on them. Ready or want one min break? Ooh, that's that's scary now. <laughs> the pressure is on for both ends. This match will be the one to decide who's gonna be the champion taking home the grand prize. First place of $150. No rest for <laughs> Jason. I'm sorry. No rest. Okay. Clayton is ready to go. Odin, are you also ready? No rest. We're going to go down to King 3. Because then th now it will be a brand new draft once again. New coin flip as well. So it will be, um, yeah, we'll see who's going to be player A or player B. Where did Odin go? Maybe they took a break. <gasps> Where'd he go? Ooh, the 
full a Nemo team did not live up to expectations. Oh, Odin said he was gonna get some energy drink. Oh, okay. He should be back soon then, no worries. Alright, so far, what do you think? I guess down to the last match, it is once again going to the draft. I mean, uh, there is a chance for Odin to make a comeback for this, or Clayton will do will outdraft him again. There's a chance. Mm-hmm. Okay, now they're both ready. Uh, choose heads or tails. And once again, since both of these players are from Brazil, I believe it is around two, three, four, like th two or three a.m. for them right now. Uh, for me, it's twelve thirty. 12.30 for you? Oh, yeah. I meant uh, for the uh, Brazilian oh, players. <laughs> it's like really mass, uh, past midnight. Ooh, it's going to be heads. Odin, choose A or B. It's going to, it's 1.30 a.m. for you guys. 1 a.m. in Brazil. Mm-hmm. I'm not full of energy, Messi. <laughs> I'm a <be> real. <laughs> I have been here in cosplay wig contacts. I'm How's the cat? Oh, they're fine. They they have food outside. They're okay. They just like to roam around um, and they don't come in when I stream. <laughs> so it's fine. They're totally fine. I have two cats, so they will keep each other company. Oh. <laughs> All right. Last matchup. New draft is available or repicked again. We're going to start it off for the last um, mat, uh, draft right now. Odin, player A, you will choose the first band. Starting the timer. And Raiden, band. Nouvellet, band. Odin, another band. Yalon, band. Ooh. And Clayton, one more band. <laughs> Kazuha? <laughs> Wait, are they just banning each other's and character Kazuha. at this point? <laughs> yeah. <I wouldn't laughs> like... <laughs> Odin, choose one. Wait a minute, there is Farina. Oh, Nahida, C2 taken. Okay, and uh, Clayton, choose two. I mean, and Farina might be able to get a chance to play this time. Who is Clayton picking? Hmm, yep. Wait, what's your Farina constellation again? Is Farina gonna be sniped? C1 and Farazan taken again for their end. Odin, choose two. Bennett, Shanling, Shincho still up for grabs. So Odin will definitely pick the. Ooh, Fisho, right. Fisho and Bennett. And Clayton, choose two. Ooh. Which is... Will they take Shanling? Elon's band. Clayton, two characters, please. Uh, I, I see them typing on this card, but I, maybe they keep on like changing their minds. Okay, but they are going to be picking Zhang Ling and Venti C0. And now Odin choose one character. Yep, 
Yeah, they're probably tired by now since it's almost 2 a.m. for them. I do feel bad. They always stay up super late to uh, participate in this. It's the time zone. How do I host it so everyone's <laughs> at the same time zone? <laughs> uh. They not only been like watching the whole day, but they've been playing the whole day too. This time they yeah, are good. Really Odin will be taking Zhang Li. Zhang Li? Trying to save time on the third chamber. Hmm. Uh, Clayton, choose one character, one weapon to ban. Yeah, Jean Lee's gonna be huge for Odin's end. Fifty K sponsor. As if I could, I could barely get sponsored this time. So. I don't get paid for this. Okay, Clayton, one character, one weapon ban. Ooh, I don't know. And I don't know if they have Geo built on their side too. Cause um Navia will be really good second half. But I don't think they pulled for them. And instead they're gonna be banning Shin Cho. And Asian Cho and the smart. weapon? What's the name? Uh, you could send me the screenshot of the weapon if you don't know the English name. Wait. Yeah, if they don't know their the name of the weapon, they could just send a screenshot, Clayton. Was it Shan Yun? No. Uh, Shan Yun's weapon? Can you what? The timers that is because they are um the English is not their first language. So they might be struggling with trying to translate the weapon name, which you know, to be fair, English is not everyone's first language, so it's okay. Crane's echoing call, okay. Odin, choose one character, one weapon ban. It happens. Cause I honestly don't even remember what Shan Yu's weapon name is. Ooh, Zhao uh. is gonna be taken out, and also Favonius as well. I'm surprised they're not banning Favonius Lance too. Okay, now Clayton, choose one. Wanderer C Zero. Gonna still go in without a Benny and Zhongli. Odin, choose two. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they have an Ito either for uh, Clay inside. Hmm. I'll hide them, C0 and Cookie Shinobu. Oh, this time. Cookie. That's already a team. Cookie, Fisho, Nahida, and I'll hide them. Clayton, choose two characters. Oh, Charlotte and Yan Fei? Mm. And last two character, Odin. It's sitting down to the water. Probably Yanfei is going to be on the second side with Wanderer again. Hmm. Odin, last two. What's Clay? Uh, oh! Navia! First half. Ooh. I'm pretty sure it's a C0 and a Beto. Is that C0 Navia, Odin? 
And Clayton, your last character. Ooh, where now the appearance? I had to C zero. Oh no! Ooh. I think he already knows the draft. He did a sad face. He did a sad emoji. Oh no! He picked Chukas! <laughs> Chukas making an appearance! Yeah, not gonna lie though, Odin does look have, have a very strong roster right now. Yeah, oh, literally... Clayton, could you share screen again? Yeah, Odin took a lot of strong characters from Clayton's end. The, I mean, not only Sean Lee though, but Bennett as well. Favonius bow band too. I think Favonius band has been pretty standard so far. Yeah. It's a really good way to limit Farzan. Mm-hmm. I just don't know why he always chose Farzan so like immediately first two picks. I know it's like probably so, denying so, their so opponent as well. It's a safety thing. Zhao and Wanderer might not be amazing, but they are consistently not amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> consistently not amazing. That's that. They're very consistently not amazing. <laughs> uh, it, it, if you get the, if you get Wanderer, you get Zhao, you get Farzan, you get something that can clear your second side in about a minute and a half. Oof. Not looking good for Clayton's end. So that's why blocking the bars. You don't have to worry as much about your draft if you have something that you know will be able to clear well and be com mm. comfortable. So you can put all your drafting into one side, which is evidently becoming Al Haytham <laughs> spread. <laughs> I mean, right now, <laughs> with the addition of Navia, Bonnet, and jean Lee Geo second half, there's no way Odin can lose this. It is Odin's aim to lose. Any, any slip off and it could be GG, but... Doubtful, though. Might have to screw up. You have to screw up big time. And, they, I mean, they also have healers for both ends, hey, too. Don't sleep on Chukas. I mean, there is a reason why he hasn't been chosen until now. Let's see. Yeah, Navia Zhongli slash Navia Chiori is another one of those, like, Wanderer Farzan, Zhao Farzan things, where mm. it's gonna be okay. It's especially good in this abyss. And did they both hit the reset, or did neither of them hit the reset? Wait for which one? Reset for abyss reset, blessing. Oh no, None not yet. Are... They're both in yep. um, NA server, so it's not the abyss geo blessing yet. Unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> we're fortunate. Still... It's a fair game still. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, there's still like five more hours, three, uh, four or five more hours before it actually reset. But you know, we're this is the last yeah. match already. Oh no, I think Clayton accident disconnected. Oh, yeah, uh, Clayton says they gotta restart the PC. It's starting to freeze. So they'll be right Ooh. back. I mean, we did see earlier his uh, Discord was like lagging a little bit. Yep. <laughs> or getting frozen. Ooh, that was a fast restart though. <laughs>
Hacks loaded. Hacks loaded. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Install the perfect artifacts. Oh no. Yes, restart PC. Uh. Oh, wink, wink. Less than two minutes left. Very focused on trying to get their characters geared. I'm ready to see this Iodo slash for 100k every day. <laughs> Let's go, Chuka! Right? That's what the hacks are for. It's gonna be sus when the wonder Christ gets the right <laughs> uh. Witsip has uh, been working out pretty well for them, besides the one match. I don't know, yeah, they, it worked well against Dado to qualify into the grand finals, but the past few times has been, even with the reset, did not proc well. Oh, I gotta tell him Favonius Bow was banned, which... Uh, on Farisa? We'll, we'll do a double, uh, we'll do a checkup on all their characters after time is up. So help me, or help us check if they're using any illegal weapons. Favonius Bow and the uh, Crane weapon is also banned. Ooh. Right now, let's see, C2 Nahida, Johnny, Alhaitam, and Navia. Odin is allowed one five-star weapon. Whereas Clayton is C1 Farina, C0 Venti, Wander, and Ayato is allowed two five star weapons. Yep. Illegal weapon. <laughs> okay, and I think time's up. Okay, time is up. Please exit the office or do whatever you need. I mean, oh wait. Okay, let's. Go through all your information. Odin, let's have you start off first, please. Oh, it's... sorry. <clears throat> oh, shit, they forgot Mar I mean, Charlotte's gear. Ooh, oh, well. Too bad. That's GG. That's GG for them. They did have to restart their uh, PC, though. Too bad. I'm, I'm, distant, I, the Charlotte here isn't going to... I don't think the Charlotte here is going to matter that much. I don't think it's a serious problem. And Clayton? Oh no. Uh oh. You know what? They did have to restart the computer. I it's you know, you can let them get the Charlotte. It's just Charlotte. It's just it's just one artifact too. Yeah. We have a rule in the future that they're allowed to use fast okay, and just don't change the weapon, change just add the yeah. one artifact for Charlotte. I'll allow that. Nope. Mm. Oh. Uh let me see. Oh, you didn't understand. Um, okay. Katsuppy or Radishi, can you guys help translate real fast uh, for Clayton? Hell, uh, if you guys could let him know. If Ask Odin if he'll let his opponent change the artifact. Well, just not change, but just add one gear. Have him... Add, okay, ask Odin if he will allow Clayton to add one more equip for Clayton. Oh, we're, we're okay, we're okay. Okay. Uh, Radishi, I dragged you into our stream. Although they are talking in chat right now, so.
Odin said it's okay. Okay. No, it's good sportsmanship though. Yeah. Round of applause, GG. Good sportsmanship all around. Odin allowing the <coughs> the equip for Charlotte real fast. I believe in Ido. <laughs> Ido, my king. Our king. Trust he will do, was it 100k per slap, shring shring? 100k per chook, chook, chook. <laughs> Beto cosplay again? We'll see, we'll see, swap. I mean, this is the last match. It's gonna be it. I think Clayton does have an uphill battle to go through at the moment. Oh. Oh. I don't have a Navia cosplay! <laughs> when is the Navia cosplay coming? Never! Because it's not funded! I, I can't, I can't, I can't spend on cosplay or else how am I gonna fund the tournament? I didn't do the tournament! <laughs> Alright, let me cancel the next tournament. I'm gonna treat myself. Over. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Double checking. Clayton, you're done gearing, right? Okay, can you let me know what weapons you are gonna be using? Haran. And it was a C0 Ayato? Oh, Inko. Yep. C1 Farina. Okay, thank you. No, I think we're okay with Clayton. I saw his weapons and I saw Odin's er earlier. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Favonius is banned. Yes. Please change it from um from Farizan. Oh. Good call. <laughs> there is so much going on. Okay, we're fine. We're <laughs> fine. <laughs> Which weapon will he choose? Sacrificial is like probably second option. Okay, thank you. No, that Ayato is not C6. <laughs> Very not C6. We'll see how it goes. I, I have faith. I believe. Okay, so it is since Odin is going to be the one starting first. Clayton, please choose the card for Odin. Okay, and it's the middle card. Yeah, Rip Vivonius. But let's take a look right now. As long as Odin plays it pretty consistent like he's been doing all night, I think he has a very strong lead to... I mean, take home the win for us. Yeah. It's unfortunate that Taro had the cert. Taro couldn't compete. Yeah, for the last match, but I hope yeah. he feels better. Definitely, he, he needs. To I get hope some he's on the rest. mend. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know he was like very excited for it too, but it's okay. When uh, your health needs to come first for us. Yep. I mean, even if they weren't able to get both of them to clear at the same time, ooh. ooh, that's not too big of a time loss. Yeah, that's fine. I got the full match. <laughs> I got... Man, it is... This draft was a robbery. I was really hoping... No, I was really counting on... Uh... I thought I had hired... What is... 
on. This might still be close. We'll yeah. see. Oh my god, 200k though, but not via skill. Yeah. With Bonnet. First buff again. Wait, was that not Ooh, crit? Yeah, it was not crit. Unfortunate, but you know, that's a still very fast lead at the moment at 8.30 clear time. Oh, Clayton forgot to set host his team inside. Oh. That's okay. We'll do it right now, switching it in. Yep. How much does that crit Navia has? Mm, good question. I think it was like probably a high crit for Navia though, but still missed. Only one restart is allowed to be used. Yeah, still 90 crit on Navia. Or 90 crit rate and still not critting. Okay, and the card. Odin, which card for Clayton? Middle. I mean, so far all the cards are still around the same too. All right, let's see. Venti bringing them close together. Charlotte Green. <laughs> yeah, and get them, Chukas. Around 20k. Oh, wait, there's still one more enemy. Uh, he's still alive. <laughs> yeah, okay. There, there we go. <laughs> I was waiting for Farina skills or summons to kill. <laughs> Where, where are they? I don't even see them on screen. There. Okay. Very high on ER, though. Barely enough for Venti. That is fading Twilight on Venti, right? Yeah. It looks very similar to Favonius. It does look similar to Favonius. Second side. Pyro tornado up. Flowers on set up as well. Young Fei. And they rolled the wrong wins of the buff. Oof. They were only lucky for the first half of the night. It's still two rotations. It's not a big deal. Oh, Ooh, they're gonna retry start. that. Okay. Play in. No more reset. Okay, just gonna go straight in. <laughs> okay, restarting it again. Venti swirling. Hydro bringing them close together. Slashing of around 25k. No kill. Unfortunate. Okay, they're letting the summons do most of the work. Wait, but... Oh, that was good. Oh, slightly dragged them closer. Yeah, that was really good. That was good watch. Okay. Oh. Marina first again. Venti? Oh no, Ayato. Ayato, you better Venti. More up them that way. This and might Ido be enough. Is... One of the characters that does hit in Venti's burst. Mm hmm. It's not enough. <laughs> Good enough. It's, it's rough. I mean, with so many Hydro characters out now, Ayato has kind of fallen off a little bit. He needs a really strong team for damage. I'd argue Ayato is the same as he's been since he released. Mm hmm. But there's a lot of like, good Hydro characters to be used to. I'm surprised no one used Tartaglia. I mean, look, see. <laughs> Listen, Riptide, okay? <laughs> I don't think Tartaglia has been uh, the guy for this since about a year ago. A year? Yeah, those Eight the Sumeru events were. They really started putting aggressive enemies and punishing you for playing a Bennett first. 
Um, it just really screwed with Tartalia from the mm -hmm. second the Consecrated Beasts were in Abyss. It really depends. I mean, they really need to draft, like, what, International Forum? That's this. That's... Yeah. Okay, Odin's you, if gonna... you draft International, you have to play it against Copalia. Ooh, true. And not die. <laughs> It's, it's just risky for not much gain. Mm -hmm. I'm sure some of the competitors could definitely pull it off if they wanted to, though. Yeah. Though, from what I've heard, um, Brazilian side says that they don't really play international often. Yeah. <laughs> but very favorable towards um, Raiden. Okay, solid. First two waves clear. Fatal first up. And Cookie as well. Okay, repositioning against all of them. Very clean. Mm, yep, still less than one minute clear time for Odin. Yep. Odin's locked in right now, no room for mistake, and end up getting a Navia pick to with Zhang Li's second side. <laughs> and Benet down. And Benet. Don't forget. And Fischl. Ooh, 257k, there's no way. Ugh. Navia's just so, so graceful, so beautiful. All right, and the mob, it's gonna be... Serpent. Cool. Wow, was that one skill? Yeah. Eight? Fourteen. Okay, and then Clayton's... Screen, which is going to be another middle card. <laughs> okay, cool. The place. No, unfortunate place. My bad. Oh, yeah, I wasn't <laughs> able to grab. <gasps> Dying, and that's it. I think that's it for Clay. Okay. Their character died. They're not gonna go through. They already know that it's an unfortunate finish for the last run of the grand finals. But you know what happens? That means that GG to Odin Zada. Clayton decided to forfeit for the last game, was still very close up to it. It really went down to the draft. Let's give a round of applause to both the players, Odin and Close, because I know it's like 2 a.m. for them right now. Thank you so much for participating. And let me see. Yeah, since Radishi, if you're still in chat, please, uh, Rad, please help us translate how does Clayton and Close feel about sure. this matchup for us, Ooh. but still GG's. <laughs> he's crying, Clayton, he's crying. <laughs> Ooh. Help me ask them how do they feel? Congratulations to Odin. I hope they had a lot of fun with this though. But let's get some let's get some ending word from out for our tournament for the this current Cardi Cup 4.5 from the last two finalists. Ooh. All right. Oh, thank you, thank you. I mean, he did get one win from Odin, but Odin did get a really strong comeback um, with with his picks at the end. Oh shoot, production, they can't hear. Hmm? 
I do want to say thank you again for joining us, even though I know it's super late for Brazil right now. Um, you know, big thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, congrats for Odin. Thank you for staying up so late for us. I'm so sorry for the time zone, but thank you. Thank you so much for always so getting excited for the tournament. Congrats on the win. Primeiro, talvez, não sei. Uhum. É, foi bem divertido mais uma vez, né? E... e é isso, né? É isso. Ela quer que eu termine a última sala pra ficar bonitinho no torneio? Sei lá. Não sei, eu, eu pergunto aqui pra ela. Bom, ele disse que ele quer que eu thank you as well for the tournament. It's very, always very nice for him to play for the uh, in the tournament. Uh, he plays since uh, he knew about the tournament, he doesn't know if it was since the first, I guess not, because the very first tournament was very early. Yeah, but early, any, very early. Anyway, he like every chance he has to take part on your tournament. And <laughs> he's asking also if you want him to finish the rest, last chamber or to just show people what the chamber will be, or what will oh. be of the last chamber, or if it's okay. I think it's already going to be, you know, the last chamber uh, really late for you guys. It's okay, you don't need to clear it at all. But still, um, thank you so much for joining us as always. Um, I can't wait to see, uh, you know, if you're gonna show up uh, for the next tour whenever that happens. But thank you, thank you again. Ela falou que tá de boa, que, não, que como tá tarde tudo, não precisa mostrar a última sala. Tá agradecendo de novo pela presença de vocês, por, pelo todo trabalho que vocês fizeram e também que mal pode esperar pela presença de vocês na próxima edição. Ok. Muito obrigado, <risos> obrigado, obrigado, Card, obrigado ao Sterney também, né, pela participação. Foi interessante ver ele falando chuki, 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 chuki ali, foi interessante. <risos> não, chuki! <risos> não tem como não pedir. <risos> I, and once again, thank you, Jaystorm, for joining us, too. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you hanging out with us today. So thank you guys for hopping in. That is going to be it for the tournament for tonight. Um, yeah, round of applause once again. Okay, I will uh, want to give another big shout out, big thank you, big heart to for all the players. Oh. Yes, what's up? No. Okay. Uh, he just said he, he, he liked the, to have your hosting again, since he, <laughs> you are always yeah. nice, and uh, uh, has the presence of Jay Stan as well, because he's a well-known person, even in Brazil. Yeah. And oh, it you. was very nice to hear he saying he sing <laughs> chuk chuk chuk, because <laughs> there's a, that's a running gag around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. Well, if you want me to host more, then please uh, sponsor the next. No, I'm kidding. Just honestly, <laughs> thank you guys for showing up. Um, I don't like asking subs or anything for the channel, but if you want to support it, you know, go ahead. But no, it's not required, though. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, I could get more sponsors in the future to host it again, but it is a little bit rough for me right here. But you know what? As long as we have fun, I'll make do. I'll just sacrifice cosplay and food for tournaments. <laughs> you think well, I'm joking? Uh, but I'm not. Taro and Jamal told me about Chukas <laughs> when I was doing uh, 1v1s with them. <laughs> but yes, thank you again. Uh, yeah, feel free yeah. to hop off the Discord woofer. I do want to uh, chat a little bit on stream too, but thank you guys for everyone joining in. Okay, and let's see. All right, and yeah, Jason, please get some rest. I know you've been streaming for like, what, 10 hours right now? Night. I am going to run to bed. Yeah, good night. Thanks for hopping in. All right. Uh, but yeah, that that's it. It's been a very, very long stream, almost eight hours right now. We had a very exciting um, matchup against, um, you know, oh, huh? 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 Odin? What? You? Uh, you? You don't know. You don't, you don't know how I have to. I mean, I know you just won. Odin! I know you, you just won. But thank you. Obrigado. Thank you.
Thank you so much. I it's it was really this past this past tournament. I would say it has been really stressful, but uh, especially with what happened last weekend. Um, I you know, and it was really hard getting shoutcasters in. Definitely really hard trying to get keep um you know get sponsors as well. So seeing it grow so much has been such a joy, and I'm so sorry for the time zone. I can't speak the same language, but very big thank you for Le uh, Leroy and Radishi Katsapi for the translations. Um, you know, thank you so much for always supporting it. And yeah, honestly, I think thank you. I'm j I'm gonna do my best to not cry every time we are at the end of the tournament because <laughs> it is uh something that i really really cherish and i honestly thought about not hosting this anymore because it's a lot of work i don't want to host this anymore i because i think after three years i feel i still feel like a failure as a content creator so i don't think that i am like i'm not getting anything out of this besides just helping the community out and I was really considered quitting too, but thank you guys for so much the warm support. I do need to take some time off um, stream for this week. Um, so it's once again, I mean, last weekend, last weekend, uh, my grandpa just passed away. So we do, I do have a funeral to go through. Um, and, you know, I was just taking this past week to kind of re remember i mean to kind of reset my emotions which i'm mostly okay now um and yeah it was it was just so much going on i do have to wake up early for work tomorrow i still have to go i have to work overtime this week again so that's why i'm not going to be streaming this week but i'm really glad that all of you guys have joined in for the tournament i'm so sorry that all the rules are unfair um there are still adjustments that we have to make with this as well uh to the uh for the future set like maybe preliminaries we're gonna have five to six global bands for character uh, for yeah for the characters um but i'm i'm always thinking about it i'm always thinking about you guys so thank you so much for joining in really appreciate all the lovely gifts of the resubscribe prime and all of that too you don't have to but thank you so much for supporting the channel i'll continue to do my best to talk with Hoyoverse to grow on the other social media to see if we could continue doing this in the future but for now let's give a let's let's give a round of applause let's give a round of applause everyone thank you odin for uh today for always supporting the channel thank you for our production team zaz and swiggly for um running through this whole thing they made uh they help with the overlays with the scene change with the pop-up thank you flake luna for always being so amazing updating the draft um thank you for the players because i would not be here without you because you know you guys are the ones playing going through the time zone doing all that big thank you to tuato for the um for the sponsor this time around as well and i hope for all of this i could get a little heart a little heart for me too for saying thank you for hosting this even though with all of the stuff that happened i hope you guys enjoy the scuff cosplays enjoy the commentary enjoy me uh just being really clueless sometimes as well for on here thank you guys for your support Congratulations, Odin, Arigato for a thing. Oh, wait, how do I say congratulations in Portuguese? Wait, 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 hold on. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn. Uh Parabens? Or para pa, <laughs> Parabens. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you again for yeah, our shoutcaster Annie from uh, yesterday, Jay Storm from today, and also Rin Taicho uh from last weekend. Parabens, much love. Uh, how to say how is it the same for love too is it a more yeah it's a uh, amo it's a uh, amo <laughs> i love you guys 
Thank you, thank you. And for all of our players around the world, not just from Brazil, but for all the players in EU, France, uh, Russia, Belarus, also from our Asia gang, um, Malaysia, Indonesia, so even, I mean, we even got Japan and Korea last time as well. Thank you, thank you all for hopping in. We're gonna end it right now. I don't know, I don't know if you're gonna still be streaming or not, because you should get some sleep. All of you guys get some sleep. <laughs> good night, good night. I'll, I'll message all the players uh, for the winners for your uh, payment soon. But for now, bye-bye. Thank you all so much again. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.